good morning, Jody Maker. Oh! Pow! Polly Wheeler! Here she is! Jason from Birds and Girls, lovely red trainers there. Just clearing the stuff out of the studio. Wasn't that lovely? We love a gonk, don't we? How are you? How are you guys today? Oh my word. Well, it's the Jubilee weekend. I thought I'd come in red, white and blue. So that's that. I haven't, I've come in green. Just a, it was a joke. Poor, poor attempt at a joke, yeah, all mixed together. Green. Uh, how you doing? Um, oh my word, we've got an absolutely amazing show for you today. Michael's on cameras this morning. Look at him, he's got all the moves. Oh, hey, ha, we, ha, ho, ha. Watch him go. It's amazing. He's got every single, he's got, yeah, literally in a forest of cameras there. Uh, we've got lovely Kinger on floor. Good morning, my lovely. There she is. She's so lovely. We have got production manager Ollie. He is going to be directing the show today. Oh, yeah. Dung, 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 dung. Do you not have that anymore? Never mind. Sir Ben Gibbs, he is going to be producing the show today. And here he is. Ah, oh, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, 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 here we go. <laughs> and we've got Monica with us today. Good morning, my lovely. Happy bank holiday weekend to you. Oh, thank you. When you, when you switch to me on the camera, it looks like there wasn't a mad rush here for the last three minutes. <laughs> it looked like there wasn't what, sorry? <laughs> looks like there wasn't a mad rush here in the last Oh, three no, minutes. no, no, not a mad rush, not a quick, quick, quick. Uh, but there we go. <laughs> oh, yes, it's going to be the most fantastic show today. We've got so much. I mean, this is only a portion of what we've got coming up today. I happen to be wearing some of the most gorgeous sliding class bracelets today which we've got coming up as your deal of the day. I love, 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 love these. They are just gorgeous. I love you. Oh yeah. There they are, the most gorgeous sliding class bracelets. They're all gonna be coming your way. We've got them in uh, blue. We've got them in this lovely sage green. We've got them in gorgeous purple. We've got them in black and we've got them in red as well. They're gonna be coming up at 10 o'clock. They're gorgeous and they're gonna fly. Nice big quantity of those. So giving you a chance to kind of really stock up on those which is going to be great. Um, if you joined me before the show on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page, on the Facebook Live, you've still got time to enter our competition this morning, which is basically um, to like, share and tag a friend in the Jewelry Maker Facebook page uh, live that we did just before the show today. And if you do all three of those things and you went to before half past 11 in the 12 o'clock hour, I will announce a winner of, uh, of someone who has done all three of those things. We pick a winner at random and you win 50 pounds credited to your Jewelry Maker account. So it's been lovely, lovely, lovely all week to have that competition going. We've also got more Jubilee related competitions coming up today. You can win. You can win. Is it all of this? Is that right? Hang on, you can win diamonds. Oh my word. Diamond, ruby, emerald, sapphire, pearl, and something else. That looks like tourmaline in there, incredible. We've got what looks like zircon. Oh my gosh, what is, this is amazing. Ruby, there's your gorgeous, um, no, that'll be spinel, won't it? Of course. You've got your gorgeous emeralds, you've got your beautiful pearls, and you've got your sapphire. You can win that today. Win the crown jewels. Play our royal-themed quiz throughout today's show for a chance to win the crown jewels. What do people have to do then, Ben? There'll be a question every single hour. At the end of the show, you've got to text in with your answers, A, B, C, whatever it might be, kind of to every single question. And at random, we will pick, uh, we will pick a, winning, a winning entry at random and you'll, win that, and, and you'll win that. There we go. And when will we announce that? Will it be the end of the show today or will it be tomorrow or what? At the end of the show, yeah. At the end of the show, right. So you've got your sliding class bracelet deals of the day. 
How about some meter long strands? Now these are kind of peppered throughout the show today. Hang on. Sapphire, meter long strand of sapphire, gorgeous. Larimar, a meter long strand of Larimar. A meter long strand of nephrite. Oh my word. Yep, it's nephrite. A meter long strand of tanzanite. Yep, tanzanite. Tanzanite. And also a meter long strand of ruby. Oh my word. Yeah, I know. All of these coming your way throughout today's show. But that's not it. I've also got a meter of labradorite. Yeah. I kid you not. A meter of beryl. And a meter length yard, <laughs> which makes no sense whatsoever. It's a meter of pearls and jade. Oh, yeah. Now, what am I going to... Oh, sorry, love. Sorry, guys. What am I going to use this with? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to use it with my jewellery maker pearl knotting tool. Look at this. You've got your little peg at the top. And if I just do... Yeah, it's got a lovely shell. Or is it a fan? I don't, I don't know. Maybe a tassel. I don't know. And then as we go down the length of the yardstick, you've got here four inch... 10 centimetres, six inch, 15 centimetres, eight inch, goodness me, 20 centimetres, and so on and so on and so on and so on and so forth. Lovely. That's coming your way. We've also got the most beautiful seed bead kits coming up in the 12. In fact, should we have a little look and see what Monica has been creating? Monica, you are an absolute legend. Look at these gorgeous <laughs> seed bead pens. Aren't they lovely? Oh, they're so cute. They are. I love it. You got the queen? Where's her handbag? That's all I want to know. Where's her little handbag, Monica? I forgot about her handbag. Oh, I see. She always <laughs> carries a five pound note in her handbag, apparently. Oh, really? Always carries a five pound note. Um, and uh, look, you've got uh, the crowns and the beautiful orb. And then on the right hand side, you've got this lovely lavender kind of floral design, which is very queen like. I have to say that lavender colour is very queeny, isn't it? It is, yeah. She has quite a few outfits. She it? does in that lovely kind of corn flowery lavender colour. So gorgeous seed bead kits with the patterns as well coming yes. up in the 12, aren't they? Yes, which I would show you except I forgot it in my bag. But well done, Monica. <laughs> and then gorgeous kits coming up in the nine as well. Beautiful pearls, gorgeous garnet kits. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Ah! Yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So all of that coming up. Right, this hour we've got uh, Sapphire Strand coming up as your early bird special. Micro oh! Micro faceted Sapphire. And can I show you this? Look at this toggle. This is such a cute toggle. I like. You're loving your selling silver toggles at the minute, aren't you? You really genuinely are. Okay, beautiful crown and like a scepter toggle clasp coming up in this hour as well. It's going to be amazing. Shall we get going? Come on, gang. Let's get going. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Watch us wreck the mic. Psych. Picture Jasper tubes. Here we go. We're going to be very, very busy today. We were, um, we've had... And uh, uh, so many people joining us over the last few days. If you're brand new to Jewelry Maker, well done. We're the UK's only dedicated jewelry making channel. Um, we always get lots, uh, we, we always get like an influx of people watching over the uh, bank holiday weekends as well. It's kind of, it, it, it's, it's great. It's people are off a little bit more. Maybe you've got a little bit more time. Maybe you're sitting down with a cuppa, you've been channel hopping. You've been up slightly earlier, ready for work, but actually you realize it's not work today. 3 99 for your picture Jasper tubes. Uh, there are three different ways you can get involved, either by calling us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 655, or by getting involved on our website, jewellerymaker.com, or downloading our app and watching us on the go. Gorgeous, well done to you, Maeve, coming through to get these. Well done, Angela Pauline in Lanarkshire as well. You've got two in your basket there, my love, for 3 99 Great for your Morse code jewellery. Yeah. Great for your Morse code jewellery. Well done, Maker in County Antrim. You've now got two in your basket. Antrim's got three in a basket. You want them, my loves? You're going to have to check out as soon as you can. 
They are gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everyone. 0800 644 655. Go, 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 go. Lots of people getting involved today already, which is great to see. Can I get your text as well? Have you ever met a major or minor royal? Or celebrity? Celebrity. Any celebrity stories? Have you met a celebrity or any royal mem members of the royal household? Let us know. Send us your messages. We'd love to hear from you today. Here's our text number if you want to get involved. 78070. We'd love to hear from you today. Normal network charges apply. Now, these would work beautifully with your sliding class bracelets, wouldn't they? They are gorgeous. Amethyst faceted two millimeter rounds that you're going to be getting here today. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful quality. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, known as the Cardinal Stone, a gemstone only uh, um, uh, historically worn by members of the cloth. Uh, and what you've got here, absolutely gorgeous color. Beautiful, um, uh, beautiful um, uh, micro faceted qualities. Look at this. I like that. Yes. Woo, look at those together. Makery County Antrim, well done. $4.99. That's amazing. S beady beads if you want to do any of your uh, tubular netting as well well done to you absolutely gorgeous well done go 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 well done what a great deal four pounds and 99 pence for you today well done everyone go 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 well done debbie in northamptonshire as well lots of people coming through that's great to see well done this is ben's favorite message ever Good morning, this is from Elaine in Surrey, Carolyn team. Not quite royalty, but I'm related to Alan Titchmarsh. <laughs> he is a national treasure, Elaine. Are you Elaine Titchmarsh? Maybe not, I don't know. How, how are you related? That's amazing. I once saw Charlie Dimmock coming out of a port on the Isle of Wight. All right. <laughs> there you go. I think she was wearing a bra, I'm not too sure. Debbie's got three. Maker and County Antrim's got two. Well done. Hi, Carol. This is from Pauline in Lanarkshire. Looking forward to the show with Monica. I met Princess Diana and shook her hand at a boat launch. Aww. Gee whiz, that's Aww. super cool. Aww. That's very cool. Do you know, I yeah. I was quite across that I moved to the UK. Well, we started sort of moving over here in 1999, which yeah. is a few years after Diana died. Oh. oh. I never I, had a chance to see her. Or... Do you know what? That would have been, it, it, I know, she was. She affected so many people's lives, yeah. didn't she? Yeah, it's, it's one of those moments where you remember exactly where you were when you heard that. 100%. I was getting ready to go to my Saturday job at Café Rouge. And I, and I just remember, I remember listening to the radio and it was just yeah. kind of morning music. It was, oh gosh, it was, it was, just, it was just tragic, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, but yeah, if you've ever met a celebrity or a major or minor royal, working or non-working, uh, do let us know. Right, where are we going now? Okay, I'm going to give you a very quick flash. Ready? Did you see them? A ticky ticky, a ticky ticky. Right, here we go. Very, very quick. These are going to be on and gone. These are going to be on and gone. Quick! Before Monica gets them all. <laughs> 11 0 11 -0, Sapphire ABC beads. These are going to be on and gone. Another very queeny colour, isn't yes. it? Yes. This lovely kind of blue. In fact, she was wearing lovely, but she was wearing blue yesterday. Was it not that she was wearing blue? Princess Charlotte was wearing blue as well. Oh, and then um, Camilla was wearing blue as well. It was really lovely to see. Oh, it was just, it was just lovely. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? Well done. 3 99 The one who was the coolest was Prince uh, Louis though. Did you see the faces he was yeah. <laughs> Looking at the fair, <laughs> picking his nose. I could see, I could see Kate bending down to get your Get your fingers out of your nose. And you can sit like this. And it was just, it was just brilliant. Just a typical mother-son relationship there. 3 99 These are flying out the door, just to let you know. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Here we go. Marie. Hi, gang. I've met Jason Momoa in my dreams more than once. Marie, you dirty, dirty girl. I know she is. I tell you what. Jason Momoa, he's, 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 uh, there's something about the way he flicks his hair and, you know, I don't know. I think it's the eyebrow as well. Just give me the eyebrow. That's, that's just, that's just great. I'm not talking about the, no, the, no, Jason Momoa's got like his kind of little shave 
eyebrow thing going on. It's a scar, it's a scar you know. Is it a scar? My yeah. God, it's even better. I bet it's from a bear <laughs> or a shark or something. And if it's not, I bet, it, I, I, I it's bet from, it got it from, it's from a broken, vacuuming or something. No, it's from a broken bottle in a bar fight. In a bar fight? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, is it, is save it, me, Jason. It's weird that I know there's much about Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's obsessed. Right. I spent my 18th birthday with Princess who? Princess Anne? Oh. With Princess Anne? She wished me a very happy birthday, says a oh, collector oh, in Dorset. Nice. That's fantastic. Three ninety nine for your sea beads this morning. They're absolutely flying out the door. Right. Oh, my God. Well, everybody here is very well connected, aren't they? I didn't realise Jason Momoa was your uh, cup of tea. Well, you know. <laughs> How could he not be anyone's course, cup of tea? Yeah. I mean, he is literally just... <laughs> Devilishly handsome. Ma, 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 So do like bricks. You could build a house with these, couldn't you? Wow. Yeah, absolutely you could. Do you know what they'd look great with? In the middle of your sliding class bracelets. Oh, yeah. The great thing about these sliding class bracelets, they're a little bit longer than ones we've done in the past. So if you want to wear them as an anklet, you absolutely can do. But in the middle of your sliding class bracelet, I think they'd look gorgeous. Um, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's almost like a... A willow pattern, wedge woody kind of quality, aren't they? They've got a really lovely mottled tone to them. Aren't they gorgeous? Very aquatic. Five ninety nine for you today. Well done. Messaging. Have you ever met a celebrity or a, or a member of the royal family? Let us know. Oh, Kate in Bedfordshire. Who's she met? The Queen and Prince Philip visited our hospital and she stopped and spoke to me. I had a press photo, but it's gone missing. Oh, Kate, oh. what does she say? What does she say? I oh, thought this is amazing. Oh, Johnny Depp was telling a story that he, he, he met Prince Charles once and he said he's pretty sure that Prince Charles couldn't understand a word that he said <laughs> and he couldn't understand a, a, a word that Prince Charles said. But there we go. Uh, not sure if it counts, says Collector in Wrexham. Uh, but I was pushed out of his way by Liam Gallagher at the check-in desk at Barcelona Airport. He pushed you out the way. Did, did oh, you back? <laughs> yeah. No, you would not push <laughs> Liam Gallagher. He'd, be, he'd deck you, wouldn't he? Five ninety nine for you today. Well done for your soda light bricks. Well done, everyone coming through to get these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. You're only paying your 3.95 pm and per order. That lasts for the entire day as well. Well done to everyone. This is great. Get those messages sent through. Well done. And keep coming through for all these items. We've got sapphire and a crown-shaped toggle coming up as well. Very, very exciting. Which one, sorry? 11. Oh, lovely. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Earth Jasper Rondells. These are great. Do you know what? For Father's Day, I would use it. Also, with your black sliding class bracelet, maybe. Or maybe your red. Yes. Isn't that great? $3.99 for your gorgeous Earth Jasper. Well done. Six by four millimeters in diameter. Just one in the middle of a necklace or in the middle of a bracelet. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Have you got those names, Benjamin? Do people call you Benjamin, Ben, or not? Oh, when you've been naughty. Well done, Lincolnshire. Well done, Angela. There you go. There's everyone coming through. It's great to see you this morning. Hello, Maker. Lots of people there. That's wonderful to see you. Marie in South Yorkshire as well. Text in. Have you ever met a celebrity or a member of the royal family? Let us know. Gorgeous. Marie's there as well. Well done to you. Lots of people coming through. 100 carats in total. Isn't that just gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful quality. Well done, everyone. Okay. <gasps> we are going to do the early bird special. This is going to go crazy. Right, here we go. So, early bird special. Now, Ben sent me uh, Ben sent me an amazing star by sheet yesterday, Ben. It really was quite incredible. 
basically a piece of paper with lots of scribblings and kind of writings on and it's just it's, it's just it's just it's just great and i saw as the early bird special this strand here i also saw a price point next to it let's just not even think about that right now let's just appreciate what we've got here now of course it is the uh it is the queen's uh, platinum jubilee this weekend we've also got um we've also got um uh uh, uh to um uh Someone mentioned to me yesterday on one of my Facebook posts a uh, special program coming up this evening. I think it's on the BBC about the history of the crown jewels. I'm definitely going to be watching that tonight at seven o'clock. I know where I'm going to be. Um, this is uh, one of those gemstones that is just it's it, it's got so much providence, so much heritage, so much pedigree. If you're looking for kind of that 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 bloodline of gemstones that go right back centuries, millennia. And, and have been worn by Maharajas, have been worn by um, uh, members of royalty from around the world, but then, of course, by our incredible queen herself. This is the gemstone. This is a steadfast stone. Now, wherever you get this incredible gemstone from, be it India, be it Africa, be it Madagascar, be it Burma, wherever it may be from, it still, it, 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 it always has that kind of, um, that element of, providence you always look at it and think this is sapphire it's a special stone it's one of the big four gemstones big four gemstones being uh ruby emerald diamonds and of course this incredible sapphire as well it's just the most incredible quality so many jewelry makers out there never even believe they'll ever be able to use gemstones let alone sapphire you know the most incredible stone the most incredible um, um opportunity and this isn't just any sapphire, because what you are going to be getting here are individually hand faceted. So hand cut sapphire rounds. They are so, so special. Now, it took us years to bring you micro faceted gemstones. It took us absolutely years. So a lot of investment on our part, different cutting wheels, different tools, different kind of almost uh, magnifiers so that the lapidus can actually see the gemstones properly and see where they're applying the facets. So it's a big, big investment from us here at Jewelry Maker. And when we first started to bring you strands of micro faceted jasper, agate, they would be kind of 17, 18 pounds a strand. What you have got here today is sapphire. Yeah. It's in the crown jewels. It's natural. Over 90% of sapphires out there are treated in some way. They're either glass filled or they're heated or they're maybe diffused. This is all completely 100% natural. 78 pounds, 99 pence is no way near your price. This is an early bird special for you today. What price point would you expect us to bring you on Jewelry Maker for this today? Under 50? That would be absolutely amazing. But under 50 pounds. Incredible. Yeah. Amazing. Here you are. Have a look at this. 49.99. Add that. See, that's under 50 pounds. Already lots of people getting involved. You like it. You want to use it. Just pop it in your basket. Now, of course, as a micro faceted gemstone, you can start to use these in your kind of almost seed bead style designs, can't you, Monica? You can, of course. They look great with seed beads. And they sort of, um, they're about the same size as a as an 8 seed bead. Right. So you can fit them in. Obviously, they're not exactly the same size. So, um, but yeah, you can put them definitely in your seed beading. See, that's so special, isn't it? Being able to uh, create those kind of seed bead style designs using your genuine gemstones, using them maybe alongside your seed beads. Yeah. There's no reason whatsoever why you can't use these alongside your seed beads should you want to do that. Now, I've got people checking out already, which is great to see. Well, into Adrian, we've got Maker, London, Manchester. Gosh, there's loads of people coming through already, which is so great to see. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your bank holiday weekends. Get involved as soon as you can. We're at 49.99. We're not stopping anywhere near here, by the way. Nowhere near here. Charlie, through. That's great to see you. Well done. Good morning, everybody. Lots of people joining us. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're at 49.99. Not your deal. How about we take a whopping chunk off that price? How about we go to 29.99 for 30 carats of natural blue sapphire? That is a pound a carat for natural blue sapphire. 
natural micro faceted blue sapphire gabrielle's through lynn well done to you we're not done 29.99 there's absolutely droves of you coming through marie you're back there this is wonderful to see well done get involved put it in your basket at 29.99 you are getting dozens and dozens of dozens of hand faceted premium quality premium grade natural blue sapphire it's phenomenal it's incredible but do you know what? That's not a jewelry maker bank holiday deal. Okay, maker Christina, Elizabeth, gosh, there's Lynn. Oh my word, there's loads of you there. Lots of people coming through. Loads of people adding this into their baskets now. This is great to see. 19 pounds, 99 pence. And guess what? In 60 seconds, we're taking the price point lower. There are absolutely loads of you coming through. Gabrielle's going to come through and get another one. Beverly, well done to you. Make us through. That's great to see. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Now, we have got so much coming up. Whether you're going to be putting these with your sliding class bracelets, whether you're going to be using them as spaces in between the pearls and the gorgeous nine o'clock kits, whether you're going to be using them with the gorgeous sterling silver crown toggle class that we've got coming up. We are taking the price point lower. Whether you're going to be using them as spaces in between your meter long strands, there's absolutely... Oh, Audrey's got three, Marie's got two. Here you are. Okay, you've literally got 20 seconds and then these are going to absolutely fly out the door. There's so many of you there. Well done, Tish and Paul. Well done to you. Joseph's through. Maves, well done. Well done. Loads believe you and I everyone has already come through to get this which is dozens and dozens and dozens of you that's wonderful well done you're not just going to want to get one you're going to want to get two you'll want to get three Debbie you're going to need to order another one onto your order 14 pounds 99 pence that's absolutely incredible a travesty to take sapphire of this quality natural sapphire of this quality down below 15 pounds, but it's happening today. Happy bank holiday to each and every one of you out there. Margaret, Gabrielle's got four. I told you, Beverly, I told you she's got another one. There you go, my lovely, well done. Samantha, Jane, Mayor, well done to you. Margaret, well done to you. Angela, Pauline, loads of people with twos, threes, fours in the baskets, well done. You're gonna be getting approximately, and this is an approximata, 116 beads on this round. It's absolutely incredible. Um, 14 pounds 99 pence is absolutely superb. That works out to about 50 pence a carat for genuine natural sapphire. I, I don't know if you can remember when you first started making jewelry, Monica, but yep. do you know what? Did you ever consider you'd ever be able to use sapphire, well, no. gemstones, let alone sapphire? No, no. Sapphire. It's just one of those things you think, no, Emeralds, I can't afford that. It's in the crown jewels. No. You know, it's, it's, it's what rich, famous people have. It's, it's, yep. it's, you know, it's in heirlooms. Uh, yep. It's in, it's in, it's in jewellery that's, you know, auctioned in auction houses. Yeah. Certainly not accessible to me. Yeah. And but look at it. Certainly not in a way that I can use it in my jewellery. In your jewellery, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be kind of cabochons. They're going to be rig really big pieces. Or if you're a, if you're a seed bead, they're never going to be in seed bead sizes. Oh, yeah, they absolutely are. Roughly an 8 size size as well. And just look at that sparkle. Look at what's achieved by giving you that micro faceting isn't it just it it, it 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 it's absolutely exquisite isn't it well done airship catherine valentina's got two judith's got two wendy with deirdre debbie you've got two warwickshire somerset east sussex yorkshire cambridgeshire greater london staffordshire shropshire lanarkshire county durham lanarkshire loads of people there lots of people with this in the basket still judith you've still got two well done to you um Absolutely fantastic. Well done. 0800 644 655. What an incredible deal for you today. Beady beads as well. If you get 12 of these and do like a ladder weave, join the two kind of ends together, you can make yourself a gorgeous beady bead as well, which is just gorgeous. So making a big bead out of lots of slightly smaller size beads. It's just gorgeous. And with all the meter long strands, yeah, I want to show you this with the Larimar because this is going to look so good. So if you put them as spaces in between your Larimar, yeah, doesn't that look good? That's Larimar and Sapphire. Or in between your rubies, Sapphire and Ruby necklace, bracelet. Look at the quality and the, the calibre of stone you're getting there. It's, by the way, all of these metre long strands we've got today are literally, they are end of... The Larimar one, we've got 15 of. The Nephrite one, we've got 15 of. The quantities are absolutely tiny. Um, have a look at this with the jade and pearl. Look at them as spaces. 
It's just an idea, but my word, being able to, and I, and I don't think it's downplaying the sapphires, using them as spaces, but when they're this affordable, you can use them as spaces. You absolutely can. Well done, Ellen, Angela, Barbara. There's loads in baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. That is just superb. Okay, I've got another beautiful blue gemstone up here. Now, this incredible gemstone made the big four into the big five. It is, of course, tanzanite. Feast your eyes on that. My instant reaction is with the ruby. You've got to put that with the ruby. That looks so good. Now, Tanzanite. I remember talking to a friend of mine, um, one of my best friends, about... I do have friends, thank you, Ollie. So <laughs> rude, so horrible. And he was saying to me... <laughs> he was saying about... Um, he went to his friend's jewel... Uh, he went to his friend's jewellery shop, went in, and he said he had that amazing stone, that really, that really expensive blue stone. And I went, Sapphire. And he goes, no, no, I can't think of the name of it. And I thought, oh, he must be talking about, I don't know, kyanite or nilamani or, or aquamarine or something. He goes, no, no, it's really rare. It's really, it's really, it's really expensive. <laughs> and I went, what, tanzanite, tanzanite, that's it, tanzanite. And it's just, it, it, it was, it, it just struck me. I'm holding a strand of tanzanite here. I bought you a strand of tanzanite probably on, on Tuesday, maybe even Monday. We're so flippant, aren't we? This is Tanzanite. This is a gemstone hailed as the one generational gemstone, a gemstone which was only discovered in the late 1960s, launched by Tiffany's in 1967, 69. Yeah, 69, discovered in 67, launched in 69 by, by, uh, by Tiffany's. This is the gemstone which is said to be a thousand times rarer than a diamond. The chance of finding this gemstone anywhere else in the world, apart from the Merilani Hills in, the, in, in, um, in, in Tanzania, is about a million to one. And this geological event, this geographical event that happened, means that this gemstone is currently being mined over a thousand meters below sea level. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. We're at 34.99. We're going to shock you with this price. We're going to bring you a shockingly low price. And I mean it. Shockingly, 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 shockingly low price. £17.99. Oh, my word. <gasps> oh, my word. In Incredible deal for you today. Debbie, well done to Gabrielle, Barbara, Ellen, Maker, Sarah, Maker, Jill. Fantastic. Well done to absolutely everyone coming through to get these. They are going absolutely nuts. $17.99. You could use this as individuals, make them as individual rings. Look, literally. Ah. I don't know. They go with them all. I've got red. I've also got black. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice with the red, actually. Black, yeah, maybe. It, you know, the, the, the color is so striking; it, it pops against any of these, doesn't it? Well done. Can you believe Jenny Wynn Tanzanite for seventeen ninety nine? Maker Gabrielle, Maker Debbie, Elizabeth, Lynn, Sharon, Jill, Barbara, Ellen, Sarah, Maker. Text in. Have you ever met a celebrity or a member of the royal family? Seven eight zero seven zero. Let us know. Maker, we've got five left. I've got, I've got ten in baskets. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Can anyone, can anyone else just kind of, um, uh, kind of, kind of set my mind at rest here? This clarity is really, really good for tanzanite, isn't it? I mean, it's really, really good. It's got that kind of glassy inner brilliance, hasn't it? Um, just gorgeous quality. Well done, everybody. By the way, you are going to love this next strand. Now, we have got, we have got gorgeous kits coming up in the nine, which have got beautiful rounds, meter length strands of your, I don't have them, but they're over there, meter long strands of uh, garnet. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, we need to show a thing this hour as well, don't we, for our competition. By the way, go to our Jewelry Maker Facebook page, go to the Facebook Live that I did before the show, like the post, share the post, tag a friend in the post, anyone who does that, 
Uh, we will enter you into, in, into a prize draw. And in the 12 o'clock hour, we'll pick somebody at random and you'll win 50 pounds credited to your Jewelry Maker account. Basically, that's that, yeah. Entries close at half 11. Look at these. Look at that shape. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. Gorgeous, rich red wine colours. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? So glossy. So beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just the most glossy, gemmy, gemmy like garnet. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Rich, inviting colour. That would be the most incredible um, kind of drop, maybe on an earring, wouldn't it? Maybe a tassel at the bottom of a necklace, maybe. Can I imagine actually on the, on, on the garnet necklace you've made over there, actually, Monica? That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Yeah. On the bottom, the bottom maybe. On the tassel, yeah. Yeah. You see, it, it, it's such a lovely design, isn't it? Do you want to angle that towards Michael so we can just... Yes, there it is. Yes, just on the bottom. But also on the earrings as well. Oh, definitely on the earrings. Yeah, I love those earrings. But the crowns are so cute. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Well done, Elizabeth in Suffolk. Is that Queen Elizabeth? Oh. Possibly. <laughs> it might be. Ellen, well done to you, my lovely, coming through to get these at $39.99. Brilliant, isn't it? Incredible. But no way near your price. Come on. Yes, Ben, let's shock, shock us again. Hip -hop, baby, one more time. Sorry. Sorry, it's, uh, yeah. Sorry, everyone. Don't know what came over me there. Sorry. Here we go. $9.99. Ooh, that's low for this quality of garnet. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Maker in London, Joseph. Maker in Birmingham. Well done. Ellen in Cumbria's got two. Well done to you. Susan, well done to you, my darling. Ayrshire. Yeah, they're going to go. They're going to go. Paula in London. Oh, gosh, they're going to go. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. Add it onto your order. What an incredible deal. Now, over the last few weeks, you've been loving your toggle clasps. I have to say, this one here is a little bit special. This is a crown and scepter uh, 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 toggle clasp. You're going to absolutely love this one. It, of course, is a star buy. This is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this. A sterling silver. Oh, <gasps> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sterling silver. The most beautiful sterling silver double sided by the way three dimensional look at that three dimensional quality three dimensional kind of diamond cut faceted metal it was crazy it's a gorgeous quality all sterling silver and then This, this toggle is, I think, absolutely gorgeous. Let me show this to you. I'm just going, yeah, it's like a scepter. It's the queen had at her coronation, obviously. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that beautiful, almost kind of twisted sterling silver detail you're getting there. Why do we do that? Why do we texture metal like this? It's to create luster, it's to create sparkle, it's to create interest. If you think going all the way back, even to kind of Neolithic times, thing, two, you know, two things which have always fascinated us are water and fire. And water and fire, you know, we're constantly, you know, we're constantly, um, you know, people are, are, are accused of being, a, oh, you're such a magpie. You really like your sparkly jewelry. You're such a magpie. Well, no, what, what you're actually attracted to is the luster. And you get that luster on water 
and you get it with fire. You get that kind of sparkle and, and kind of that, that interest with fire, which is why it excites us. And you get that luster on, on the surface of water as well, which again is why we're, why we're drawn to it. So all we're doing is recreating that luster, which back to our, back to cavemen, it kind of embedded into our psyche. It's that luster, it's that sparkle, it attracts us. It kind of, it, it kind of, it engages us. It draws us in. That's all we're doing. We're just playing on that. And it, it, it what it does, it, it, it does play with your senses, doesn't it? It's just, it looks beautiful. Not only that, but it feels wonderful as well. You hold a clasp like this and you feel that gorgeous kind of twisting of the sterling silver. And it really, it feels pleasing. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, of course, jewellery isn't just about the way that it looks. It's about the way that it feels. It's about sometimes the way it sounds, the way it moves, you know, whatever it might be. Or with, you know, your love right jewellery, the way that jewellery, um, you know, the scent from jewellery as well. Now, we're under £20 already. This is all 925 sterling silver. I'm just going to pick the, um, pick this up here so you can uh, see the crown. I want you to just look at the detail on this crown. It's just incredible. It's just beautiful. 925 sterling silver. A lot of people, I can imagine, you know, yeah, just wearing this as a pendant. Earrings, maybe. As a little, as a little charm, maybe hanging from a bracelet. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's such a lovely piece on its own, isn't it, Monica? It is. I mean, you definitely want to make it a, a feature in your jewellery. You don't want to hide it. For sure. The back of a necklace, yeah. Also, the nice thing is a lot of clasps like this tend to be kind of textured and detailed on one side, and then the other side is flat. Um, this isn't. This has got detail on both sides. It looks like a diamond ring. Gosh, you know what? You're absolutely right. If you take that yeah. little loop off the top, that is a diamond ring, isn't it? Like a little engagement. If I just do that. Yeah, it does. It looks like a, almost an engagement ring, doesn't it? It's just gorgeous. Isn't it? It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, Alison, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, lovely. Now, we're at £19.99. And and so there's absolutely loads of people coming through. Now, we do have a big quantity of this. I'll be honest with you. This is very jubilee. This is very kind of celebrating our Queen's 70th year on the throne. We want to be able to give you something really special. We're going to take a massive chunk of money off that price. Huge chunk of money. In fact, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut that price in half. People buying twos, fives, threes. This is incredible. Elizabeth's got two, County Antrim's got five, Suzanne's got four, Jackie's got two, Dorset's got two, Maker's got two in Nottingham, uh, sorry, four in Nottinghamshire. Sarah, you've got two, 9.99. It's solid sterling silver. It's absolutely beautiful quality. Now, when I say we've got a lot... Now, Ben, I've actually sent you um, a, a little email with some images on, just of charms. And this is kind of tying in, really, with our nine o'clock kits. By the way, they would look amazing with the nine o'clock kits, wouldn't they, Monica? Oh, yes, definitely. Because you've got all these gorgeous crown charms coming yeah. up in the nine o'clock kits. Um, <clears throat> the pieces we're going to show you, the, the, the price comparisons I've got which I can show you, really are for charms. Um, uh, the ones we've got here, uh, ob ob obviously what we've got here is a clasp, but it is three-dimensional. It's textured both on the front and the back. You can see the amount of silver that's been uh, poured into this as well. The amount of silver that we've used throughout this clasp is so impressive as well, isn't it? You can really see that. You can see that weight. You can definitely feel it when you're holding it as well. Max, you've got two. Janet's got two. Maker in Nottingham, she has now got six of these. Well done to you. So many different ways in which you can use these. Jane in Merseyside, you've got two as well. Well done. These are absolutely flying uh, out the door. You can have the clasp obviously around the back, but I think with something like this, you want to make it into a feature. You want to kind of have it round the front. Yeah, maybe asymmetrically set. Uh, maybe if you wanted to maybe make a tassel on the bottom, you know, pop a tassel. There's over a gram of sterling silver in this, by the way, which is amazing when you consider that there are chains sold in the, you know, on the high street, which have got less than a gram of sterling silver. And this is a clasp and it's got over a gram of sterling silver. That tells you everything you need to know. Yeah, if you just wanted to have this around the front, maybe as a little pendant, just look at the size of that. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, maybe on a pearl necklace, you know, literally, yeah. Turn it into a slider. Yes, a lovely lariat star. That's a great idea, actually, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful quality. You know, it's a charm on a bracelet. That's going to be amazing. It's an earring, you know, to hang something in. That's going to be absolutely gorgeous as well. We're at 9 99 Nottingham, she's got seven. Jane's got two. Max, you've got two. Well done to you. Now, we do have hundreds of these available. It's quite a big quantity, okay? 
We want as many of these to go as possible. It's not your final price. For anyone who is watching this morning, who is celebrating the Jubilee in whatever, in whatever capacity that is, mark the occasion. This is almost one of those kind of commemorative souvenirs, isn't it? But you're actually going to use this, whereas those painted souvenir plates, you never use those. You know, the coin collections that are released by the Royal Mint, you're never going to spend those, are you? They're just going to sit there. Whereas with this, this is functional. You can use this. This, is, this has got real use. This has got real feature, you know, design quality. Okay, $9.99, not your price. Here's some price comparisons. Found a charm on Pandora. I know it is a charm. This is slightly different. This is obviously a class, but it fits in with the uh, kits we've got coming up in the nine o'clock app. 25 quid for the Regal Crown charm. So many people will have bought those for, you know, to commemorate the uh, Platinum Jubilee. Gem Controversial. That's interesting, isn't it? Princess Silver Crown charm. 30 quid. We're at 9.99. We're at 9.99. And we're not done. No way near done. Anyone who's got these in their baskets, you're going to want to check out as soon as you can. Nancy's got two. Heather's got two. Karen's just bought two. Anyone who's just bought one, like Angela, Heather, you're going to want another one. At least another one, if not another two. Judith's bought six. Well done. So many people there, but we do have hundreds available. We want them all to go today. They deserve to go this weekend. They deserve to go during uh, the Jubilee weekend. They deserve to go to good homes today. I don't want these to go back to the vault. They're, they're, they're of no use to anyone there. They deserve to be with you. Well done. More people coming through to get this. If I've got, look, if you've got like a little, mm, got a, little a little pearl there, pop that in the middle. There you go. Put your pearl just a little, literally just suspend the pearl in the middle. That looks so sweet, doesn't it? Such a finished piece of fine jewelry, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, just, just one pearl in there. $9.99, no way near your price. All the way down. This is absolutely crazy. For 925 selling silver. Here we go. Cheryl's got three. Kent, uh, County Antrim's got eight. Well done to you. $6.99. Oh my gosh, six pounds 99. County Antrim's now got eight. Sharon's got two. Elizabeth's got three. Lisa, Yvonne, well done to you. Sharon's got two. Nancy's got three. Isabel's got two. These are flying. Well done, everyone. And we, we knew that they would do. Well done. Cheryl's now got four. Macon and Renfrewshire's got four. Suzanne's got four. Jackie's got two. Dorset's got two. Wendy's got two. Uh, Cheryl's got another one. Ah, oh, there we go. Well done. 0800 644 Gorgeous, gorgeous. Sterling silver crown charm. Yours for £6.99. pence. Well done to you. Loads of people there. This is wonderful. Well done. Helen's now got two. This is so good to see. Lynette, you've bought four. Sorry, three. Well done, my darling. Fantastic. Nancy's now got four. Loads of people coming back on the phone lines and back through on our website, on our app. And getting twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens. They're absolutely flying. Well done, Carolyn. You've just got yourself another one. Three. Catherine's now got three. Well done to you. This is absolutely superb. Well done. Isn't that just fantastic? What a wonderful way to commemorate the Platinum Jubilee. Loads of multi-buyers coming through. So whether you're going to be collecting all of these and maybe commissioning an entire collection, like a Jubilee collection, that would be nice, wouldn't it? An entire Jubilee collection. Uh, whether it's going to be uh, to gift. Maybe you've got, I was just exactly, I was just going to say, maybe baby's born in the Jubilee year. You know, what a lovely way, a lovely piece of jewelry to be able to gift to them. Born during the Jubilee year, you know, Jubilee inspired christening pieces. Mar okay, loads in baskets. Baskets galore. Marley, you've got two in your basket. Dan's got four in his basket. Carola. Jill, you've got three in your basket. Kathy. Maker and Cambridge has got two in the basket. Gloucestershire. Maker and Kent's got two in the basket. Trisha, you've got six in your basket. Lynn's got two in her basket. Nancy, Jane, Maker, and loads of you there. So, I know, Trisha, if you want six, my darling, you're going to have to check out right now. Look at everyone coming through. Dan, Pauline, Mark. Look at all the multi bidders. There you go. There you go. Jubilee, 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 Jubilee. Jubilate. Well done to everybody coming through to get these. They're great. Uh, loads and loads. Look at everyone. Susan, Pauline. Joan, Karen, Trevor, Suzanne, Lorna, Heather, Olivia, Maker in Nottinghamshire. Well done to you, Max. 
There's absolutely droves of you coming through. Well done, everybody. What a lovely way to celebrate and to commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, to be able to get something like this. Or if you're, you know, you love royalty, or you want to make jewellery for someone who is a, your queen, queen bee, you know, or your prince, or whoever it might be, you know, it's just gorgeous, but just a great way to be able to celebrate and to be able to use something a bit more interesting than a plain clasp. You know, plain, simple class, they do have their place. They really genuinely do. But if you've got genuine freshwater cultured pearls with jadeite and you want to add something a little bit more special, something that really goes to town, something which really lives up to the quality of, of what you are using in your jewellery, then absolutely go for a class like this. Also, in the middle of a sliding class bracelet, this is going to look great, actually. If I just kind of, if I do that... I just pop that there, just like that. That just in the middle of your sliding class bracelet like that. I mean, it doesn't need to be anything more than that. Just that. Just so sweet. Just that, literally in the middle of your sliding class bracelet. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Well done. Six ninety nine. Okay, wall of fame. Let's go there. Keep coming through for this. There's still genuine chances left. We're moving on just purely because of time. Don't go anywhere. Uh, let's see some of your designs on the wall of fame. <laughs> So, Wall of Fame, chance for you to showcase your incredible designs that you've made using Jewelry Maker items. Take a photograph of them, email them to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Every Wednesday, we pick a winner and a runner up. Amanda, oh my word, you are number 231. Hello, here's my creation. Colin the Crab, brother of Loretta the Lobster, sent in previously. With all wire purchased from JM, made using sea glass from our local beach. Thank you for your superb wire products. That's from Amanda. I love the fact you've used sea glass. That is so clever. Isn't that awesome? Eunice Heathcote, you're number 232. Oh, 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 that's so, so oh, beautiful. Good morning. Here's my interest to the Wall of Fame. A simple ruby sterling silver slider bracelet, all components from JM. Good luck to all this week. Eunice and Sheffield. That's really, really sweet. Like that a lot. Nice one. Matching earrings. Catherine. Ka uh, Catherine, you're number 233. Oh, beautiful. Catherine says, hi, well, please accept my Wall of Fame entry. It's spied by Gemma's crochet necklace. I love it so much. I made two. All threads and beads are from JM. Thank you for the inspiration and the laughs. Good luck to all. Kind regards. Kathy. Thank you, my lovely. Elaine Day, you're number 234. Oh, that looks like Grand Diddy, right to me. My entry for this week is a beautiful sterling silver double claw mounted with white zircon and grand didierite. Yes, lovely. I never dreamt I'd be able to own a ring like this, but thanks to JM's affordable prices, I do. Here's hoping for a win. That's from Elaine in Chelmsford. That's a love, that's a corker of a stone. Sophia. Sophia Mackerel. Hello, my lovely. Good morning to all. I call this bracelet double your luck. Sterling silver four leaf clover beads, six mil dove white jadeite rounds. Connected with jump rings and turned loops of one mil sterling silver wire. The 925 clover beads also made, uh, so, sorry, allowed me to solder the jump rings closed for extra security. I finished with similar bolt ring clasp. All materials are from Joymaker Sophia. That's really lovely. Well done, lovely. 236, Michael Knight. Ah, oh, here's my entry to the uh, Wall of Fame. My first necklace made with 11 my Yukis and the dark blue rounds are blue sandstone. Oh, we got those today. All from JM, of course, including the Labradorite heart. Love how it's turned out. Took me a couple of days to make uh, using one strand of wildfire, particularly due to my sausage fingers. I <laughs> uh, hope you like it. Good luck to all. That's from Michael. Michael, that is amazing. Isn't that gorgeous, Monica? Yeah. Jade Cousins. Uh, two, three, seven. Hello, uh, all at JM. A pair of Jade Art earrings. All gems are from JM. Uh, good luck to all. Thank you. That's from Jade. Jade from Jade. Thank you, my lovely. By the way, we've got some gorgeous Jade coming up on Sunday. Joanne McCarthy. 238. Oh, I like that wire work. That's interesting. Around the little frills. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. Made uh, at the JM birth birthday bash at workshop in Solihull with the lovely Claire. Rosie Relink Jade Rounds with Jade Charms together with matching earrings. Wishing everyone good luck. That's from Joe in Sheffield. Do you know what? You've done a lovely job there. And that's very Claire McDonald, that kind of fan of wire work. Isn't that gorgeous? Well done. Okay, competition time. So don't start sending in your answers now. S write them all down. Then at the end of the show, well, not to, well, we'll let you know. Later on in the show, we're going to get you to send your entries in, send your answers in. We're going to pick a winner at random. Whoever wins is going to win all these gemstones, basically the crown jewels, pearls, sapphire, diamonds, rubies, there's zircon, there's 
spinel and a load of those bad boys as well. I know, amazing. Okay. So I'm just looking, Maker just bought 10 of those stunning silver toggle class. Well done. Okay. In what year was the queen born? A, 1926. B, 1927. C, 1916. Do not send your answers in yet. Wait, to, make a note of it. Wait until the end of the show. So, so either, either write down A, B or C. Yeah. A, B, C. Don't, don't write the date. Just A, B or C. Okay. Write it down. Do not send in your answers. You won't win anything. Okay. You will only win if you send in all of your correct answers. Uh, we will let you know when. It will be in the 12 o'clock hour and we'll pick a winner at random. And uh, whoever wins gets to win all of these gemstones. Also, similarly, go to our Facebook page, our Jewelry Maker Facebook page. Go on to the Facebook, uh, sorry, the Facebook Live we did before the show. Okay. Like that post, share that post, tag a friend in that post. And in the 12 o'clock hour, we will pick somebody at random and whoever wins will win 50 pounds credited to their Jewelry Maker account. So lots to play for today. We will announce it today before the end of the show. Do not go anywhere. Coming up after the break, the most incredible incredible garnet and pearl kits plus we've got the brand new jewelry maker pearl knotting uh, tool don't go anywhere we'll see you in a sec Guest designer Alison Tarry here. Have we got a show coming up on the Jubilee weekend? Oh my gosh! Take us with me if you're partying. Take you, take me with you. We have got these brand new to tools. They're for making spinner rings. They're for flaring your rings. So these are my first practices. Um, as you can see, I've used one of the dies from the show on um, Tuesday, and it just sits beautifully. And this is starting to flare. I've done it like this so you can see the contrast between the copper and the silver. We've got some amazing sterling silver kits for you. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to have some um, bare copper on as well. So two tools, fantastic. All you need is a clamp or a second spanner and you're good. That's all you need. A um, little bit of soldering and you're good to go. They're fabulous. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Masterclass is going to be mega on Saturday from 8 and from 12 for the masterclass. See you soon.
more. Do you know what just came into my head then? Ben just said the word coronation. I just thought coronation chicken. It literally is one of the only sandwich fillings I could literally eat just straight from the... Coronation chicken. Coronation chicken is chicken. There are raisins in there, which I don't like. Mayo, curry powder. It's just... It's just all, all goodness, isn't it? It's all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Have you been back to that meat restaurant again? No, not yet. <gasps> you should do. <laughs> A South African kind of yeah. meat restaurant. It's basically just meat on the menu. Yeah. Then you put those photos on Facebook. My gosh, those steaks were like bigger than your head. <laughs> they were, they it was incredible. <laughs> the restaurant actually put up a video on their website of the ribs my husband had. Because it was like the Oh thing. my gosh. <laughs> we brought home the leftovers. We still ate it for the next three days. I bet you did. <laughs> Gee whiz. Right, okay. Anyway, back in the world of jewellery maker. <laughs> How you doing? Right, okay. Monica, you've been given gorgeous kits, haven't you, uh, my love? Uh, yes, I can't complain. Oh. <laughs> Monica's jewellery, Monica's jewellery. It's amazing, it's amazing. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> get it right now, get it right now. Look, there's a, go there's a, go oh, it's got one of your hairs on it, Monica. Does it? With love, with <laughs> love, just at the bottom. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. That's all right, darling. Yeah, oh, I on. love these <laughs> earrings. Well, at least it's not attached. I love, I love these earrings, Monica. Oh, look at these little charmy thingy. They're beautiful. Oh. Obviously, I could have used them in the necklace as well, but I thought they made nice earrings. They look like they work as bead caps beautifully, they do, don't yeah, they? Yeah. They're just so sweet. They're, they're just, they're just gorgeous. Who, yeah, who wouldn't want to wear jewellery that looks like this? It's modern, but it's not avant-garde. It's a modern-day classic. It's, it, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. I did, I did cheat a little bit because I added in just a few little seed beads. I would. I would, <laughs> but too. But if you didn't want to use seed beads, you can use the sterling silver space beads as well. So. Or the sapphire we had in the oh, first yes. hour. Oh, yes, on that pearl on the sapphire. Yeah, you would, see? That would look amazing. Yeah. Or... Don't forget, these kits, you can just literally add and add and add. So the, so the meter long strand of ruby we've got coming up. Look. Look at this. I'm just literally adding in. I mean, that's just... Isn't that beautiful? Those seed pearls, those were my favourite. We never get seed pearls, no. ever, ever, ever. <laughs> or, you know, meter long strands of tanzanite. You may as well... With kits like this and with the meter long strands that we've got today, you may as well just add, 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 add. This isn't just a pearl kit, obviously. This is pearls with the addition of these beautiful sterling silver charms, which I'll show you in a sec. The strand of pearls you're getting here. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to hold it up like this because it is a meter that you're getting here. A meter length strand of the most illustrious pearls gorgeous designs monica i know oh, i made beautiful you. happy jubilee team <laughs> thanks gang so you've got your eight to nine millimeter genuine fresh water culture pearls a meter what a treat it is these pearls though that for monica and myself are the big are the big kind of showstoppers and the reason is Seed pearls. People will pay more for seed pearls in the industry than they will for larger pearls. Why? 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 Okay, with uh, pearl farms, they will invest a huge amount of money in their mollusks, keeping the mollusks nice and clean and healthy and making sure that they produce really good, high-quality pearls. The pearls that you're seeing here, these 8 to 9 millimeter pearls, will probably take two years, two and a half years to form. That's a long time, it's a big investment, but the pearl, you know, you, you literally put the irritant inside the mollusk, it creates the pearl, you leave those pearls. Yes, you've got to clean them, you've got to maintain them, but really, you don't have to do a huge amount with them other than that until you get the pearls out and then you put another irritant in and then you use the mollusk again, okay? Seed pearls take a fraction of the time to create so you've got to you've got to get that mollusk into the water and get it out of the water 
in a much quicker time frame. So really the turnover, they're much more labor intensive to make these smaller pearls because they're in the mollusk for sh a, sh a shorter amount of time. It's more work for the people who culture these pearls for the pearl farmers, but seed pearls are the kind of pearls which you see sewn onto wedding veils, onto wedding gowns, onto a beautiful kind of, onto a beautiful, uh, maybe a side, you know, a lovely kind of hair piece coming down the side here. You're so little seed pearls in there. It's the kind of thing you use in, in embroidery. It's the kind of thing you can, as, 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 as Monica's shown us here, use as beautiful spaces. When you use them alongside the larger pearls, as Monica's done here, and in that gorgeous tassel, just to the right of that gorgeous necklace there, you can clearly see the kind of look that is achieved. That looks expensive, doesn't it? It does, yeah, it does. That looks really expensive. And I'm just looking at the pearls. I'm not even looking at the, you know, the crown charms on there at all. I'm literally just looking at the pearls on there. Being able to use larger pearls with smaller pearls, it really is such a wonderful offering and shows you that versatility. And in fact, you know what? At first glance, those seed pearls almost look like stunning silver spaces because they're so bright. They're so yeah. pure. Yeah. You imagine the work that goes into creating the larger pearls now you've got to reduce the amount of time and you've got to still get all of that work into a time for, in a much much shorter time frame to create those seed pearls that's why seed pearls can quite often be more expensive than larger pearls and of course and of course don't forget because um with the smaller pearls as well you've got about if you take a 38 centimeter strand you've mm. got over 100 you're pearls absolutely on there. right yeah with a 38 centimeter strand of one centimeter pearls you'd have about 38 so with pearls, it takes, you know, almost as much work to create one small pearl as you're, it does one large pearl. You're absolutely right. That's a really, that's a really, really good point. And then we bring you the sterling silver charms. Now, the, this is where this kit goes from here, which is brilliant, to like way up there. What we are looking at here is absolutely gorgeous. You've got here three sterling silver charms. Now these sterling silver charms you are getting here. I've got the Pandora one there. I've got the Pandora one on the left hand side. That's 25 quid just for the charm. This has obviously got a little, a little um, uh, loop, or I'll say little, it's quite a big bell on top, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's completely three dimensional as you can see there. It's gorgeous. It's got some Cabixiconia, which has been gem set into there, which is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's much, much, much more detailed than the Pandora charm that you're getting there. The, the beading work on this sterling silver charm is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Now have a look at these ones here. And I specifically got the one on the right hand side because I thought it was so similar to this one. Yeah. Now obviously this, these don't have the kind of the loop on them like the one on the right hand side does, but I don't think that matters. For me, when I first saw these today, uh, one of them is sitting a bit like that. And I thought, oh gosh, do you know what? That looks like a bead cap. Yeah. It looks like a beautiful bead cap, but it is like almost a basket for the gemstone to sit in. If we are taking the price points that we're seeing there, you've got about 85 pounds worth of charms. Now, the very first time we bought a strand of a meter of pearls to air on its own, it, I have a feeling it was an August bank holiday about blah, four, maybe five years ago. And it was 99.99. We are already at 85 pounds for three of your sterling silver charms, three of them, a meter of eight to nine mil pearls, a meter, one meter. That's the equivalent of about three strands of genuine freshwater culture pearls, which are eight to nine mil. And then your seed pearls, which are hardly ever seen. They're too expensive for us to source. There's no other reason other than that. They're too expensive for us to source. They are way too expensive for us to source on a regular basis. We can't afford to source them. I don't think I've ever bought you a meter of seed pearls. So you are getting the equivalent of four strands of pearls, one of them being seed pearls, and three sterling silver charms, which is the equivalent, you know, elsewhere of about 85 pounds. If we can take this price any lower than what we're looking at here, then not only are you getting the pearls effectively for free, you're going to start to get these charms for free as well. Just you wait. Can I just ask everybody who is watching right now, trust us. 
Trust us. Just put these in your baskets. You don't have to check out till you're happy. You've seen some monumental prices over the last few months here on Joy Maker. We have been driving our prices right the way down. We've been bringing you bigger quantities. So if we can sell more quantity, we can give you lower prices. Quantity, quantity on this kit. How many do we have, Ben? Can you just remind me? Okay, so we've got just shy. We've got just shy of 70 of this kit. That's actually quite a big quantity for the equivalent of four strands of pearls and three sterling silver charms. That is quite a big quantity. I just want you to ask me, sorry, I just want you to answer me a question. What price would you expect to pay for these earrings here? Sterling silver, eight to nine more pearls, and then your seed pearls. 50 pounds, that's exactly what I was just thinking. Yeah. I'm paying more for them. I want to pay more for them. I'm expecting to pay more for them because of those seed pearls there, two seed pearls. If it wasn't for those seed pearls, I might say, I don't know, 40 pounds. Those two seed pearls there for me are adding a tenor onto those earrings straight away. We're not going to go there. You've got a clock and you're going to have to use the 60 seconds wisely. I've got enough in baskets for this kit to completely and utterly sell out in one fell swoop. OK, it is going to sell in seconds. Monica's jewellery is beautiful. It's classy, but it's not over the top. It's kind of celebrating the Jubilee, but it's not overly royally. Do you know, it's not kind of overly patriotic, but it's beautifully, but it's kind of beautifully, it's just a suggestion. It is elegant, timeless, wearable, sellable, all precious metal. Look at those pearl tassels under those ears. Aren't they elegant? They look, they're, they're exquisite. That, those earrings could be from the 1600s or, you know, from, from yesterday. And also, if I can just say quickly before the price comes in, just keep in Thank mind, I've made five pieces of jewellery from this kit. So just keep that in mind. Okay, <laughs> five pieces of jewellery with this kit. Today, $39.99 for the lot. That is eight pounds per piece of jewellery. Those earrings eight pounds that bracelet eight pounds that smaller necklace eight pounds that incredibly large necklace monica eight pounds it, this kit is absolutely flying out the door it is absolutely bonkers if you've got this in your baskets it's, it's almost too late that necklace there eight pounds eight pounds eight pounds that necklace or if you try to sell that for eight pounds, I wouldn't believe you that those were genuine pearls. No, no, you think, oh, they're lying. Those earrings there. I can't even justify those earrings with six pearls in for eight pounds. This necklace, eight pounds with a sterling silver charm, which on Pandora we found an almost like, well, no, no, it's not identical. Ours is better than the Pandora one. This is 25 quid. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? And also, can I just say as well, you are paying the equivalent of eight pounds per component. You've got five components here, five components. So this meter length of eight to nine more pearls is the equivalent to eight pounds. This is the equivalent to eight pounds. This is the equivalent of eight pounds. That's eight pounds. That's eight pounds. And that's eight pounds. Nowhere else in the world would you pay eight pounds for any one of these items on their own. It's Farcical. But today, and today only, because this kit is racing towards a sellout, it is going to sell out. It is literally a limited opportunity. Celebrating Queenie. We love Queenie. We love Queenie. She's an absolute legend. I challenge any other 96-year-old person to be doing what she's doing. She's absolutely brilliant, isn't she? She was there. She was there lighting her beacons and everything, wasn't she? Yeah, she lit a beacon. Wouldn't it be nice if you if you got one of these kits and then you sort of so many years down the line, you look at your piece of jewellery and say, oh, yes, I made this during the Jubilee. Well, interestingly, yeah. I was thinking back to the, two, uh, the 2012 um, Diamond Jubilee. Yeah. I was down in London for that Jubilee. And I so remember I. seeing... Oh, were you? Yeah. I was right by the Thames. And I remember yeah. seeing the big, um, the big oh, procession down the Thames. Oh, it was absolutely was beautiful. Yeah. The kind of yeah. fire, the wall of fire, wasn't it? Yeah. It was absolutely incredible. And it brought... I've got, I mean, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. And I, and I thought back to that time and I thought that was such a special time. Yeah. It was such a special 
special thing to be involved in. Not once did I think, oh, in 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 in, in ten years' time, we're going to be having you know the platinum jubilee. Yeah. And can I just say as well, Prince Charles, he's not going to have a platinum jubilee. Yeah. Neither's <laughs> Prince William, and neither's <laughs> Prince George. So we literally are in a in a in a once in a lifetime opportunity right now. Where we've, we don't have 23 left, by the way. We've got nowhere near that. Uh, this, j just ignore that quantity. It literally can't keep up with the amount that they're going. In baskets, Julie, uh, Ella, Charmaine, Jill, Maker, Maker, Barbara, Maker, 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 Alison. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And do you know what? I'm, I'm all up for, I'm all up for kind of like souvenir plates, souvenir coins, commemorative coins, things like that. But you know what? You're not actually going to use them or do it. They're going to sit in a box collecting dust. These you're going to use, you're going to wear, you're going to maybe get yeah. valued. And you know, my son was learning about this, obviously, in school. Oh, so my kids, lots and of lovely facts. Apparently, this is the first ever um, Platinum Jubilee anywhere in the world. D wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Yeah. That's amazing. She's Britain's that. longest reigning monarch, and I think, she's, I think there was a king who was older than her, maybe, but I don't think... She's the longest reigning monarch in the world. I don't, I don't know. Well, that's what they learned in school, so... I think she be. must be. Yeah, I think she must be. If there's never yeah. been a Platinum Jubilee before, she must be. 70 years on the throne. I mean, that is, that is, that is, that is quite something, isn't it? <laughs> that is quite something. Oh, my word. And yeah, what, she was 26? When she went, oh, that's amazing. So we've got coming up this pearl knotted. This is not just a... Uh, this isn't, no. This isn't just a yardstick. This is a pearl knotting tool. We've got this coming up, okay? So, uh, so you've got here. There you go. So you've got um, 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 inch measurements on here for your 20 inch necklaces, 22 inch necklaces, bracelets, things like that. Yeah, so gorgeous. We're going to be bringing that to you as well. So, going to be great with your pearls. Great with your second kit. Let's do the second kit, shall we? So, heads up. 40 of this kit. Oh, and and anybody who's coming, who's just come through to get that, if you haven't watched in the uh, eight o'clock hour. There's this. I definitely get that. I'll show this to you after we play this second kit. But yeah, look. Sterling silver, jubilee inspired, crown and scepter, uh, toggle clasp. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the way it's been cut and faceted and twisted. It's beautiful. One left of the pearl kit. If you want to add it onto your order and, you know, add this clasp on, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. It was $6.99. No-brainer. Add it onto your order. Well done. Right. I'll leave that there because I will show that to you again. This next kit, now I have to say, I, I am a huge fan of, of, of garnet when it's like this. Garnet is heavy. You know, if you had your eyes closed and you know, you're used to working with gemstones, if somebody put a strand of garnet in your hand, you'd know instantly. A, it's very, very cold, a bit like jade. B, but it's got a different noise to jade. Jade's got a slightly higher frequency noise when the gemstones kind of knock together. Um, but B, it's a very, very heavy gem. It's got real density, real weight to it. And I think that's one of the main draws for me with garnet. It feels substantial. You know, like when you hold an old, an old watch or an old SLR camera and it's got that yeah. beautiful weight, that kind of, that beautiful weight to it. It's the sign of quality and age, isn't it? And that's what garnet has. It's all to do with its uh, molecular structure. You've got this crystalline structure, which is um, uh, an orthombic crystal structure. It's got many, many, many sides to it. Uh, so it, it doesn't form in big sizes. As soon as it does start to grow over a certain size, it starts to fracture. These are big and they're bold um, uh, and, and, and they've got that wonderful density to them. You're also going to be getting a strand of Hessonite garnet. Isn't that gorgeous? That is a beauty of a strand. Oh, now the one, th the main thing I love about this kit is this. One, look at this. Look how beautifully and crisp that is with the gold-plated silver. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, you can, look at the, you can look at the price comparisons again if you want to, of the Pandora one and the Steph one. You can look at them again if you want. But can you imagine how much these charms would be if they were yellow gold-plated sterling silver? I don't even know if those ones are sterling silver, by the way. Uh, but just imagine how much they would be if they were yellow gold plated. Would it be £25? Would it be £30? No, it would be more. Now, the yellow gold plating on the sterling silver really makes those cabixiconias pop, doesn't it? That detailed pop. I didn't even notice the kind of the bow on top. Mm. Oh, no, it's not a bow, but it's like, a, you know, that kind of shape, isn't it? On top of the crown. It's just gorgeous. That, isn't that where the Star of Africa is? I'm pretty sure. Or, or mm, in, the, in the top of the 
Because the Star of Africa is a diamond, isn't it? I'm, I'm sure that's in the top of the crown. I don't know. I might try and find that out, actually. But it's such a beautiful representation, and it's three-dimensional. So it's not just flat. It's not flat on the back. You can see here, three-dimensional. So it's got that incredible quality going all the way around this beautiful piece. Look at that. Isn't that just exceptional? That's just exceptional. You can put something inside there if you wanted to. We're actually going to do this with the price point, by the way. So many people there, all the way down. $39.99. We're matching the price. And of course, it's still available on split payments of £19.99. pence. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get this. If you do want to mix up your metals with this as well, then feel free to do that uh, with your mixed metals and add your sterling silver toggle to it as well with that gorgeous uh, crown and scepter that looks absolutely beautiful doesn't it it's just gorgeous i just love it well done gabrielle jackie pauline maker liz helen maker maker angela maker well done there's loads of you there well done we've only literally got 40 of this kit it's absolutely fine we had over we had 70 of the last kit. We've got less than 40 of this kit. It's absolutely flying out the door. Well done, Mary and Jerry Maker. Pamela, well done to you. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the jewellery you've made, Monica. I mean, it, it's not overly complicated. Yeah. It's really beautifully, um, it, it's decadent, isn't it? But isn't it interesting that I made pretty much the same jewellery from both kits and they look so different. You're two. absolutely right, they do. Yeah. I tell you what the garnet kit reminds me of as well. If you've ever, I think it's because of the colours. If you've ever seen the Bayer tapestry, if you've ever seen kind of medieval jewellery and medieval colours, medieval yes. stained windows as well. They weren't these brightly coloured ones. It was very much almost like an ambery coloured glass, which was probably smoked to get that kind of coloration from it. It reminds me very much of kind of historic, yeah. kind of almost medieval. It's, a, it's that colour palette of those lovely barley coloured hessonite garnets and the rich heaviness of that garnet. It just it works so well with the gold. I tell you what, I was at um, on um, what day was it? Uh, ch uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I went to Warwick Castle. We've got these annual parties. So, so I take the kids there most most kind of um, most days that we have off together. It's always great. We went to see the Bird of Prey show, which was just amazing. And that was great at 12.30. If you get the chance to go, it's absolutely amazing. But we also went to, um, we also uh, went inside the, in, inside the castle. And all alone in the corner of the room, there was a tiny little gold ring in a, in a, in a bulletproof box. And it was a 15th century uh, a 15th century gold ring made made from made from um, uh, uh, gold. It used to be decorated with enamel uh, and other gemstones, and it was found in the grounds of uh, uh, Warwick Castle, kind of uh, many many moons ago. But this it reminds me of the colour palette of this of this incredible kit. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, go 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 go. So toggle 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 very quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the graphics live for this toggle. I've still got genuine chances left if you want to add it onto your order. 925 sterling silver crown toggle. Gorgeous. Yeah, definitely with the pearl kit. Anyone who's come through to get the pearl kit, which is now completely sold out. Gorgeous. 6.99 for your sterling silver crown toggle clasp. And then, of course, we've got the pearl knotting tool as well. So 6.99 if you want to add that onto your order. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Right. What are you going to show us, Monica? Well, I'm going to show you the tassel section because uh, the crown on top of the tassel is basically a charm or a pendant on its mm. own. It's not, a, it's not a connector or anything. So I want to show you how to attach the tassel uh, to the crown if you want to copy mine. Okay. Yes, most definitely. I'm going to need to borrow one of the crowns, actually, because I didn't get uh, a backup kit. So I'll give it back to you when I'm done with the... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to steal that one, if that's okay. Right. She's stolen the crown jewels, everyone. <laughs> Arrest this woman. So, first of all, what you need basically is you need a tiny little jump ring that's going to fit inside of the crown. Uh, and it needs to be a closed jump ring. So, most of us don't have that. I know I don't have a small, little, tiny closed jump ring that would fit inside the crown. So, I'm going to quickly show you how to make one. Um, and it's important that it's closed because you don't want your threads to come out of it. So, basically, I'm going to start off the same as you would start a normal um, wrapped loop. So, don't make it too big, sort of maybe half a centimetre up your pliers. Um, it really doesn't need to be big. Just as I say, it needs to be small enough to fit inside the crown. So just start off with a normal wrapped loop. Okay. So do just a wrapped loop, a few wraps around. Mm. Okay. Just like that. Okay, you're gonna cut off the excess. Let me just get my cutters. So cut off the little extra there. Now it doesn't have to be too neat because it's going to be hidden inside. And then what you want to do is 
I thought about just cutting off the, the working wire as well. Mm. But then I thought it's going to hold my entire tassel. So that wire can possibly pull out of the wrap if it's cut off right at the end there. Okay. So what I thought I would do is I would grab the little loop and then I would turn the wire down towards the loop and then do a few more wraps around that existing wrap just with your working wire. Wrap a wrap. That's so going to wrap a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> so just like that. So you can see that there, maybe. Okay, yeah. So as I say, it doesn't have to be neat. Don't worry too much about it. And then you can just cut off this wire as well. Oh. Okay. So we've got that little tiny thing there. Don't, okay. Don't lose it. <laughs> and then what you're going to use is, um, I use my crystal six pound uh, fire line because that one is the most invisible thread that I have. You could possibly use monofilament, uh, but you're going to use quite a lot of it in there and there might not be enough space for all of it. So. Um, if you have your six pound fire line or four pound even, that would work as well because it doesn't have to hold a lot of weight. Okay, so then I'm going to take this little jump ring that I made and I'm going to go through it with my thread and I'm just going to knot my thread on there. You can do three knots just to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Okay, so three overhand knots just like that, that will hold it in place. Okay, and then you're just going to treat this as a little jump ring so you can hold on to the um, the wrapped section and then you can start making your tassel so for the tassel what I did was I picked up um, on the uh, on the garnet one I picked up seven seed beads on the pearl one I did ten because I wanted to make it a bit longer so whatever number you want let's go with seven so uh -huh. that's uh, six so that's seven then I picked up three of my um, got the smaller garnet. Okay, and then I picked up, uh, I think I put, picked up three of my larger garnet, but I'm just going to do one here for the oh, okay. speed. Okay, then you're going to pick up another one of your seed beads. Okay, and then you're going to go back through all of those beads. And this, um, uh, the three millimeter garnet is amazing because you can get your thread through there and you can still get your needle back through it. Gosh, a lot that's of the, really good. Yeah, a lot of the time the smaller garnet, uh, the smaller beads um, yeah. have fairly small holes, but that's this has brilliant. got a really good hole in it, yeah. So you're going to go back up through all of your beads again to make your tassel, okay? Then you want to go through that loop again, okay? Then you're going to do another tassel the same as this one, okay? And then the one after that, the next one, so I'm going to skip that one because that one's the same, but the one after, what you want to do is you want to go through the top bead in one of your other existing tassels, okay, like that. And then you want to pick up six beads. So you're going to count that one as your first one. So pick up another six of your seed beads, four, five, six. And then you can pick up your three smaller garnet. I shouldn't have put them down. I should have taken them straight from the strand. <laughs> Gorgeous. To find the hole, but it's only three. It's fine. And then you're going to take one of your larger ones. And then a seed bead. As I say, you don't have to use seed beads. You can do spacer beads, or you can, if you have two millimeter garnet, you can add that in. So anything like that. I just thought it looked nice with the gold. And then you go back through all of them again and back through that first one as well. Okay, and then don't forget to go through your uh, little jump ring between each of the tassels. So you go through the jump ring and then come down again one of the top beads because you would have two because the first two tassels you would do uh, with brand new beads and then you would add your next tassel on like that. So once you've added um, all your tassels, um, I would say put at least five tassels, but you can do seven, you can do as many as you like really. And then you want to attach it to your uh, little crown. Oh. So what I did with that is I went up from the bottom of the crown. Now, if you have a look, you've got this cross at the top that we were talking about. Yeah. Okay? And then you've got the sort of the gaps in the crown. So yeah. you've got two that are directly in front of ah. this little cross. Right? So two. Yeah, I see yet. what you've done. And then you've got the ones on the side. So you want to come up through one of these gaps that are sort of in the front. Now the front, of, front and back of the crown are both the same, so it doesn't matter which side, but come up through one of these gaps on one side of the crown. So not yeah. these ones on the, the side, but the front. <laughs> yep. You want to come up through there, 
okay? Now don't pull your tassel all the way up because you, you need the space to work with. So just leave it loose like that, Yeah. okay? And then under this little cross again, yeah. I think you can see it in the overhead, there's a little hole under the cross. So your needle can go through there. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, that's and that's a, that's a closed space there. So your thread won't come out of there. So you can go through that. And this is why I wanted to use the invisible thread because I didn't want to see it on the Yes, tassel. you're not going to use a green And then you're going to come up through the yeah. hole on the other side of the cross, like that. I mean, you could have just glued it in. Oh, did I not go through? I oh, didn't go through. You could just uh, glue it in, but because it was sterling silver, I didn't want to risk damaging it or anything like that. So I wanted to attach it somehow with thread. Okay, now you're going to go, so I came up through this gap in the crown, so now I'm going to go back down this gap on the, that's next to it. Okay, so I'm going to go back down there, and again, still don't pull it tight, because now you're going to go through your little jump ring again, because I didn't want to also just rely on one thread going through. Yeah. So you're going to go again through your crown, the same as you did before. So you're going to go up through the bottom. You're going to come up through the same gap that you came up through the first time. Okay, you're going to go through to the back again, or the front actually, because that's going to be the front, obviously, because you've got more threads on this side. And then up through the hole on the other side. Okay. And then you're going to go down that hole there. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to go down some of the seed beads in your tassel. Because once you pull it tight, you won't be able to get through these because your crown is going to be in the way. So just go down through a few of those beads there. Okay. And then you can hold onto the whole lot and just gently, little by little, you'll see if you pull it, those threads will eventually pull in there. They'll get shorter and shorter. Oh! So just play with it a little bit until you pull the whole lot. So this is why your little jump ring needs to be able to fit inside there because you don't Boop. see the jump ring. Pop it in. So it pops in just like that, okay? And because you're using the crystal fire line, you can't see any of the thread. What I should have done actually before I did that as well is the tail thread you want to bring down as well through your tassel because obviously now I can't thread it in. Well, I might be able to get through the top one, but if you bring yeah. your tail thread down as well, then at least that's also gone through your tassel a little bit. So you've got everything in there, and then all you need to do is just do a few knots with your thread. So just go underneath, create a loop, and then go through the loop. And then that makes you a knot. Do another one of those. And then what you want to do is because, I mean, it's pretty secure like this because you haven't got a massive amount of weight hanging on there. But this knot could possibly go through your seed beads and make the whole thing come loose again. So what I did then was I went, after I did two knots, I went down to between two of the garnets because the garnets have slightly smaller hole, but still good because as you can see, I still went through it again with my needle. And then I put two knots in there as well just to make sure that the thread doesn't loosen out and then uh -huh. your tassel becomes loose. So do another two knots there. and then go through a couple more beads before you cut off your thread, or even just one. And then you cut off your thread, and that's your little tassel. Gorgeous! And oh, The rest Monica. of it is just threading. <laughs> that's so clever, though. It's really pretty. It gives you a really lovely, neat finish, it? does, it? it does. And I, mean, I like that. I mean, you get really close with the camera, so there you can maybe see some of the threads inside. Ooh. But on, honestly, when you look at it, you know, without a magnifying glass... <laughs> yes, exactly. You're so right. You're not going to see those threads. That is just gorgeous. I love that. Well done. Aha! About 10 of that kit left. Uh, the pearl one is completely sold out. The jewellery maker shell design. Because here's your shell. Oh, yeah. Ah. Shell design jewellery maker pearl knotting tool. This is so cute. Now, it's got a little pin at the top, and Monica, this is something which you kind of mentioned. Um, at, uh, I think it was before the show, actually. When you're doing your, when you're making a necklace, it doesn't necessarily need to be with pearls, but when you're making a necklace and maybe you want to knot it or you want to measure out regular kind of stations within your piece, you always start off with kind of by ending a jump, but by, by putting one end yeah. on the necklace or bracelet, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I can show you on this one. Let me just yeah. 
put this one back in the kit before Thanks, love. <laughs> before she gets accused. Of yeah. yeah, it's on camera. I gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> so when you start with your pearl knotting, um, obviously you usually start by finishing off one end. So you'd have yeah. your jump ring there on the one end. So then you can just slip your jump ring on there. And then as you're doing your knotting, you can measure out how, how long your necklace is that you've done so far. Or if you're doing a design where, um, especially with gem gemstones sometimes, because obviously you don't have to use this with pearls, you can use it with yeah. anything else. If you're using cord or something like that to position your, your gemstones, then you can measure out the length. So you have uh, a mark here. Oh, sorry. You've got your mark there. So you can put one knot there to put your first gemstone and another knot. Yeah. And then you might want to leave a gap. And then you go to the next mark where you would do your next gemstone. And so it's basically a measuring tool, but mm. it holds onto your necklace at the top really really you. useful so if i just tip it this way here we go yeah so you've got here right the way from the top you've got uh your four inch measurement you've also got it in centimeters so 15 centimeters and six inches there 20 centimeters and eight inches uh, all the way up to 18 inches and 45 centimeters and so on and so on and so on Great if you're going to be, um, if you want to know how long, you know, how long the necklace is. Um, great if you want to have regular stations. You want to have yeah. two inches of this, two inches of that. You know, if you're making maybe a birthstone or a chakra star necklace. And great, obviously, if you're going to be knotting, because, of course, you can hold your piece nice and still with this. Create your knots and then, you know, have, have, a, uh, have a really, really regular. It saves you from having to sort of move away from your working station. Absolutely. From, take it off your work top and, and measuring it every time. Absolutely. Now, your price today, nine ninety nine wow. for your pearl knotting tool. It's absolutely amazing. I just love it. It's such a lovely little tool and something great, yeah. uh, really, really useful if you're doing anything. Uh, um, yes, including your pearl knotting, but let's say you're making a gorgeous kumihimo piece. You obviously need yeah. to hold your kumihimo pieces nice and still at the yes. top. Great to be able to do your kumihimo with. You can kind of clamp it down at this kind of end here. Um, and you can, you can keep an eye on how long that necklace or bracelet is. Yeah. Uh, that you're going to be making uh, you can put little marks on here as well if you want to uh, put your uh, little marks on here at kind of um, um, inch measurements of you know you know if you make um, a lot of bracelets which are seven inches you can pop a little line there so you know that it's always going to be seven inches um, so you've got hey uh, oh that's interesting what have you got there Ben oh yeah when you restring pearls goodness me so restringing pearls that's an interesting that's an interesting, that's an interesting article you've got there, Ben. So restranding pearls, uh, pearl necklaces can cost absolutely, uh, well, it could be, it could be unbelievably expensive. Obviously, um, you know, it depends who you go to, but it says here a 14 inch choker would be about $66 to restring. I mean, it really does depend on who you go to, whether it's pearls or faux pearls, what they're using to restring it with. Is it silk? Is it, is, is it something, is it, is it silk alike? Is it man-made? Whatever it is. Uh, but you know, nine ninety nine, and you can and you can just do it yourself. And we've got so many pearl knotting demos on we our have, website. Yeah. And I mean, our, the, um, the price YouTube channel. The prices that I've heard for restringing, because obviously it also depends on the size of your pearls. Because of those course, seed pearls, obviously you would need a lot more knots. Yes. So the prices that I've um, seen is usually about a pound a knot. Yes, a pound per knot seems. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, is 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 more than uh, more than typical. I would have thought. Yeah, no problem at all. So for a you know, an 18 inch necklace, which is uh, 45 centimeters, you're going to be looking at least kind of 40, 50, maybe even yeah. 60 pounds uh, to get that restrung. And, and of course, if you're using genuine pearls or slightly, you know, slightly different materials, maybe your gorgeous silk, whatever it might be, could be significantly more than that. Um, 9.99 is your price point for this. I think you'll find this really, really useful, a really, really useful tool. Lots of people still coming through for this, which is really good to see. Well done. If you do want to multi-buy as well, you know, not just for people who are into pearl knotting, but anyone who's into Kumihimo, mm -hmm. anyone, because uh, with your Kumihimo, obviously you have to hold it still at one point. Uh, really, really useful tool. It's nice that it's Jewelry Maker branded as well. Lots of names coming through. If you do want to multi buy, feel free to do that as well. No problem at all. Also, great for your sketches as well, and um, you know, to be able to get things down to scale, use it as a, almost a ruler if you want to as well. You know, really, really useful to be able to use that. Gosh, look at that photo. That's an interesting photograph that's been uh, taken there. Whoa! <laughs> there you go. There you go. But yeah, well done to everyone coming through. I mean, actually, I mean, how on earth are you meant to photograph this? As Alison Tarry said on Tuesday, how big's a piece of fish? <laughs> I that. Still don't know what that means. 
Still don't know what that. Yeah, it was like it, it was meant to be. Uh, kind of, she, of she was meant to be saying, "How long's a piece of string?" She yeah. said, "How big's a piece of fish?" <laughs> <laughs> One of the weirdest things I've ever heard anyone to say, but uh, but anyway, there we go. Uh, fantastic. Well done. Nine ninety nine. Okay, so we've got a little competition coming up in this hour. We've also got another competition on our YouTube. Sorry, not YouTube. Facebook page. If you go to the Jewelry Maker Facebook page and um, you look at the Facebook Live I did before the show on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page, like it, share it, tag a friend. If you do all three of those things, you'll be entered into a prize draw. We'll pick a winner at random, and in the twelve o'clock hour, we will uh, announce the winner. You will win fifty pounds credited to your jewelry maker account so we'll announce that in the 12 o'clock hour competition today is jubilee related so the question this hour the queen had no brothers but had one sister what was her sister's name a margaret sorry a mary b margaret c anne a mary b margaret or c anne don't send in your answers now. Just and and, and also, uh, we will we will we will answer the, all the questions in the twelve o'clock hour. And in the twelve o'clock hour, we'll get you to send in your answers. But don't send in Mary or Margaret or, or whoever it might be. Just send in A, B, C, whatever it might be, uh, in the twelve o'clock hour. And then um, Margaret in Lancashire is just texting with her answer. We don't need your answers now. You're not going to win anything. Uh, text in in the uh, 12 o'clock hour with all of your answers and then uh, whoever wins wins a board of the crown jewels basically ruby sapphire emeralds diamonds uh, spinel all of it all of it all of it gorgeous well done speaking of the queen are you ready for the royal pearl Can we make, is this going to be a star by come on let's make it into a star by time for the royal pearl So, you know inside this box there's something very special, don't you? Mm -hmm. I love these boxes. I, they're so beautiful, aren't they? Have you received anything in one of these boxes? I have. I bought, I've got four strands. Yeah. That they came in the, in, the, in the longer version of this box. They are just, they're so beautiful. The quality of these boxes is gorgeous. A beautiful black velvet box with a little popper on it. Just opening it up opening up oh my gosh see just this just looks amazing look there oh my gosh that is just beautiful let's get it out this is the royal pearl this is such a special piece this is such a special piece you are getting here the most elegant the most elegant look at this oh. lavender fresh water pearl oh. look at that monica wow now the quality of that pearl is absolutely superb isn't oh, it it's beautiful I, I was trying to think of a word to kind of i, I, I that it is it is absolutely jaw-dropping, isn't it? Pearls are valued on their size, their shape, their orient, their color, their gem quality, their luminosity. There's many, many, many ways in which you can value a pearl. What you are getting here is a miracle of a pearl. Naturally colored lavender. And literally the crowning glory on this pearl is a sterling silver eight pronged crown. I mean, it is absolutely exquisite. This pearl isn't dyed. It's not, it's not bleached. It is 100% natural, embedded, encrusted into the sterling silver crown on the top with this enormous bale are uh, 60 points of 
natural white topaz. It is jaw-droppingly beautiful. It is literally breathtaking. Um, do you know what this, this kind of really brings to mind for me? You get the sterling silver chain with this as well, by the way. This really brings to mind those kind of exclusive offers that you have at the back of maybe something like the Sunday Times, something like that, or the Telegraph. And if you save up enough coupons and send it off with, I don't know, 500 pounds, you can own the Royal Pearl. And you can imagine it advertised on telly, this royal, this natural lavender freshwater pearl is encased, uh, is, is, is encircled, I should say, with this sterling silver crown encrusted with natural white topaz and set onto a glorious 925 sterling silver chain. I mean, it's ab you can just see it, can't you? This is one of the ultimate commemorative pieces to commemorate our Queen's Platinum Jubilee. 70 years on the throne and you own something like this. We're at 499.99. This is our first price. 299.99. We are no way near where we're going to finish. When we bring you things like this, we want to make them as affordable, as enticing as possible. Can I just point something out to you? This is not on split pay, which should tell you everything you need to know about the price we're going to. Now, you're looking at this, you love it, you want it, you love the design, you love the idea of owning something like this, this commemorative piece, absolutely gorgeous. Just do me a favour, just pop it in your basket. You don't have to do anything, just pop it in your basket. If you're thinking 99.99, amazing. If you're thinking, uh, if you're thinking, you know, I mean, that would be, to be able to get this for under a hundred pounds, that means quite a drop, that is. That's quite a drop that we've got to make there. Just put it in your basket, pop it in your basket to be able to own a natural 10 centimeter, sorry, I beg your pardon, 10 centimeter, 10 millimeter, genuine, naturally colored lavender pearl, perfectly round, flawless, illuminating the crown under which it sits, that crown encrusted with over half a carat of natural white topaz. We're at 199 pounds and we're not done. You get the chain with it. Of course, you get the box with it as well. This is gorgeous. We were saying right at the beginning of the show today, for anyone, for any babies born during the Jubilee year or around this time, it's my, it's my, it's my youngest daughter's um, seventh birthday tomorrow. And kind of, she's very excited. And you know, this would be great for her, obviously, um, in years to come to say, you know, you were seven and this is what we got, you know, you know for, to commemorate your, not only your birthday, but the special weekend on which your birthday uh, on, on which your birthday fell this year. 199.99. Because we're feeling very sentimental. Why don't we? Why don't we take it down as low as we can? Now, 70 years on the throne for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, oh. absolutely brilliant. 70 years of having her face on a pound coin. How about we celebrate with a pound per year? If that interests you, if that interests you, 70 year jubilee, a pound per year. Okay. 60 second clock. Brenda, Amy, Wendy, well done. Lots in baskets. This is great to see. Well done. 0800 Go, 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 go. You know it's going to go nice and low today, don't you? Already a lot of people there. You know that it's 70 pounds. That is a, that is a tremendous. It, and the thing is, Monica, it just does not look like a 70 pound piece of jewellery, does it? No, it doesn't. 170, 270, 370, 470 pounds, maybe. Okay. And if you know 
Producer Ben, you know he loves a bargain, loves a deal, and we all love Queenie. Okay, we're at 199.99. A lot of people there already. A lot of people loving this. A lot of people coming through to get this and going, do you know what? I really like the idea of that. That's fun. Yeah, that's absolutely wonderful. Not to mention the fact that it looks like something which is two, three, four, five times the price point of where we're actually going to be ending up today. Here we go, all the way down. There's another maker there, Brenda. Well done to Staffordshire, Yorkshire, Surrey. Well done. 70 pounds, a pound per year. How wonderful is that? Absolutely tremendous. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 Annie, well done to you. Wendy, Julie, well done, Amy. Gorgeous at just 70 pounds. Well done. Baskets are stacked. A lot of people coming through to get this. A lot of people want this. I just love it. But guess what? We're nowhere near done. Ooh. We're nowhere near done. Elizabeth in Greater London. Hang on. The Queen lives in London. That could be Elizabeth. That could be the Queen. She's on the phone, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I would absolutely die if that was actually the... Is Elizabeth, is that you? Yes. <laughs> 39.99 for you today. Sterling silver royal pearl. Yours today for under £40. Charmaine, well done to you, my darling. Great to see you today. Well done, Wendy. This is amazing. Go, 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 go. What a... What an amazing deal. Kathy, well done to you as well. Well done. Suzanne's taken to... This is just gorgeous. Well done. What an opportunity. Lamey, well done to you, my sweetie. Julie and Courtney Durham. Kathy in London. Well done. Joyce in Lincolnshire. God love you. Well done, my loves. Absolutely superb. Well done. The Royal Pearl, a natural lavender freshwater pearl with the most gorgeous sterling silver crown encrusted with over half a carat of natural white topaz. Deirdre, well done to you. Superb. If you do want to multi-buy Leslie, then go for it. Um, speak to our call centre team or just alter the quantity you check out in your baskets. Well done. Brenda's now got two. That's great to see. Well done, sweetie. At 39.99, what a tremendous deal. And what a wonderful way to celebrate the platinum jubilee. Uh, our queen sitting on the throne for 70 years. Absolutely fantastic. Edna, what well unto you. No capes. Well unto Olu as well in Northamptonshire. You've got two. Fantastic. Well unto you, my lovely. Just gorgeous. Loads of people coming through. Also texting, have you ever met a celebrity or a member of the royal family? What? That's absolutely bonkers, bro, for such an amazing quality, quality pal. All in capitals. That's how much Ricky loves that. Annie. Thank you so much, JM. That's from Annie. Oh, Annie, darling, you've come through to get this as well. well. You're actually one of the first people, Annie. Well done to you, Angela. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Can I just pop that up again? It's such a great deal. It's not even, it doesn't even need to be on split. I mean, that is just incredible. Hang on. I've just got my, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, this should be a split pay across five payments, three payments. You know, absolutely. Look at that. That does not look like a 40 quid pearl pendant, does it? Alison, well done to you. Another maker's come through to get two. Well done to you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. 39.99. That is just absolutely superb. Well done, everybody. Isn't that gorgeous, Monica? Oh, yes. yes, beautiful. And something which is, I mean, I'll say it once, I'll say it again, but, you know, something commemorative that you're actually going to use. You know, coins released by the Royal Mint, they're just going to sit in a drawer. Your commemorative plates, you're just going to end up smashing them or, you know, dusting them or, or regretting that you bought them. Uh, this you're going to wear, you're going to love. And what I love about this as well, yes, it's a commemorative piece for the, uh, for, for the Platinum Jubilee, but it's not kind of overly, this is for the Jubilee. It doesn't have dates and things written on it. It doesn't have, you know, it's not overly, it's not overly patriotic, is it? No, but, uh, but I was just thinking about the price, though, because it comes with the chain as well. With the it? chain, yeah. So if you went to, let's say, a high street store, you would pay £15 for the chain. Let's say 15 yeah. You would pay at least £10 for the box. <laughs> so oh, my gosh. So actually... <laughs> So you're only paying £15 for the pearl. Yeah, do you know what? You're absolutely right. And Mon Monica is right there. You know, you can expect to pay £10, £15 for that chain on its own. The sterling silver chain on its own. I'll just pop it in the box. And then the box you've got here as well. This is not a plasticky, rubbishy, trap your fingers in it kind of box. This is a really, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look, it is, it is a gorgeous box, um, which has got this wonderful velvet quality to it. 
It's got this wonderful kind of almost like a dish in, the, in, in it. So he, he, here you are, look. Take that out, look. Very dishy, just like Ben, yes. And Adam. Adam. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. And you've got that look. Beautiful. And just literally hold it down like that. Clamp that down like that. Literally have that on display with a picture of the Queen next to it saying Jubilee commemoration pearl, yeah. pearl necklace for, I don't know, 99.99. Oh, easily. People would absolutely love that. Maker, Valerie, Alison, well done to you. Gorgeous. And then to close it, you literally, I, I love the fact it's got little doors on it. It's got two little, yeah. two little doors on it. It's so cute, I mean, isn't it? That box is actually really nice if, you, if you're traveling, someone to keep your jewelry safe when you take it off in the evenings. Or That's a good idea, actually, because you could take this out and put multiple pieces yeah. of jewelry in here in this little dish here. You absolutely can do. Or, yeah, earrings, bracelets, whatever. Gorgeous. Well done. Quick, quick re recap of, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, okay. Uh, this, this toggle, toggle, boggle, 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 boop, boop. Okay, well over half the quantity went for this. We did have about five hundred though, so uh, do add it onto your order. Sterling silver, um, sterling silver toggle clasp um, with a three-dimensional cl uh, clown. <laughs> A three-dimensional clown, I said. <laughs> a three-dimensional crown, not a clown, a crown. <laughs> so three-dimensional crown. Gee whiz, Carol, that would be very happy to believe you about this deal. <laughs> uh, no, crown. It's a crown and scepter. <laughs> it's my specter against your scepter. Uh, so you've got your sterling. I oh, know, I'm starting to lose it. Uh, <laughs> Three-dimensional crown, uh, toggle class, six ninety-nine. Loving this necklace. We are celebrating my granddaughter's tenth birthday tomorrow and our fortieth wedding anniversary on Sunday. Says Julie. Oh. <gasps> it's it's my it's my youngest daughter's seventh birthday tomorrow. How lovely, oh. Julie. This is lovely. Little Pip's gonna be seven. Seven. I've got some of those. Um, what are they called? Sea sea monkeys. Is that what they're called? A sea monkey kit. Yeah, I'm very excited. She's, she's going to absolutely love those. The price really don't reflect the amazing quality and luster of the pearls that comes from JM. They are absolutely beautiful. And it's a must-have. Ricky, thank you so much. You're so right. It really is the most beautiful quality. And the clasp. Could it be used as a pendant to drop an initial from this uh, crown bale, says Anne. Yeah, it's a great idea. Here you are. Yeah, there you go. Well done, gang. Six ninety nine. Dinner of the day coming up. Oh, yeah, it's time for all of the sliding class bracelets. Don't go anywhere. Guest designer Alison Tarry here. Have we got a show coming up on the Jubilee weekend? Oh my gosh! Take us with me if you're partying. Take you, take me with you. We have got these brand new to tools. They're for making spinner rings. They're for flaring your rings. So these are my first practices. Um, as you can see, I've used one of the dies from the show on um, Tuesday, and it just sits beautifully. And this is starting to flare. I've done it like this so you can see the contrast between the copper and the silver. We've got some amazing sterling silver kits for you. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to have some um, bare copper on as well. So two tools, fantastic. All you need is a clamp or a second spanner and you're good. That's all you need. A um, little bit of soldering and you're good to go. They're fabulous. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Masterclass is going to be mega. 
on Saturday from 8 and from 12 for the Masterclass. See you soon. What? But he's a whippersnapper, isn't he, Ben? Producer Ben. There he is. Can I just say, Ben, I'm loving the go faster stripe down your leg. So we could get here quicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, love him. He's got like a go faster stripe down his, uh, down his trousers today. And I have to say, it is, it is absolutely brilliant. Is it, right, over the break, Ben brought the graphics live for the deal of the day. And there are already over a dozen of these sitting in baskets. We haven't even announced it. I haven't even brought them live yet. Okay, all I'm gonna say is, I, I saw these on Instagram last night, uh, uh, put on there by our in-house designers. I literally was in bed, just about to tear my alarm on. And, um, and, I was, um, and I was planning on which ones I was gonna wear. And I just thought, would it be stupid? Would it be, would it be a little bit too much just to wear them on? I thought, no, stuff it, I'm not gonna, no, no. I'm just gonna put them all on. Oh, I I, like like that, yeah. Aren't they great? And do you know what? This way round, so you can see the fronts of all the bracelets is, is, is really lovely. But actually, do you know what? Move some of them round. Yeah. They are so stackable. They are so wearable. This appeals to all, to all ages. I, I saw my friend yesterday. I went bowling with her and, and her kids. And she's got, she's got an eight-year-old and she's got a 12-year-old, soon to be 13. And I thought, if I was ever thinking of, you know, what am I going to get for Frankie, who turns 13, so what am I going to buy her? It's going to be something like this. It's kind of like this, because it's so... See, my kids would love it, but also a teenager would love these. Yeah, but I think and I'm sure your son would love these. Oh, yes. and but I think also as a gift, it would be nice to give it as components. So not made up like that, but, you Ooh. know, with, with the bracelet separately and maybe a, a bead or something and, a, and, you know, an eye pin. When... When, oh, when you're faced with components like this, and this is how they'll come to you, this is how they'll come to you. When they are, when you are faced with components like this, you lit, the, the beauty of things like this is, and the reason why they're so popular, I bought you sliding class bracelets before. We've had sliding class bracelets in bundles and kits before. I've never bought you these ones. These ones are brand new. There are many, many, many benefits to these, which we'll talk about in a couple of seconds. But the, one of the main benefits is 
there are no limitations whatsoever. So if you're looking at this and going, do you know what? That's not a bracelet for me. That's a necklace. Absolutely fine. Put it around the back of a necklace. It's a necklace. You know, have it literally so you can wear it at different lengths. Because, of course, you've got here the opportunity to do just that. You literally just pull these little toggles and it closes really nice and tightly. You could put one bead in the middle, three beads in the middle, an entire necklace in the middle. It's wonderful. We haven't even bought the graphics live yet. And I have got, oh gosh, there's, there's about 80. There's about 80 in baskets, okay? People buying these already. People just checking out. And people, Beverly's already bought two. Patricia's already got three, okay? Everybody is going to want these. There are no limitations whatsoever. Now, if we're talking about high fashion, and high fashion, quite often you think of, right, high fashion, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of precious metal. It's going to be really expensive, obviously. It's going to be really couture. I've got a couple of images I wanted to show you. Now, these are just literally from Monica Veneda, but you can go on to websites like Outnet, Netta Porter, which is like a supermarket for for designer clothes. And you can get you can get jewellery which costs thousands and thousands of pounds. You can also get jewellery which costs maybe a few hundred pounds. But if you wanted to go a little bit lower down and you wanted to go kind of uh, to kind of high end high street, so Monica Veneda, for instance, well, she creates pieces like these and they sell for, you know, and they sell for and they sell for kind of 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds. I've got so. Oh, gosh, tell me about it. So I was watching Skyfall last night, and, and all of a sudden, in the corner of the screen, you see this thing turning... I don't tend to watch terrestrial television. And, and, and there was this thing turning... Love Island, Monday, 9 o'clock. Do you know what? I would rather slam my head in a door than watch Love Island, but... <laughs> I don't know why Monica's laughing. She's going to be on it. Uh, but <laughs> Can you actually imagine that? It would just be hideous, wouldn't it? It would just be the worst thing ever. Anyway, but they're all going to be wearing these kind of bracelets stacked up with their perfect, perfect bodies and their yeah. whatever. Anyway, with their kind of 1% body fat and all that. Anyway, um, so yeah, so if they're going to, so they're going to be wearing loads of bracelets like these and whether they've got gemstones, they look really cool just like that, don't they? Just like literally stacked up. Here's your Monica Veneda pieces. Linear solo friendship bracelet, 80 quid. It's got a diamond in it. One solitary diamond, but it's a diamond and that will be precious metal, I imagine. Yeah. OK, linear solo friendship bracelet uh, with uh, yellow gold plated. And that's got uh, red cord. I like that a lot. It's yeah. really, really lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you've got five bracelets here. These are silver plated base metal beads, just to let you know on here. And I, and I need to tell you that because this is going to justify the price point. How about a tenner a bracelet? I mean, that's brilliant. No limitations whatsoever. No limitations whatsoever. We've got so many people with these in baskets. We're going to be taking the price point down, down, really nice and low. Now, the beauty of these and how these differ slightly to the ones that we've already bought you, they're slightly bigger. So as a bracelet, uh, I've got one here with just literally one bead in the middle of it. Let me just show you as a bracelet. Look, as a bracelet, it can go really nice and big. So if you've got slightly larger hands or you like to wear your bracelet slightly looser or indeed if you've got slightly larger wrists or indeed if you want to wear it as an anklet you absolutely can do because these open up really nice and wide they're a little bit bigger than the ones that we've done before this is not your price for everyone who put this in their baskets we want to say a big fat thank you to you okay we want to say a big fat thank you they are going to be much, 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 much more affordable than a tenner per bracelet, okay? One word that we, that we can use, well, sorry, that Ben is going to use to describe it how low we're going to go. Go on, Ben, what's that word? No. Gee whiz, really? Heck. Oh, my word. Pandemonium is another word that springs into my mind. Absolute chaos, carnage. There's going to be something is going to somewhere, something in the building is going to short circuit. Something, 
<laughs> Something is going to happen to Ben relatively soon. I hope you're ready. I hope you're waiting. I hope you're there. Check out because today five of the most beautiful sliding class bracelets. Go, go, go. Ready? $14.99 for all five. Three quid a bracelet. Go, go, go. Well done, everybody. There's billions of you coming through. Well done, Vivian, Pauline, Patricia's got six loads. Well done to you. And of course, they're going to be such love. They can be such lovely quick makes, can't they? They are. I mean, that's why I was saying if you were given give it to a teenager, especially as a gift, I would give it as components, maybe with a few beads so they can choose what beads to put on there. Because how nice are they going to feel if they can say, oh, look, I made this bracelet, even if they're not a jewellery maker. You know. Do you know what? You're absolutely right. And, and three pounds each. Yes. Oh. Oh, ha oh, hang on. So look here. Ollie's little idea there. Get your sliding clasp. In fact, have you got any wire with you, Monica, okay. or anything like that? Any? You got any? You got any jump rings, love? Oh, yeah, jump rings. Um, anything silver. like? Have you got anything like that? Eh? I'm looking for some silver jump rings. Give me. Ah, <laughs> here we go. There's literally hundreds of people coming through. Hundreds and 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 hundreds. Okay. We had a big old quantity of these and they are flying. Which colour would you like, Monica? Ooh, it's got to be the lavender. Lavender. Oh, it's got to be. It's got to be. <laughs> As if. Why did I even bother asking her? <laughs> purple. Got to be purple. Extra points if you can include that as well. Of course I can. <gasps> See? <laughs> nothing's too much trouble for Monica. Here she goes. Here she goes. Okay, tell everybody, us what you're doing, everybody. love. Uh, well, I'm just going to use a jump ring. Okay, open your jumpy jump. Okay. An extra demo for free, everyone. So I'm going to attach the jump ring to the one end. I'm going to attach the toggle to the other. Okay. So there's the toggle. Yeah. And I'm actually going to attach the toggle to the other side. There you go. <gasps> ah! There you go. And then you can do it up and actually wear it. Oh. As it's meant. Monica! <laughs> Just look at that. That bracelet, Monica. Oh, look, she's putting it on. There you go. She's going to roll off with it now. That bracelet, by the way. There you go. That bracelet, three, six, six, seven. Uh, that bracelet's cost you uh, nine ninety nine yeah. to make. With a sterling silver. How is that a thing? <laughs> With a sterling silver crown toggle on it. There you go. So anybody who wants to get that crown toggle, well, why would you buy one now? You've got to get five now, haven't you? You've got to get five. You've got to get five. Well done, everybody. Let's have another look at the crown toggle. There you go. There's your crowny, crowny toggle. Yeah, crown toggles are made at six ninety nine. Can you believe that? You don't need this back, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, obviously, we're not going to get it back, but uh, but there we go. Six ninety nine for your toggle. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Can I just say huge congratulations and good morning to everybody who's watching this morning? Can we have a quick look at the names, lovey? Would that be all right? No, the yes, on there, sorry, yes. And then Michael, there we go, then Michael can show it. There we go, that's what I, you know what, you know what I meant. You know all the moves. Michael's got all the moves, don't forget. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> I really want you to dance like that all the time, Michael. No, I don't think you do though. He's way too cool to dance like that all the time. Here we go. In basket, Charmaine, Trisha, Maria, Susan, Teresa. Come on, Michael. Elizabeth, Maker, Ricky, Jane, Maker in Merseyside, Claire, Sue, Shannon. You've all got these in your baskets. Everybody who has checked out. Billions and billions of you. So many multi bidders. Check it out. There you go. There's everyone. Checky, checky out, out. 
Checky, checky out, out, everyone. Well done. OK, time for your star buy. It's just a metre of pearls and jade. Ha! Ah! So do keep checking out for your deal of the day because there's still genuine chances left. We will be recapping that a little bit later on in the hour, but keep on checking your baskets out. We're definitely not going to get that back, are we? Yeah. Never mind. Okay, right. Okay, <laughs> that's Monica's now. Okay. One meter of jade and pearls. Today, this is going to sell out. I bought this to wear three times. This is going to go today. We're all in the mood. I'm in the mood. We're all in the mood to celebrate our lovely queen, Queen Elizabeth II. Been on the uh, been on the throne longer than anybody else, any other monarch in the world. Seventy years. The first monarch ever. Yeah, I think to have a platinum jubilee. Mm. She's owned over thirty corgis. Wow. Do you know what one of her first corgis was called? Susan. Oh, Susan. But she's also had uh, dachshunds. She has had dachshunds yeah. as well. Yeah, she, she is an absolute legend, isn't she? $499.99, not your price, okay? Should we what, sorry? We'll get rid of one of the what's, one of the nines. So it's going to be $499.90. <laughs> yeah, £499.90. Okay, £499.09. Okay, $99.99. Yeah? $99.99, no? No? Why do I not? No? 183! Is there really 183 of these? That's up there. I think that's how many we bought. We have not got 183 of these available. 49.99! Go, 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 go! Well done. Happy to be happy bank holiday weekend, everyone. I tell you what, it felt like the entire world was in Stratford upon Avon uh, yesterday. It was absolutely crazy. You want to go to my uh, Instagram page, which is coralroach.tv. You can check it out. There was literally Stratford upon Avon was a was a wash, was a wash of people. Uh, Beverly Chantal, well done to you, my lovelies. Absolutely gorgeous. So many people coming through. Individual split payments of sixteen sixty six. I have this strand. They're beautiful, near rounds, and great value. Says Jane. I know. If you want your jade and you want your pearls and you want amazing value for money, then this is the one to go for. Pamela, you got two in your basket. Well done to Angela, Beverly. Well done to you, my lovely. Check out my loves at forty nine ninety nine. It's absolutely tremendous, isn't it? Go, 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 go. Well done. Yorkshire's through. Pamela, you got two. That oh my word. Check out Brenda. Well done to you in Surrey. It's under fifty pounds for you today. Well done. What a treat. And the jade is really beautiful quality, isn't it? It is, it is. I'm reluctantly going to give you this bracelet back because I think this clasp needs to go with that. Oh, yeah, I think you're so right. Yeah, look at it with the gorgeous crown toggle. Yeah. I managed to wrestle <laughs> off Monica. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? That gorgeous. And with the sliding clasp, with your deal of the day. Well done, Angela. Marie's through. Well done, my lovelies. Lots and lots and lots of people there. Well done. 0800 644 what a great deal. Look at that gorgeous toggle class there. There's your crown toggle class for six ninety nine. if you want to add that onto your order. Gorgeous. Well done, Sarah, Marie. Well done to you, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Well done. Check out, everyone. It's a go, go, go. Well done, everyone. What a treat. Lots and lots and lots of you there. Well done. Check out, my lovelies. And this with, of course, things like, oh, yes, the oh. Jada. Uh, sorry, the uh, Larimar. Oh, beautiful. Yep. With... <gasps> You're going to love this. The nephrite. Ooh. It's so good. Jill, Sarah, check out. Well done, Zoe. Well done, Brenda. Gorgeous. With the... Ooh, the battle. Battle, 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 battle. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah, there it is. Look, isn't, doesn't that look great? Great for wedding jewellery, I think, yes. all of that. Don't you think? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Well done. Check out my lovelies. So many people coming through. Yes, I do. Movie Oni. Big, chunky, incredible, monumental, huge pearls. Ooh. Wow. These are as big as your head. 
Nine to ten mil pearls, absolutely gigantic. Oh, there we go. The bracelet's going back on. You put it too close to me, so <laughs> literally. <laughs> Take it away. Uh, there you go. Nine to ten mil. Genuine fresh water culture pearls. I, I, I think, can I just say, I think we are edging towards the ten mil size here. These are most definitely huge. Yes, my love. They're brand new. Brand new pearls. Oh, yeah, they're brand new pearls. Brand new pearls, everyone. Nine to ten mil in size. Um, hang on. What's that price? What's that price? 49.99 for pearls of this. What? How many do we have? How many do we have? 37. Oh, can I put this up to my neckline, please? Okay. Think of the most ridiculous price point that you reckon that these might be going to. I'll give you a clue. Under 30 quid. Under 20 quid. I don't know how we can do this. 19.99? Surely not $17.99. Yeah? Surely we can't be... Surely, no. 37 available. Oh, my word. I really hope you're there. The brand... These are brand, brand, brand new pearls. They are going to sell out any second now. Are you ready? Are you steady? These might actually sell out before that clock gets down to zero. We are going low. They are huge. Look at this. Go on, Ben. Hoot that button. This is naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. $14.99. <laughs> oh, my word. Wow. Oh, look at everyone. Oh, give me those names, Ben. Give me them names, Bab. Don't worry, love. Maria's got three. Caroline, Elaine, Gabrielle, Vivian. Wendy's got two. So Heather, uh, Maker in Surrey, Ella, Jackie, Jackie, Marie. Hey, I'm Jackie. Leslie, Mrs. Wender, Maker in Surrey's got two. Neil and Linda, Les oh, Sandra, Lisa in Caffili, Deborah in Shropshire. Go on. Should we do another one? They were like obscene. Brand new. Brand new pearls. Beautiful. Look at them. Oh. Aren't they lovely? What am I going to put these in the middle of? Oh, shove them there. All of them. All of the sliding class bracelets. What? Yes. Okay. You saw the price point for the last. Okay. Okay. How many do we have, Ben? 44 available. 44 available. They're going to sell out. Ready? These are definitely going to sell out before we get to the end of the uh, clockage. Already people with these in the baskets. Already people coming through. Already people say, Jackie's already bought two. Oh, gosh. There we go. Do you know what? These are gorgeous. And it shows you, doesn't it? I mean, they look great with those sliding class bracelets. And it really makes quite yeah. pearls quite modern, doesn't it? It does. It does. Um, yeah, you can really do contemporary designs with, uh, with yeah. pearls. Yeah. That's it, because pearls, I think, people think are often, you know, very classic. They're attributed, obviously, with the Queen. Uh, and, and, you know, they're very, very classic, quite traditional. Uh, but what's so lovely about these is, with the sliding class bracelets, they look absolutely awesome, don't they? So make them really modern. Make them into whatever you want them to be. And for the price point we're going to go to, make them into whatever you like. Yeah, you saw how fast the last ones went. Elizabeth Kim, well done to you. June, Marie, Maxine, Gabrielle, well done to you. Ready, steady. You're not going to be expecting this. No one is. 11.99. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Loads of you there. Well done, June. June through. Well done. Lots of people checking their baskets out this morning for these gorgeous, genuine freshwater culture pearls. Seven to eight mil in size. They are absolutely fine. Nicola, well done to you in Surrey. Aren't they just gorgeous? Beautiful shape on these as well. Like a lovely side drill potato pearl. Yeah. Ben says they're not going quickly enough. Oh gosh. More makers coming through. Oh, gosh, no. No. Oh, no. Yes, Ben. Go it. Do it. No, just do it. Just forget the clock. Just do it. Just do it. forget that clock. Ready? Steady? Forget the clock. Take the clock off. We're not, we're not going to need it. Look at this. $7.99. Ha! Yeah, yeah. Get your clock off screen. There we go. Absolutely obscene. I'm just going to have a sip of coffee whilst this sells out. I mean, you've got, you've got about 20 pearls on this. So if you just 
put one on a head pin for each earring. There's 10 pairs of earrings. It's ATP for a pair of earrings. <laughs> Even if you add a, you know, sterling silver a shepherd's hook, you're still looking at about a pound. Joke. For a a pair pound of for a pearl pair earrings. of earrings. Pearl earrings. Amazing. Cheers. Mm. Oh, you're naughty, but we love it, says Jane. Oh, he is naughty. In fact, that's Ben's middle name. Benjamin Naughty Gibbs. There we go. Morning, I don't normally buy pearls, but couldn't say no for those at 14 99 Has someone been at the PIMS already? <laughs> Love Chantal and something. Now, nah, that would be a fun show. <laughs> that would be a fun show. Absolute carnage. Is Ben running the show again? Go, Ben! Running. Ruining. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ruining, I think you meant to say. Oh, Jamie, Elizabeth, Kim, Jacqueline, Cynthia's got two, Elizabeth's got two, Samantha, Mary, Barbara's got two, Nicola's got two, about to sell out, Sarah's got three, well done. Competiciano. Okay, I don't know why I was going to put that down there. Right, okay, here we go. So next question for this hour, don't send your answers in, you won't win anything. Make a note of your answer, either A, B or C, along with the others that we did in the other, uh, the others. As if you didn't get to see those, then go to our YouTube channel and just look. Uh, and uh, write down your answers and we'll, and we'll uh, send in your answer in the 12 o'clock hour. We'll announce the winner at the end of the show. Who was Queen Elizabeth's father? Queen Elizabeth II's father. Of course, because if it was Queen Elizabeth I, it would be Henry VIII, wouldn't it? Kin, 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 kin. Here we go. Right. Okay. Dinner of the day. Sliding class bracelets. Oh, gosh, that was very funny. Oh, man alive. Right. Here we go. Sliding class bracelets. Oh, sliding class bracelets in black, black, red, blue. I would show you the lavender one, but Monica selfishly <laughs> ran off with it. Don't worry. I'll use mine, love. Uh, and you've got, look, you've got the lavender one as well. Oh, dear me. There you go. Now, you can put whatever you like. There's no limitation at all, is there, Monica? No, no. No limitations at all. The only limitation is your imagination. Whatever the... Isn't that the Toys R Us slogan? I don't know. In fact, um, you could actually also do is make it, put a longer section in there and then wrap it around twice. Yes. Mm. You absolutely... That's a great idea, but they're not just braces. They can be necklaces. They can be whatever you want them to be. Just put something really long in between these two. It, it, you know, it's a necklace. The colours are wonderful. They look great stacked up. When we were just talk, we were we were just talking about kind of Love Island, weren't we? Ugh, which starts uh, whether you like it or not. It starts tomorrow at nine o'clock. Oh no, it's not tomorrow because I keep thinking today's Sunday. It's not. It starts on Monday at nine o'clock. And you know these are the kind of these are very popular with the youths, aren't they? They're absolutely gorgeous. And you know, well they are. They're gorgeous. You know they're. They're really lovely. Sound very old. <laughs> no, it just sounds very, yes, it makes yes, it makes you sound positively middle aged. Uh, but they are they're very popular with the younger, the younger generation, and they're just you know stacked up like this. They look great, and you can pay, you know, a hundred pounds for bracelets like this. You know, with whatever in the middle. But here, as you can see here, I've got gorgeous sterling silver spaces. Great as well, and maybe if you've got one gemstone which really stands out to you, or one piece left from a from another strand, or you know, a you know, a favourite gemstone, a really gorgeous sentimental piece. Fourteen ninety nine for all five of those. They work out to three pounds per bracelet, which is absolutely brilliant. Five of them. Why am I only wearing four? Which one am I not wearing? Oh, it's the purple one. Oh, it's the purple. See, Monica's just <laughs> ruining. Well, you've Ruin. got, oh. you got all the others, you know. I <laughs> you know, I know, love. <laughs> Here you go. 
<laughs> there you go. So lavender, green, blue, black and uh, red. There you go. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. More people still checking their baskets out there, which is great to see. Loads of baskets. Maker, Jenny, Maker, Corolla, Helen, Julie, and Charmaine, Maker, Elizabeth, uh, Amanda, Audrey, Alison, and another Alison. One in Nottinghamshire, one in Kent. So do check out as soon as you can. Well done, my lovelies. Gorgeous. Jenny's just checked out two loads. Well done to you, my loves. Gorgeous. Well done. Ooh, another metre long strand coming up now. Yeah, which, which slider bracelet would you use with the beryl? I mean, the blue works, the, the green, green works, the purple yeah. works. They all work so well, don't they? Look, if I just kind of... Uh, I'm going to do... Look, there's your blue. I would go there's green. your green. Get out of the way. Okay, right. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So... With a metre long strand, how much am I getting? Well, if you want to break it down into kind of what we would describe as regular length, regular length strands, you're getting the equivalent of about three strands of gems, yeah? Okay, so that's about three, three strands you're getting here, the equivalent of about three strands. At the very lowest price point, what are you used to seeing beryl of this quality go to? See, doesn't that look nice? Oh, it's beautiful. I'd love that on a loom, actually, to create a yes. lovely stretchy bracelet. Lovely for weddings, lovely for bridesmaids, lovely for flower girls. You know, as stretches, as like a big, a big stretchy cuff. I think that would just look great. But great for kind of beaded beads, making cufflinks out of, making um, kind of floral inspired designs out of as well. It's just so lovely. These are the kind of colors that you see on kind of Pinterest for your, for your kind of bridal themed pieces and you know, your wedding kind of colors. These are the kind of things you see in kind of proms and you know, you know when you're looking at prom dresses, these kind of colors that you see for kind of uh, baby showers, uh, you know, for baby boys, girls, twins, you know, these are the kind of colors that you see for kind of celebration it's kind of it's kind of summery it's light it's whimsical it's it's gorgeous it's it, it's fresh it's it's invigorating it's it just how can color do this how can color bring to mind all these things it's the kind of colors that you decorate your baby's nursery in is it it's sleepy relaxing bedtime colors it's the color of spas it's it, it's just it's just it's great isn't it it's also not 49.99 I don't know how. Now, remember, this is the equivalent of three strands of gems. I'll tell you a price you'd never see. $19.99. That is absolutely fantastic. Confetti colours. Yes, oh, yeah. Janet. Thank you, darling. Carol, Gabrielle, Anna, Maker, Margaret, Heather. And, of course, what's so nice about this as well, Monica is you can literally put these colors in any order, any configuration. If you make yeah. a beady bead using all of these and they're all gonna go together. They are. One of my, one of my kind, of, uh, kind of things about color is I wanna put colors together that work or colors together that contrast. And sometimes I get a little bit confused, a little yeah. bit worried that you know, if, I, if I was going to be making jewelry, are those colors gonna go together? Is that palette going to work? And I think that when you've got a palette like this, in any configuration, they're gonna work, aren't they? They are, and I think it would look really nice if you if you ombre them. So oh, I love had, that idea, like a, Monica. I would make yes. a three-strand necklace, and I would start, let's say, with the pinks on one side, with all the strands, and then go through to the blues on the other side. See, that's a lovely idea, isn't it? That's really, really great idea. Sorry, how many, Ollie? Did you say 166? About 166 beads. Now, if you wanted to add on any of the other one-meter strands that we've got today, have it. Oh, go away. You stay there, lovely. Look at this Ooh, with the Larimar. That really invigorates it, doesn't it? That really brings it up. That looks a bit more beachy. Makes those um, um, uh, blues look a little bit more silvery, a little bit more driftwoody, doesn't it? Have a look at this, though. What is this, what is this gonna do? Oh my gosh, that was that, oh wow. That's a little bit more grown up now. It's a little bit more evening-y. Yeah. Now this might work, it might not work. And if it doesn't work, who cares? Just have a look. Oh! Yeah, definitely works. Oh, what now? Oh gosh, now that looks completely different now. 
That makes those blues look really, really blue. It does, yeah. That does something interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, if, what does that do? What what does that do? Oh, it's like, yeah, the pinks, the Morganite. Yeah, I mean, give it a go. Elaine, Christine, Dorothy, Pauline, Maker, Carol, Gabrielle, Anna, Margaret, well done to you. Okay, now you think that was good. Check this out. Mamita. Labradorite. A lot of people have been asking about this. A meter of Labradorite. Of all the gemstones we bring you in a meter, there are certain gemstones I would never expect to see in a meter length. Tanzanite, Larimar, Ruby, Nephrite, Sapphire. Well, we've got all of those today. And we've also got Labradorite. We're going to match the price point we just literally took the um uh took the thank you the barrel down to 19 pounds 99 pence oh yeah nice big quantity of this one available already people through this is great to see well done oh 800 six triple four six double five great for father's day as well i think oh, this one don't you think definitely yes with the black slider bracelet that yes would be great for father's day. so you can pick out maybe the ones with all of the lab addresses in maybe put them in the center of the design yeah. Or maybe indeed if you want to kind of give um, uh, or, or if, if you don't think that the wear is going to go in for the kind of lab adorescence, save those, you know, save those for your pieces of jewellery. Put them in the, one in the middle of a sliding class bracelet. It doesn't need to be any more than one. It's ab it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. 0800 644 655. Heather's through. Maker's through. Hilda, well done to you, Maker. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Still to come, we've got sandstone as well, don't forget. The gorgeous blue and uh, orange sandstones as well. In fact, you know what? This would look great with it, actually. Look nice. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. See, that's really kind of quite gothic, isn't it, now? I like that. I really like that, in fact. I'll tell you what else would look brilliant as well. Look, the sapphire we've got coming up. Yeah. Oh, yes! That looks brilliant i like that yeah. yeah there's your tansy coming up in the next hour do you know what do you know that goes so well with it i think we should do can we play this now some jiggery pokery yes we are we're going to play it now let's do this meter long strand of genuine natural sapphire Now, Ben, am I, um, is this strand new or has it been to wear before, this one, Ben? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I, I think this is a new strand. I don't think we bought this one to wear. We've got like a little run of meter long strands coming up. Now, these ones are slightly different to the barrel and the labradorite that we bought you not in the length of the strand because it's a meter throughout the entire strand but the fact that if i just show you this you'll see look graduated nice. graduated now i don't think i have ever done a graduated strand uh which is a meter in length that is very very special indeed why is that so special well it means that you can if you want to if i just put that flat on the desk like that and i just start to kind of feed these gemstones out it means you can start to make graduated jewellery, graduated tubular netting maybe, because you've got so many of these. Um, and these will only be, these will graduate very, very gradually, very slowly throughout the strand. So you can see here we're starting off with these beautiful little three mils here. It's only... It's only graduated up to a five, but you can see that there is quite a significant difference between the two there, okay? So you're gonna be getting threes, fours, and five mil rounds. I'm loving these colors. Oh, yes. 
The variety of tone you get in a strand like this is so impressive, isn't it? And it is all genuine natural sapphire. This isn't heat treated. This isn't diffused. This isn't glass filled. This isn't, you know, this isn't dyed. It is all completely natural. Where else, where else in the world, you tell me, where else in the world can you get 255 carats of natural blue sapphire? Where else? And that is absolutely incredible, isn't it? 255 carats of genuine natural sapphire, okay? Let's get that price point down to something which is utterly, utterly brilliant for 255 carats of your natural sapphire, okay? 199 pounds, 99 pence. These are not rondelles, they're not chips, they're not nuggets. They're not any weird, wonderful shape. These are rounds. They are usable. They are wearable. They are, it's an expensive cut around. There's a lot of wastage. The thing about a round shape as well, Monica, is it's a punctuation mark in between your jewelry, isn't it? Oh, definitely, definitely. But because okay. of the graduation, you could actually make the tassel necklace that are made from the kits. You just start with, the, with two ends, so you have the contrast in sizes next to each other. These would be perfect in those kind of tassels. Yes. We've been showing you as well in the last hour, those gorgeous, uh, that beautiful pearl kit, the gorgeous garnet kit. I personally will be putting these with that pearl kit, with that garnet kit and making that kit go even further, making it work even more for you. You know, with the garnet, it's gonna look striking, but with the pearls, just imagine that sapphire spaces in between. And sapphire, by the way, is, is, is preferred to diamonds by the British Royals. They tend to go for sapphire rings, sapphire engagement rings over diamond rings uh, because of the rarity. It's much, much, much rarer than diamonds, okay? We're at 199.99. Show me you're interested. Get involved. Put it in your basket. We are nowhere near done, okay? All the way down... We have hardly got any available. When I say we've hardly got any available, let's just think about that. It's sapphire. It's 255 carats of sapphire. When you imagine that the average carat weight for an engagement ring is a third of a carat, so less than a carat, and you're getting two. 155 carats of natural sapphire. How many do I have? 15. This is 14, 13. This is a brand new strand of sapphire. In one minute's time, your price is going to come in, okay? We literally have 15. We commissioned 15. I'm not being funny. There are limits to what we can do here at Jewelry Maker, as in we can't commission hundreds of strands of sapphire, which are all 255 carats in size, which are the, you know, of this caliber. A natural sapphire marla, what an idea. Wow. With the nephrite, yeah. with the larimar, with... The tanzanite, I mean, you've got here the absolute cream of the crop you genuinely have. With the ruby, a sapphire and ruby mullet. By the way, I've only got like 15s of all of these. Loads of people there, down to literally to the final 10 opportunities, and then they are completely and utterly sold out. Your deal. Enjoy. Here we go. There's a load of you there. 129 pounds and 99 pence. You've got individual split payments of 32.49. Congratulations, well done. Nine chance, well done West Midlands, amazing. Angela in Hampshire, check out my lovely. We're down to 129 pounds and 99 pence. I do have the Ruby one coming up in the next hour as well, just to let you know. A metre of Ruby coming your oh, way. Gosh. Wow. Yours today, well done, at £129.99. Okay, we've got eight chances remaining. Loads of you there, more than enough there to sell this out. We're going to leave that one with you. Don't go anywhere. Okay. So, Goldstone Sandstone Potato Potato. Here we go. 
Here we go. It's obviously a man-made stone, this one. Okay. Here we go. So you've got here... Oh, these are seriously cool, aren't they? They are so cool. This bit of sparkle, that, the bit of sparkle that they give. I love sparkle. That they <laughs> sprinkle into every piece of jewellery they're put into. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. The four mil uh, orange gold stone, here we go. Oh. How many do we have, lovely? Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Just over 40 chances available. Look at that sparkle. They're just so cool. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, you know, you want to use them all in a piece of jewelry. You absolutely can do. But a lot of people think, oh, gosh, you know, it's going to be too much sparkle, too much. You don't have to use them all in one go. You don't need to use them all in one go. Use them sparingly, one at a time. Do you know what this would look great with? With um, wooden beads. Oh, one, yes. two, three. Use it with the garnet kit we bought you in the nine o'clock hour, but don't use them all. Literally just ones and twos. The price on this is obscene, by the way. The price point is ridiculous. Ready? Three, two, one. Go for it, Ben. Here's your deal. Yeah, shove that price in. $8.99 for a meter of incredible gold stone. It really is absolutely superb, isn't it? Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. Loads of people there. This sparkle is just so cool. Beady beads made with yes. this as well. So lovely, isn't it? Tanya Maker, Marie Elizabeth, Geraldine Maker. Well done to you. More makers in Surrey. Well done to you, my lovely. Look at that. Look at that meter. It's a whole meter. So the that's four millimeter beads, you've got about 250 on there. Yes. Yeah. That is a lot. That is a lot. Sorry, Mike. I'm not being very helpful, am I? That is absolutely superb, isn't it? That is just incredible. Elizabeth, well done to you. Christine, Angela, Johnny, well done to you. Maker in Lincolnshire. Sorry, well done to you, my lovely. I know I've got a slight, I've, I've got a slight issue with it being measured in carrots, considering it's a, a, a man-made stone, but there we go. Uh, yeah, it is man-made. I'm not trying to tell you this is natural at all. No, it's obviously not. It's man-made. But there we go. But that's incredible. Well done. Christine, well done to you. Rosita, Lisa, Angela, well done to you. Gorgeous. Eight ninety nine. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I just bought all four of these strands a few days I, ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just pepper them throughout your designs. They're just great, aren't they? Well done. That one's about to sell out. Here there. Well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Okay, let's do the eight mil in this colour. Beautiful. Big, big pieces here. Oh my gosh. Look at the one on the end. Look at that one just there. Oh, nice. Isn't that a cool stone? Oh, Such a cool stone. <laughs> yeah. So glittery. So shiny. I love it. Diggy, 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 diggy. Yeah. There you go. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, imagine this on your loom. Loomy, loomy. Become a lumatic. Yeah. <laughs> a lumatic. <laughs> You're absolutely right. There you go. Here we go. Loving that colour. Loving that. That is absolutely... I love that terracotta colour, don't yes. you? Yes. It's a lovely kind of russety terracotta Colour, it's just gorgeous. Here we go. Nineteen ninety-nine. Is that the price? No? Oh no. Nine ninety-nine? You are a scoundrel. You are a scoundrel, Ben. A bounder. Maker in London, Lisa, Marie, Elect. Oh my gosh, imagine the marlas you can make with this. Oh, yes. Woo, that would be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Lincolnshire, Midlothian, Hampshire, Cheshire, Staffordshire, Yorkshire. Well done. Approximately how many beads? 125 beads there. 
Yeah. Definitely enough for your mala, mala, mala. And then if you want to get the blues as well. Oh, yes. Enjoy. Oh, look at all my sliding class bracelets. I know, aren't they lovely? Use them with your, use them with your deal of the day, sliding class bracelets. Yes. Act this one to you, my lovely, coming through to get two. Elaine's got two. Catherine Empowers, Cynthia, Madge. Well done to you. Oh, Madge. That just reminds me of Madge Bishop from uh, Neighbours. Neighbours is finished, doesn't it? Oh, finished. Oh, I never watched it. Did you not? Oh, yeah. it means nothing to Monica then. <laughs> I just like I never watched Home and Away. Never watched it. There was another one, wasn't there? Was it Shortland Street? That was uh, set in um, Shortland Shortland Street. Mm. Yeah, that was like uh, based in a hospital, I think. <laughs> Shortland Street. <laughs> I'm busy watching This Is Us at the moment. Have you watched that? Oh, I think Brilliant. I've watched that. Yeah. This Is Us. I think I've watched that. There's so many posts about it on Facebook and everybody says it's, it's the best thing they ever watched. Really? Yeah. What I mean, is it on? Uh, it's on Amazon Prime. That's what is I'm it? Yeah. I think I'd, uh, I need to watch it then. Yeah. I'm only on season two, but it's pretty good so far. Yeah. It! Oh, look at these. Midnight blue. Oh, look at the sparkles. Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely. So be it is like Van Gogh, isn't it? Using the pointillism there. Oh, King is hand. Lovely hand. I don't think it's got, got too much. <laughs> I don't think it's got too much sparkle to use it all at once. I don't think yeah. so. I mean, I would. I definitely Especially would. the blue one. I mean, it looks like yeah. it looks like a galaxy in there, doesn't it? Doesn't it just? If you want these, you have to be quick. Eight left. Oh my gosh, Elaine, Gabrielle, Maker, and Devon, Angela, Marie, Tanya, Maker, Maker, Fiona, Jane. Ah, oh, gone. Mm. Ah, 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 loud noise is gone. <laughs> I love lamp. I love lamp. Here we go. Blue. Six mils. Oh, look at the sparkly sparkle. No recording. No, that's Superman. No, that's Superman. No, that's Superman. There you go. There's Star Wars. Gee whiz. Always get confused with those two. Isn't that beautiful? $9.99 in a galaxy far, far away. Oh. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. OK, let's recap the dilly, dilly, day, 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 day. OK, I'm wearing all five of these bracelets. To there, Monica. To there. <laughs> Sliding glass bracelets in blue, in green, in gorgeous purple, black, and in your gorgeous red as well. No limitations at all. Put whatever you like in the middle of these. It doesn't have to be a bracelet. It could be an anklet. It could be a gorgeous necklace. Entirely up to you. $14.99 for all five bracelets, making each one of these bracelets literally three quid each. They're absolutely gorgeous. And what am I going to put in the middle of these? Well, all the meter-long strands that we bought you in this hour. And in the next hour as well, we've got nephrite. We've got larimar, tanzanite, ruby. They are all going down to ridiculous prices and we've got such low quantities of all of them so oh yes Ooh. definitely put your clear quartz clear quartz oh clear quartz in the middle of the that would be absolutely good because it's kind of the same size as those little spacer beans yeah, isn't it, it? Is. Yeah. White quartz faceted three more rounds. They are nice. Yes, I like that. $14.99. Isn't that lovely? 25 carats of your gorgeous clear quartz. That is absolutely beautiful. Do your little beady, beady boo-boos. Uh, isn't that so sweet? Known as the master healer, the king of gemstones. A gemstone that's said to amplify, magnify and accentuate anything good it comes into contact with. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Cheeky, cheeky deal. Ooh, our cheeky deal. Yes, yes, cheeky deal. <laughs> we bring the cheeky deals. Oh, 30 second clock. Can't believe I just quoted the cheeky girls then. <laughs> that just shows you what it's, uh, what it's come down to. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Cheeky deals. $14.99, not your price. Wouldn't that look so great in the middle there, Monica? Good. I'm just thinking if you used a, a coloured cord, the same colour as the, whatever bracelet you're putting in, and then you made a, like a circle of beads and put that in the middle. A circle of the, of the That's cord. a nice idea. Yeah. That, so, yeah, get your red cord, make a little circlet of your, um, of your quartz, put it in the middle. That's a lovely idea. Mm. Use a lovely contrasting jump ring maybe to set it with $6.99. Goodness me, that's good. Spaces in between your pearls. Use it as a spacer. Use it as a, use it as a mechanic, if you like. But, yes, you can use it as a feature as well. Beady beads for these will look like diamonds. I mean, put it with the gorgeous class that we bought you in the 8 o'clock hour. You know, the gorgeous um, um, sterling silver class. Maureen, we're going to do whatever it is you're asking for at 11. What, 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 what's she waiting for? Oh, the ruby, darling. Yes, yes. We'll do that for you right straight away at 11 o'clock. So literally, you've only got a couple of minutes to wait for that. Well done. Gorgeous. Keep coming through, my lovely. 6 99 Amazing. Well done. Oh, frosted teal. Desmi Jathra. I love this. Oh, now this. See, instantly I'm thinking, yes, with the green oh, and the blue. Yes. But, oh, and the gorgeous oh, lavender. Like. But... But also, yeah, look, there it is. Oh. Looks really nice. But also, have a look at this. Now, Ooh. that's a nice contrast, isn't it, with yes. the red? <gasps> Woo! Do we like that? I like a bit of colour blocking. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's bit, nice. A little bit Egyptian, isn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd absolutely agree with that. That's really lovely. And the fact that it's matte and frosted as well just gives it more of a, a worn look. A more unisex look, actually, interestingly. Yeah. Added to your order, it's $5.99. Ah! I know. Amazing. Well done. Literally. $5.99. Okay, we're going to bring in a few little cheeky deals for you as well. Now, just so you're aware as well, um, please go to our Jewelry Maker Facebook page. Look at the Facebook Live we did before the show today. Like it, share it, tag a friend. Anybody who does that before half past 11 will be entered into a prize draw. The 12 o'clock hour, we will announce the winner and you will win 50... Because uh, well, we're going to pick a winner at random. You'll win £50 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. Plus, we've got the Jubilee competition running all the way through the show today. If you haven't caught any of the questions, go back on our YouTube channel. It was played at the end of the 8 o'clock hour, the first question, end of the 9 o'clock hour. And it was about half past 10 that we played the third question and make a note of your answers a b or c and then what we will do is we will announce the winner in the 12 o'clock hour but we'll ask you to send in your answers but don't do it just yet don't go anywhere we will see you in a couple of seconds for the most amazing 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 one meter strands go to our website right now though to look at the deals that we're loading on there right now Jewelrymaker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelrymaker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. designer Alison Tarry here. Have we got a show coming up on the Jubilee weekend? Oh my gosh. Take us with me. If you're partying, take, you, take me with you. We have got these brand new to tools. They're for making spinner rings. They're for flaring your rings. So these are my first practices. Um, as you can see, I've used one of the dies from the show on um, Tuesday and it just sits beautifully and this is starting to flare. I've done it like this so you can see the contrast between the copper and the silver. We've got some amazing sterling silver kits for you. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to have some um, bare copper on as well. So two tools, fantastic. All you need is a clamp or a second spanner and you're good. That's all you need. A um, little bit of soldering and you're good to go. They're fabulous. Can't wait. 
Looking forward to it. Masterclass is going to be mega on Saturday from 8 and from 12 for the Masterclass. See you soon. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go to our website, www.jewelrymaker.com. Click on Watch Live. Go, scrolly. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> it was this big. <laughs> Carrying a marrow, a roll of carpet. <laughs> 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 anyway, go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. Scroll down. Look at it. Look at, look at it. Look at all these items. Six ninety nine. today's bestsellers. Come on, Ben. Oh. They see me rolling. Look at all of these things that Ben's put on the website. We haven't even played these. Ooh. Sorry, we haven't even played them. Look, he's put them on the website. Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. $5.99, $5.99, $5.99 for pyrite bricks. Oh, yes, please. I want those. $5.99, $5.99, $4.99. Yeah. Go to our website and buy everything. Right. Meter long strands. <laughs> oh, dear me. Meter. I've just seen the slide that we showed in the last hour for the, for the questions. It just made me laugh again for my, almost my, my Freudian, my Freudian. Who <laughs> was the Queen's father? King. Right, okay. Here we go. Meter. Meter long strands. We're starting off with the ruby because Maureen wanted the ruby. Just for you, Maureen. She better be there. Look at this. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> a meter of 
Ruby, where in the world, where in the world would you ever, ever, ever expect to see a metre long strand of Ruby? Yeah, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> nope. Natural Ruby, not chips, not nuggets, rounds, yeah? Tanzanite faceted rounds coming up. With all these strands, they're amazing, but we've got like 12s, 15s. How many? Oh, 16 of this one, 16. There's already 12 in baskets. <gasps> oh, Larimar, Larimar, Larimar. With, oh, the nephrite. Yes, I love us Victorian Christmas. I love it. Lorna, maker in London. Another maker, Anita, Claire, maker, Kat. There's millions of you there. <gasps> With the sapphire. Okay. Lots in baskets. Not many of you checked out just yet, because I'm, I'm, you're probably, like me, I'd be thinking, well, mm, how low can they actually go with this? This is a metre of ruby. 195 carats of ruby. This is the biggest carat weight thing of ruby I've ever bought you in the history of the world. Ever. 195 carats of ruby. Hundred and forty nine ninety nine on individual split payments of thirty seven forty nine. Charmaine, maker in Stirlingshire. Lorna's bought two. Royal Regal to celebrate our Queen's Platinum Jubilee seventy years on the throne. We're at one hundred and forty nine pounds ninety nine pence. Oh, message coming through. Maureen, I'm here, Carol. It better be a good price. Ha! Ma! Ha! <laughs> All right, love. <laughs> Already 195 carats. You show me where else you can get 195 carats of ruby for 149.99. You know what, Maureen? That's it's you. <laughs> Do you know what, Maureen? I like your tenacity. She's like, it's good, but it's not good enough, Carol. It's all right. Put it in your baskets, everyone. Put it in your basket. You love it. You want it? Pop it in your basket. You don't have to check out. You don't have to check out until you're happy with the price. Mary's got it in a basket. Well done to you, my sweets. Well done, everyone. Lots of people there already. $149.99. We are going to go low, low, low. You are going to be Ella. Well done, my sweetie. Anita, well done to you as well, sweetie. Okay. Pop it in your basket. You know it's going to be low. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know it's going to be low. Marie's in your basket. Well done to you, my lovely. Jessica, we've only got 16. Okay, already we are way over allocated. We're going to have a lot of people missing. Debbie, it's in your basket. Well done, my lovely. Okay, how low do you, th how low do you think we can go? How low? How low? We are going to go low. We're going to give you the best possible deal on this, uh, on, on this today. 195 carats of genuine ruby, two to five millimeter rounds. It's a meter, it's a meter long strand. 119 pounds, 99 pence. On split payments of 29.99 and we are not done. Oh yeah, Maker and Avon, Sue and Summer, so there's Maureen. Well done to you. We are not done. When the price point comes on, oh yeah. I would literally be popping it in. I would, I'll be checking out right now. This is amazing. Ready? Tanzanite, yes. Larimar, yes. Nephrite, yes. Sapphire, yes. All of the above, loads of people there. This is gonna go absolutely, it's already going nuts. There's already more of you with this in baskets. Oh yeah. Enjoy, check out when you can. 
You are going to absolutely love. This is incredible already, isn't it? It's absolutely awesome, isn't it? 0800 Go, 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 go. Well done. Jessica's checking out. Well done to you, my sweets. Down into single figures now. 99.99 for 195 carats of genuine natural ruby. This is on four individual interest-free split payments of £24.99. Imagine using that in your jewellery, Monica. I love the berry colours. It's proper berry colours. It makes me think of a summer fruit pudding. It is like a summer <laughs> fruit pudding. You're yeah. so right. You're absolutely right. It's got that juiciness, those jewelly gem kind of colours. It's absolutely gorgeous. We are down literally. Oh, my word. Well done. Loads of you there. So many in baskets. Single figures available now. Jessica, Charmaine, Ella, Lorna, Kath, Maker, Sue, Maureen, Debbie, Marie's got two in a basket. Mary's got two in a basket. Charmaine, Maker, Maker in London, Anita in South Yorkshire. We've literally down to the last eight chances remaining. It's an, un it's an unbelievable deal, isn't it? Do not miss out. And please do not take our prices to think that this is what this incredible strand is worth. This is not what 195 carats of natural ruby rounds is worth. Well done. Oh, Ella, thank you. My son's birthstone. Oh, how lovely. Of course, it is um, It is July's birthstone. So if you've got a, uh, you know, uh, if, if you know somebody born in July, it's their, you know, it's their birthstone. And I can absolutely, I can almost guarantee but that you're not going to be able to find ruby of this kind of caliber with these kind of carat weights attributed to them anywhere near 99.99 anywhere else. It's absolutely tremendous. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. And again, this is graduated from two mil to five mil in size. So, yeah, if you wanted to do those graduated pieces, you absolutely can do. Quizzy, quizzy, quiz, quiz. Don't, don't message in your answers yet. We'll do a, yeah, we will do a quick recap of the, uh, of the questions. Don't worry. So in the first hour, this is your question. Now, don't, write, don't send anything in. Just write down your answer, A, B or C. What year was, the queen, uh, was queen Elizabeth born? Queen Elizabeth II, that is. 1926, 1927 or 1916? I don't actually know the answer to that. My maths is so bad. <laughs> the queen had no brothers but had one sister. What was her name? A, Mary. B, Margaret! C, Anne. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that one either. Oh, gosh, here we go. Who was the Queen's... Who was Queen Elizabeth II's father? Say it slowly. <laughs> King George the Seventh, <laughs> King George the Sixth, or King George the Fifth? And here's your question for this hour. Don't send your answers in. Which breed of dog is the queen famously associated with? A, Corgi, B, Golden Retriever. No, it's not a Golden Retriever. Oh no, sorry. I don't know what the answer is. Is it A, Corgi, B, Golden Retriever, or C, Border Collie? Or is that a double bluff? Is it a Golden Retriever? If you don't know the answer to that, to be honest, you don't deserve to win. There we go. Right, there we go. <laughs> Your nephrite meter is coming up. Are we going to do it now? What are we doing? No, not yet. Okay, what are we doing then? I feel like we've used all the budget on bunting. I feel like if there was any budget left, we could have a very small <laughs> indoor firework or something. This is like... This is your pyrotechnic moment. This is your... Okay. If you miss anything, just literally rewind the show about a minute when we gave you all the questions. I'm not repeating the questions again. I might repeat them again at the beginning of the 12 o'clock hour, but... Larimar. 15 available, 15, that's it. They're gonna go like that. A meter of Larimar, get it, go. Who cares how much it is? This could be 800 pounds and I'd still think, I mean, that's an amazing, it's an amazing strand. 
Oh, gosh. Graduated three to five mil in size. You are looking at a gemstone only from the Dominican Republic. One of the world's rarest gems. It's one locational, one hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine. Oh, individual split payments of thirty-seven forty-nine. Go, 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 go. There's literally only fifteen available. Jenny, Claire, Geraldine, Maria, Julia, Lorna, Maker, and Momishir. Greater London, Jan, Maker, Angela. It's about to sell out. We're at one hundred and forty-nine ninety-nine. There are so many people coming through. Gabrielle, Maria. Oh my gosh, it could go to any of you. Well done. Phone lines are very, very busy. Website is very busy. Baskets are stacked. £149.99. pence. Oh, check out as soon as you can. I love the fact these are graduated. These strands are so different to what we bought to air before, aren't they, Monica? Because they are graduated. Yeah, I've never seen graduated one metre strands. No, yeah. neither have I. And it's such a gorgeous, gentle graduation, isn't it? Well done. Five left. Oh, gosh, that's about literally about to sell out. Well done. Still got availability. Are you serious? <sighs> yes, love. <gasps> 16 available. Just get it. Oh, Monica. And it's faceted as well. Faceted. <laughs> graduated rounds of Tanza. This is like the dream. What was it? Eight years ago, we launched our very first strand of Tanzanite. It was a strand of 30 centimeters of chips. Look how far we've come. A meter of graduated, hand faceted, gem quality Tanzanite rounds. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, 149.99. 16 available. You've got individual split payments of 37.49. Gabrielle, Charmaine, Maker, Marie, Angela, Maria, Maker. There's loads of you there. 149.99. Now, uh, Monica, what would you do with an epic strand like this? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, obviously, is putting it with pearls. Um, but I mean, if you think about with the kits, I made five oh, pieces of jewellery with the kids. Bring that big pearl necklace over that you made, darling, just because I think it would just, it, 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 you'd, you'd, you'd go a long way. Yeah. You know, you could do a lot worse than put it with this pearl kit. Look at, look, just, just look at that. Yeah, I mean, oh. if you put the strand with a pearl kit, you could come up with sort of eight to ten pieces of jewellery. Easily. That. Yeah. That, that is amazing. That is incredible. If you just use it in place of the seed pearls, for example, I kept the larger pearls with it. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but we're actually going to take the price point down. Anyone who came through to get this pearl kit for $39.99, get your tanza. And do you know what? If you want to split this strand in two, you use half, your friend uses half. You know, you're working with half a meter of tanza. Like Ruth, why don't you make her? Marie, Angela, there's so many people there. We've literally down to the last few chances. This is unbelievable. And these are so limited in stock. It is a bit more of a considered purchase, but you're getting a meter of tanzanite. That's what you're getting. It's a meter of tanzanite. This is not, this is not agate. This is not fake. This is not synthetic. It's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's three necklaces. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a necklace. It's a couple of bracelets. It's earrings. It's sweets and sweets of jewelry. It's spaces. To your heart's content, 129.99. That is literally squeezing everything out of it. That is absolutely amazing. 129.99. Jenny, well unto you. Oh my word! Look at the colour. This is such high quality tanzanite. Maker in Devon, well done. These are absolutely jam packed, full of your facets as well. It's absolutely tremendous. Um, it is it is it is a gemstone which is you know currently being mined over a thousand meters below sea level. It's just ridiculous. And you've got here a gemstone which the government are really reticent to actually let out of the country. Uh, we've got literally oh gosh what six no five chances remaining. That is it. It's yours today. Enjoy, Rita. It could go to you, Marie in South Yorkshire, Angela in Hampshire. It could go to you. I've got so many people with this in their baskets. It's an absolutely in incredible opportunity for you today 
Well done. Yeah, in the middle of the sliding class yeah. braces, it would look absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? Just delicious. But again, you've got you've got probably close to 250 beads on there. Oh, easily, yeah. Those is faceted as well. I mean, it's yeah. a huge amount of work even. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. It's got something so special about it, hasn't it? You, you've just got, you've got so many beads, such enormous quality. This isn't your what I would describe as kind of rough, kind of substandard quality, or even your bead quality, which is, you know, of, of, you know, a higher quality. This is absolute gem quality. You've got clarity. You've got real moments in here. It's just incredible. And it's getting harder and harder and harder to get hold of it, not just because of its mining, but to physically get it out the country, because the mines are now run by the government. Um, it's just incredible. Four opportunities remaining. Oh, my word. That is absolutely superb. Well done. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. Okay. Larimar's got four left. If you want to add that onto your order. People are checking their baskets out. I think you're waiting to see what price all the strands go to, and then you're checking out the ones that you want. Vivian, it could, oh, Vivian, another one's gone. Three left of that tanzanite. Right. This strand of nephrite is like it is an absolute dream we've had i mean this is the one for me when ben sent me that star by sheet last night and 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 meter long strands and well when we could literally written down underneath the sapphire one meter and then there was ruby larimar Tanzanite and Nephra. I thought, well, there's absolutely no way they're going to be one meter strands. Oh my goodness me. Lo and behold, I come in this morning and King is setting them up and said, yeah, yeah, here's the Nephrite. A meter wow. of Nephrite jade. This is, this is it. This is what many people go to, what many people want. It's got the look of Imperial jade. It's got the glow and the translucency and the gem quality of your imperial jade. It is every, every single quality of jade, jadeite, nephrite that you look for is on this strand. From your blacks to your greys, to these gorgeous kind of khaki colors, to your incredible, you know, luminous almost, mm. imperial tones like these ones here. Look at that, that's an imperial color next to a white one. Yeah, look at that. It's just absolutely superb. Can you tell me, Ben, where's this from? Oh, it's Canadian nephrite. Oh my gosh. Now, this is Canadian nephrite. This is mined in a region of Canada where up until the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, all, almost bar none, of Canadian nephrite was shipped from Canada straight over to the Far East. Didn't really go to any of the gem shows. Wasn't really, wasn't really up for grabs by anybody else. It literally went straight over to the Far East. And the reason for that is, is that you had very wealthy Eastern gem buyers bankrolling mining seasons, literally saying, look, we'll pay for this. We'll pay for the mining season and anything that you mine, we get to have. And what basically happened during the COVID-19 pandemic, no, none of the big gem shows were happening. People weren't in a position to be able to, uh, uh, weren't in a position to buy gemstones like this incredibly valuable nephrite from Canada. So we are in the very fortunate position. We've still been able to buy gemstones. We've still been able to buy lots of different gemstones from all over the world. And we've had access to gems we've never have access, we've never had, sorry, access to before, like nephrite, like jade, like jadeite. We've been able to take advantage of those incredible deals. 16 chances available. We're going to give you a clock to the graphics. Just because so many people are going to want this. So many people have already messaged in about this. I know a lot of you have been waiting very patiently for this incredible strand. If we'd have had 100 of this, it would have been the deal of the day. But I don't have 100. I have 16. You and 16 other people in the world. Sorry, you and 15 other people in the world are going to own this. The most people this is going to sell to is 16 people in the world. Enjoy, go. 
Now, if you think this is going to be a four, five hundred pound strand of gemstones, then think again. Arguably, value wise in what you'd make with this and sell it on for, you know, you could have a return of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And I would say, please do print off uh, your authenticity certificate. Get that for an extra 25 pence. What it will tell you is where the gem is from and um, the fact that it's natural, the carrot weight, the fact that it's nephrite all the way from Canada, which is in itself almost unbelievable. I thought we'd literally run out of all Canadian nephrite from, uh, us here, from, from here at Jewelry Maker, but obviously we've still got some more. For $499.99, not your price. Individual split payments of $124.99. We're taking this really, 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 really nice, uh, nice and low. Maker in Sterling Shear, Charmaine in West Midlands. Jenny, you've all checked out. In basket, Susan, you've got two in your basket. Janice, you've got this in your basket. Maria, you've got this in your basket. It is going to sell out today. There are loads of people there. I know you want this. I, we are going to make this as affordable as we possibly can. And Monica, we all know that at $499.99, we are significantly lower to what this arguably could sell for or even be valued at. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, we can go lower. Believe it or not, we are taking a huge chunk off this price. I hope you're prepared. We are serious about this going today. This is going to be, this is too low in my opinion, but it's not about what, it's not about that. What I think is right, it's about the price point we can actually genuinely do. And this is it, enjoy. Maker in Birmingham, Marion in Middlesex, Leslie in County Durham, 399.99, astonishing. We're not staying there. We're going again, okay? This is too low, 499, I still think, you know, that is a brilliant price, but I still think 499 is too low. 399 is ridiculous. Corolla, it's in your basket. Maria in Surrey, look at those colors, everything from your kind of almost dove gray kind of mutton fat colors to your blacks, to your gorgeous kind of khaki colors. But of course, you've got those incredible, almost imperial jade tones in there as well. Enjoy, here we go. Oh gosh, this is so low. 299.99 not your price ah oh my word feel free to check out anytime now susan's now got three in her basket oh my word marion can't hold off any longer she's checked out well done sweetie what do you reckon how low are we gonna go how much of a discount do you want to see 10 pounds off 20 pounds off we are taking every single penny off this price. $249.99 for 250 carats of natural Canadian nephrite. It's absolutely incredible. These are on individual interest-free split payments of $62.49. We did warn you. Well done. More people coming through. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got a queue on the phone lines there. Get involved. It is graduated. You've got that incredible quality. Yours today for $249.99. It's not your price. Let's see those names, Ben. Sorry, darling. You just change it to... No. You just change it off there. There we go. Right. Lots in baskets. Loads of people there. 49 seconds. And we've got... We're going to go down to our final price. This is low. 249 is low. But can we squeeze a little bit more? Can we take a little bit more off that price? Do you know what? Today we can. But it's only going to be for the next... Oh, gosh. How many have we got left? We've got literally 10 left. 10 left. That is it. Okay? Lots of you there. Maker in Birmingham has now got two in their basket. Okay. Check out if you're happy to pay less than 249.99. Margaret in Lancashire. She's there. Well done, sweetie. Okay, price point coming in in five, four, three. This is it. This is the big one. Okay, enjoy. Oh gosh, this makes me feel really unwell, this price. Ah, 199 pounds, 99 pence. Split payments of 49.99. Margaret, well done, you've taken one. Well done, loads of people there. This is amazing. Enjoy. Go, 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 go. Well done. If you've got it in your basket, it's now time to check out. 
It's undeniably amazing. That is under a pound a carrot, by the way. Can you believe that? That's less than a pound a carrot for nephrite, genuine natural Canadian nephrite, less than a pound a carrot. I mean, this would look amazing with just a three strand necklace with oh, nothing yeah. else, just a really nice gold clasp. And because it's graduated, you can graduate all three of the strands and then have the, obviously the smaller ones on the side and then the larger ones in the middle. Oh, it would look amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that idea, a triple strand. When You see, this is it. When you've got strands which are a metre in length, you can be that that indulgent. You can make those really indulgent pieces you've never made before. It would make you really wearing it, wouldn't it? Totally, yeah. yes, because it's all about impact and drama, isn't it? Okay, yes. You can what, sorry? Really? Not according to my star buy sheet, then. Okay, um, we've got 10 left. It said on my star buy sheet, the one you sent me yesterday, the photograph, it said, do not go below. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, so Ben is saying he could take a fiver off. He could take 10 pounds off. What he really wants to take off this price is 20 pounds. But we need to see you there. It depends on how many people put this in their baskets. If you're happy at 179.99, I advise you either just check out straight away or you put it in your baskets. We want to take this low, but we cannot justify taking it down to that price point unless we see more of you with this in your baskets. I cannot believe this. For 250 carats of genuine natural Canadian nephrite, we are already far, far, far lower than where we should be. Far, far, far lower than what this is physically worth. And we, oh my gosh, 199.99. Let's give you a one minute clock. Tubular netting using it as spacers, graduated twisted necklace, graduated jewelry, station necklaces, marlas. The world is your oyster with a strand like this because you are getting so many gemstones on this strand. Lots of you there. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually doing this. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. This is silly. Get involved, everybody. What a tremendous deal for you today. Absolutely incredible. Susan's now got four in her basket. Oh, my word, Susan. What are you doing, love? You're going to have to check out, my lovely. If you want it, you've got to check out, my love. 199.99. There's loads of you there. Lots of people with us in their baskets. Oh, gosh, no. I don't want to do this. More bidders coming through. Oh, gosh. County Durham, you're there. Oh, wow. One hundred and ninety-four pounds ninety-nine pence. Mm. I'll be honest with you, we're on our own in the building today. There's no one here. Well, the channels are manned, but as regards to anybody behind any desks, just the important people are here. That's us, Monica, <laughs> and Michael, and Kinga, and Ben, and Ollie, and the rest of the gang. Yeah. £194.99, pence. not your pro I cannot believe we're about to take this lower. We need to see more of you with this in baskets. You've got to put it in there. Oh, my word. Ben is in a real quandary, aren't you, love? Oh, gosh, don't do it. Oh, my gosh. Ben, stop. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. 149.99. Wow. Oh! oh my gosh. Anna, Linda, Corona, Maker in Birmingham, Leslie, Susan, Janice, Maria, 149 pounds, 99 pence. That is obscene. Oh my gosh. 
149.99 for a meter of genuine natural Canadian nephrite. That is 250 carats in total. That is obscene. Oh, dear me. That is on, available on split. Look at the split payments, 37.49. That is absolutely tremendous. I cannot believe that. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Birmingham, you've got two there. Oh, my word. Check out my lovelies. Literally down to the last couple of chances. That is absolute. I'm genuinely over the moon for you. Over the moon for you. Oh, wow. Split payments. You can get this strand home for less than £40 today. If you How made, crazy is that? If you made a mala from this using the larger beads, then you could use the smaller ones to make a, a beady bead for the guru bead. Oh, well. yes. Baskets. Baskets, Corolla and Oxfordshire, Maker in Birmingham with two in their basket. Leslie, Susan's got four in her basket. Janice, Maria, all of you with these in baskets. Literally, that is, that is, you've got everything to play for. Well done. Gorgeous. Add it to your order. Three. Oh, there we go. Well done, Lancashire. Gorgeous. Well done. 149.99. Well done. Woo! Says Anna. I know, right? I know. Right? You imagine how Jenny in Bristol feels? She was the first one through. Okay, let's do a recappy. Deal of the day -y. Yesy, yesy. Okay, here we go. Uh. <laughs> okay, so, oh, one too many. Five sliding. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, you said that on there, but really you wrestled it away, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Five sliding class bracelets. There we go. You're right. There we go. Five of your sliding class bracelets. Purple, green, blue, red, and your black as well. Put whatever you like in the center. They're really, really lovely. They're $14.99, which works out to three pounds per bracelet. That is just incredible. Absolutely amazing. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. And Monica showed us how to put this in the middle, which, of course, is the gorgeous toggle that we played in the, in the 8 o'clock hour this morning. Just looked lovely, didn't it? Oh, yes. So pretty. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. £14.99 for your sliding class brace. It's six ninety nine if you want to add that toggle onto your uh, order. Well done. Warwickshire's through. Maker in Yorkshire. Carol, Susan, Julie, Christine, Mary's got two. Patricia's got nine of these. Nine packs of these, I should say. Louise in London, you've got two packs. Amazing. Well done to everyone. 0800 644 five. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Claire and Link. Oh, look at the baskets are still stacked. Maker, Claire, Rosemary, Christina, Carla, Maker, Shona, Maker in Leicestershire, Tracy, Andrea, Maker in Dumfries. And it's always things like this that always create this amount of reaction, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, these are great for, you know, summer's coming up, so we're going to have school fairs and things like that where, oh, I mean, at my son's school, they always ask somebody to come in and, and sell whatever small products you can, you know, yeah. to make some money for the school. I mean, these will cost you £3 each plus maybe... 20p for whatever, even if you put, I don't know, a shell pearl. A in gem there. in that, yeah. And also, you know, if you want to get your kids on board with making uh, jewellery for teachers or, yeah. you know, if they're leaving school, like my uh, daughter's moving to uh, prep school next year. So, you know, you know, from the pre-preps, you're going to be losing losing all of her little friends who are boys. They're all going to be going off. And it's just, you know, it's just, you know, it's such a shame. And, you know, it's just one of those things. If she wants to make jewellery for, you know, her friends who are going to be leaving, you know, absolutely gorgeous. Also... My, I've, I've, got, I've got my daughter's uh, ninth birthday in August. Her and her mates could sit down and they could make lovely little pieces yeah. of jewellery. Put a, put a tent in the garden, you do that, and you could say, it's a camping party, kids. <laughs> yeah. But also a game that we're definitely going to be playing at a birthday party this year is a game I used to play when I, when I, when I used to go to parties. It's the most amazing game. And my, my, it came back into my mind because my nephew played it at his birthday party. Clearly my sister had a hand in it. It's... Um, you, uh, you have a dice and you have a selection of hats, gloves, scarves, things like that. A bar of chocolate and a knife and fork. Mm. OK. And uh, people go around, and they roll the dice. Whoever rolls a six 
you have to, uh, it's your, it, it, uh, you basically have to start putting on hats and gloves and things like that. And you have to start cutting up a bar of chocolate and eating it. But you have to be putting on gloves and scarves and stuff like that. And then the next person to roll a six, you take all the gloves and everything off. And then you have to give it to them. And it's great. And it's basically uh, the kids just become quite frenetic. <laughs> eating bars of chocolates with knives and forks. Anyway. £14.99, pence. well done, Melanie and Kim and Lindell. Well done, well over half the quantity has gone for the... I mean, we did start with about five, 600 of these, so they are absolutely flying still, which is really, really fantastic. But also, you could just put one, one gemstone in there. One gemstone. One bead. Oh, is that what it's called? What? Oh, I'm not going to say that on air. Is that what it's called? Is that what the game's called? Oh no, no, I don't feel com no, I don't feel comfortable saying that on air. But oh my word, that's that's ridiculous. Okay, well, I've done oh, there we go. Okay, well, well done. And I'm wearing a selection of these bracelets here, and I don't think it matters. Look, it doesn't matter. Look, especially I like the three pastel ones together. Three pastel ones, green or black with a red. Yeah. Look at that. Doesn't matter if they're oh, round the wrong way. They just look great. Unisex for any age. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Well done, Sally in Lincolnshire. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Fourteen ninety nine. Well done. Right. Oh, got the here we go. Here's a lavender one. Right. Okay. All right, Doc. Oh. We've got multicolour fluorite coming up. If you want to add any of these metre long strands onto your order, please, please, please do. Because they're gorgeous. Hello, Kinga. There she is. <gasps> multicolour fluorite. Oh. Deals, deals, deals for the next 20 minutes. Oh. Deals, deals, deals. What, like the deals that you put on the website at the end of the uh, nine o'clock hour? Deals, deals, deals. And a lot of them are brand new. Okay, give me a deal. 110 carats of gorgeous, genuine, multicolour fluorite. Yeah, come on. Yeah, give me a deal. Give me a deal. Okay, so this is going to go with, oh gosh, well, it's going to go with all the braces, but in particularly, these bad boys. Oh, yes. Bad boy, bad boy, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? I'm going to have to move my drink because it, it, I'm about to have a box put on here with all of the deals. This is, you know, when it's deal time. It's business. It's business time. $4.99. Oh, wow. I've even got my business socks on today. There they are. I got my business socks on. Here we go. $4.99 for your fluorite. That could just sit there. Just sit there, can't it? Yeah, but just also, sit there. Also, it would look really nice with the ruby, I think. <gasps> yeah. Oh, now that. Is a lovely, lovely idea. Oh, oh I like Monica! <laughs> That's why she's a designer. Because she thinks of things like that. Yes. Yes, Monica, that works yeah, so well. Like that. It's like sea glass, isn't it? Don't you think? That I mean, colour. And I mean, at 4 99 if you've got a few of those, it would make your ruby go a very long way. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, very, very, very long way. Gorgeous. Well done to you, Renfrewshire, Lincolnshire, Hilda, anyone else who cares. Right, OK, next. Here's another deal. Which one? Tell. There. Who? Oh, I like that. Is it? Doesn't look like it to me. No. Lepidolite. I like those kind of lavendery lavenders. Ooh. Oh, have you ever met a celebrity or have you met a member of the royal family? Let us know. Oh. Three ninety-nine. Oh, well, that is a bank holiday price, isn't it? Well done, Maker in Devon. Well done. I like that. Yes. There's something about that I really like, and I think it's the stony... St oh, it's definitely the price. Definitely the price. But it's like... A, do you know what? There was, a, there was a stand in Stratford yesterday. Oh, I had to go into Stratford yesterday um, with a, a billion other people. I had to go in there and get a birthday card for my daughter and, um, and some wrapping paper. 
It was a tr it, it was traumatic. But I walked past a, a stand selling halloumi fries. I love a halloumi fry. Don't get me wrong. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're stunning. But a box of halloumi fries, how much do you reckon it cost? Mm. With a dip. Halloumi fries. Seven quid. Ooh. <laughs> $3.99. I mean, I'm not suggesting you're going to eat these, but all I'm saying, $3.99. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to eat it, you can. It's probably not going to do you any good at all, but yeah. Well done. The big, a big, a big, a big, a a beady bead. <laughs> oh, dear me. Do you know what? We're having fun today, aren't we? So text it. Oh, hello. There's a bag on this. Have you ever met the Queen? Have you ever met anybody from the royal family? Have you ever met a celebrity? Send us a message. 78070. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Have you ever met a celebrity or a member of the royal family, working or non-working? Black Rutile Quartz. Oh. <laughs> you once met jewelry maker's very own Mark Smith. You didn't, did you, Ollie? Wow, he did. Who? Hilda Ogden from Coronation Street. That's a name. That's a name. I served Hilda, Hilda Ogden when I worked in a well-known department store in Southport, says Marilyn. <gasps> oh, well, I never... She was like one of the original Coronation Street ladies, wasn't she? Pretty sure, anyway. $4.99 for your Black Rutile Quartz micro fasted rounds. I met Princess Anne and Princess Eugenie. Uh, also, a few celebs over the years. Wendy and East Yorkshire. Oh, she doesn't tell us who. <laughs> a few celebrities. Uh, four, 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 four. All right, Wendy, I don't want to know anyway. <laughs> $4.99 for your gorgeous Black Rutile Quartz. Let us know. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, you met Chris Akabusi. Chris Akabusi? I love him. Oh, right. <laughs> Chris Akabusi. All right. I love Chris Akabusi. His laugh is the most infectious laugh ever, isn't it? I love him. Just, All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so 90s, isn't it? Ruby Zoocyte. It was Chris Akabusi, John Regis, Roger Black and Linford Christie. That was like the dream relay team, wasn't it, of the 1990s? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, 10 99 for your Ruby Zoocyte. <laughs> You interviewed who? Matt Cardle? The one who won the X Factor? Nope. Don't know who that is. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. I ran after Benedict Cumberbatch once. I ran after him. Yeah. Oh. I, I, but I, I, was out, I was out on... Out on the lash with my friends. Benedict! Benedict, wait! And yeah he, yeah, he went and got into a taxi and went off. I've met several celebs. Alison Tarry, Claire McDonald, Deborah and others. He, he. Also, Bonnie, the Blue Peter dog. <laughs> yes, I love that. Bonnie, I remember Bonnie. I saw Robert Plant, yes, at Schiphol Airport. My sister spoke to him, but I was too tongue-tied to make sense. <laughs> Jenny, that is like the coolest thing ever. Who is? Your drummer is in a band with, with Robert Plant. You've got his telephone number on your telephone. Is that when you lost your phone, Ben? You lost your phone in Wales. Yeah, in Wales. 6.99. It's a story for another day. 6.99. Ruby's oversight faceted four mil round. Now, that green is very green, isn't it? Yes. Let's do some sunstone. <laughs> Which celebrity? If you met the celebrity, you would be completely tongue-tied. If I met, I think if I met, uh, mm, who would I be completely tongue-tied with? Uh, it would be someone like Dave Grohl or someone. Mm. You imagine that? 
who's one of the coolest guys in the entire world. Sunstone. Six mil rounds. Absolutely incredible. 5.99 for your Sunstone rounds. These are such incredible pieces. They've got that wonderful kind of um, uh, shimmer, which is the copper plate that's inside the gemstone. Ah, oh, baby, baby. Have you ever met a member of the royal family or a celebrity? Texas, we'd love to hear from you today. Yeah. Five ninety nine for you today. Well done. Do you know what this would go with? Oh yes. 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 Vuvi. Also, hang on. Oh, there's someone shouting next door. Yes. Oh, the yes. Jade. Jade. Oh, God, Monica wants it all. She wants <laughs> it all. She wants it all. <laughs> yeah, let's play the ruby again. Let's recap the ruby. Or we kept the ruby. There we go. Seven. Seven left of the ruby. Meet along a meter of ruby 21 in baskets and oh seven left 21 in baskets look at that it's so ruby-ish this is how i love my ruby give me this ruby any day over the kind of glass filled i mean there's some rubies have got lots of clarity that's great they're going to be filled and if they're not filled they're going to be priceless okay so you want to get real natural ruby that looks like real natural ruby that is absolutely gorgeous natural ruby this is it Jenny and Brizzle, well done to you, my sweetie. Melanie Maker, Sue Maureen, Debbie Marie's got two in a basket. Mary's got two in a basket. Charmaine Maker in Stirlingshire, Maker in Greater London. You've all got these in your basket. Check out, otherwise somebody else will. We've literally got six chances left in the building. That's it. 28 in baskets. Melanie Maker and Avon, check out. 99.99 is your price point today on four individual split payments of 24.99. That is an absolute legend of a price, isn't it? Just incredible. Have you ever met any celebrities, uh, Michael? No. Oh. Hmm. I bet he has. I bet he, he just doesn't want to say. <laughs> what about you, Monica? Well, the closest I came was um, I went to see, uh, in London, in a the theatre, I went to see The Postman Always Rings Twice right. with Val Kilmer, because Val Kilmer used to be my hero <gasps> when I was young. <laughs> and I spent about two weeks trying to get tickets in the front row, and I couldn't understand why the tickets always came up as the third row. So I said, all right, let's go and sit in the, in the third row. But they'd taken the first two rows of seats out because they extended the stage. <laughs> oh! So we sat right in the front. And of course, uh, I took some photos at the end with a flash and nearly got thrown out of the theatre. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> the security guard came over. He says, oh, you have to delete those photos. I said, it's not a digital camera. <laughs> it's an SLR. It's on film, love. Oh, my word. Fortunately, um, the pictures came out fuzzy. So. <laughs> oh, darn it. Did you see... Um, Okay, so I went to see Maverick the other night. Oh, yeah? Val Kilmer's really good in it. Is he? I love oh, him. I love him. He's wonderful. Very, very touching um, scene. Right. Larimar. Larimar's smooth rounds. Oh, my word. Go, go, go. I can't... Can we just... We, we bought you a metre of Larimar rounds. Three to five mil. These are incredible. This is, this is like your, your Lagoon Dominican Republic blue. This is your rum punch sitting on the, oh, sitting on the beach with a rum punch and a pina colada. If you love pina colada. Yes. $149.99. Is it really a song about someone having an affair? Is it? Mm. As a guy puts an ad out about having affairs. Really? Oh, gosh. I don't like it now. Oh, wow. oh, the woman shows up to have the affair and it's his wife. <laughs> oh, that is just dreadful. <laughs> that is awful. I mean, what do you do? Do you, do you laugh? Do you... That's awful. That's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about... Oh, no, I probably shouldn't say it. That, mm, uh, there was a hoax on Australian radio, and you know they can say everything on Australian radio. It's not really censored. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything. They can swear, you know, do whatever. And there was this one where they were playing this hoax on this, on this woman 
It was this guy phoning up, pretend to be her husband's boss, and said, uh, I'm, 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 "Unfortunately, we've had to, we've had to, uh, we've had to uh, escort your husband out the building. Uh, we've caught him doing uh, things with this with his secretary." And she was like, "Oh my gosh, this is awful!" And he goes, "Oh yes," and he's and he's and he's thrown his weight about. He's trashed his office, and it was absolutely awful. And she's going, oh, my gosh, this sounds really bad. And, and, and at the end, they're saying, yes, and he did this, and then he did this. And then she said live on the radio, now I don't feel so bad about having an affair with his brother. And they went, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. Ben's putting all the deals on the website. Coming up in the next hour, we've got the Sid Bead pen covers. <laughs> These are amazing. Oh, yeah. They are coming up after the break. Gorgeous, gorgeous kits. I'm going to go and pick a winner for our competition, our Facebook competition, uh, and announce it after the break. And we've got one more question for you after the break, and we'll be recapping those as well. Whoever wins is going to win all of that stuff. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Jewelrymaker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. JM guest designer Alison Tarry here. Have we got a show coming up on the Jubilee weekend? Oh my gosh. Take us with me. If you're partying, take, you, take me with you. We have got these brand new to tools. They're for making spinner rings. They're for flaring your rings. So these are my first practices. Um, as you can see, I've used one of the dies from the show on um, Tuesday, and it just sits beautifully. And this is starting to flare. I've done it like this, so you can see the contrast between the copper and the silver. We've got some amazing sterling silver kits for you. Um, I've got a feeling we're going to have some um, Bare copper on as well. So two tools, fantastic. All you need is a clamp or a second spanner and you're good. That's all you need. A um, little bit of soldering and you're good to go. They're fabulous. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. Masterclass is going to be mega on Saturday from 8 and from 12 for the Masterclass. See you soon. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, good grief. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm laughing at. Hang on, my cables are all cabled up. There we go. Right, hello. Right, we're back. Oh, pen. Right. Seed bead pen wraps, anyone? Oh. Monica, these are adorable. They are. And they don't take terribly long to make. Maybe if you're, if you're slow, maybe three hours. And they're gorgeous. Anybody who maybe is going to be during the Jubilee celebrations, of course, they last for the whole year. It's not just it's not just it's not just this kind of yeah. th this short kind of uh, period. Um, maybe if you do a special event and maybe if you've got like a, a guest book that you want people to sign. Yes, this is lovely. Well, you can make a bridal one and have the, the, the wedding guest book. Oh, yes. What a lovely idea. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yes, most definitely. Most definitely. Before we get started, let's show you. Oh, yes. Let's show you the questions that we've been bringing you throughout the show. Write down your answers, either A, B or C. OK, right. In, your, in what year was Queen Elizabeth born? 1926, 1927 or 1916? A, B or C. Write that answer down. Next question. The Queen had no brothers, but she had a sister. What was her sister's name? Mary B. Margaret C. Anne. Okay. Next one. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Who was Queen Elizabeth II's father? <laughs> a. King George VII. B. King George VI. <laughs> or C. King... George V, let us know. Next question, which breed of dog is the Queen most famously associated with? A, Corgi, B, Golden Retriever, or C, Border Collie? Is that it? Oh, gosh, there's one more. Oh, here we go. Ah, in what year was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II? 1953, B, 1952, C, 1954. That one's really so hard. You can to work send out. in your answers, A, B's, or C's, whatever. Okay? Send them through. We'll announce a winner at the end of the show. Whoever we pick at random is going to win this mm -hmm. Rubies, Diamonds, Sapphire, Emeralds, and Spinel. All of that. Whoever we pick at random. Okay, I'm also going to announce the winner. I did take a screenshot of the winner of the Jewelry Maker Facebook page competition. So you have to go to our Facebook page, uh, go to our Facebook Live that we did before the show, like the post, share the post, and tag a friend in the post. The winner of today's competition on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page, I know it's very, very compl complicated, is Wendy Reeve. Wendy Reeve, congratulations to you, my darling. You will win 
£50 credited to your jewellery maker account. And we'll contact you within the next few days to just clarify that. But Wendy Reeve, congratulations to you, my sweetie. Well done. Right. Kits. Kits, kits, kits. Let's start with... Which one is this? It's this one here, isn't it? No, it's this one. Yeah, that one. Print. That one. Yeah, with the little bus and the uh, little Ooh. bus and the Union Jack. I see. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you get here your two pens, which I believe, yeah, are both both got uh, things in them. What are they called? <laughs> what are those things in there? Refills. Cartridge things, refill things, gel pen, thingy, thingies. And they've got two refills. Okay, so you, you, you're going to be able to write literally war and peace with all these. Um, it's just ridiculous. They're going to last forever. Okay, they're black ink pens. My favourite coloured ink, by the way. Don't like a blue pen. I don't like a red pen either. Well, a lot of oh, forms and things you have to fill out. It says you have to use a black pen. Only use black pen. Absolutely. Yeah. You're also going to be getting all your seed beads. Red, galvanised gold, galvanised silver and blue. There you go. Red, galvanised gold, galvanised um, silver and blue. Okay. And then, look, these beautiful little charms. Look. A London bus. Yeah. I love it. It's, there it is. A lovely London bus charm. Beep, beep. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> and look, a union flag as well. There you go. Gorgeous union flag um, uh, uh, charm. Lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Now, you also get yes. your patination with this as well. You get your pattern with the kit. Look at Queenie, isn't she gorgeous? There she is. I nearly put 1972 at the top because I was thinking 70. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, I'm so glad you didn't. Oh, Monica. <laughs> hey, have you heard about all those things which have been sold uh, with jubilee written on oh, them? Oh, no. Jubilee, yeah, rather than jubilee. <laughs> People are loving them. Okay, so you've got, your, you've got your, your patterns, you've got your seed beads, you've got your pens, you've got your charms. Here we go, 29.99. Nah. Our survey said, uh, uh, let's go lower. Come on, gang. Oh, wow. £19.99. Oh, well, That's amazing. You know, just out of interest, yesterday I had a look on the River website mm. for the pens, mm. and they're £7 just on their own. Really? Yep. Oh, my word. So the pens are £7 on their own as it stands there. So to be able to, yeah, that is absolutely brilliant. So it means you're going to be getting all your seed beads and your pattern, which Monica has done. And of course, your two charms for literally, for literally 12 pounds. I mean, that's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Well done, Chantal, Nicolette, Nikki, Jean, Mary, Dong. Well done to you, my lovelies. Lots and lots of people coming through to get these well done. 0800. Six triple four six double five. Christina, well done to you. Jean, Mary's through. Well done to you. Fantastic. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Oh, Monica, yes, you're on hobby maker this afternoon. I am. Yes. What are you doing? Um, the terrariums. I love terrariums. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. I'm so excited about them because you can put so many things in them. I love terrariums. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be at uh, two o'clock. Hmm? I am so jealous. I love terrariums. Oh, I've do you have terrariums at home? Do you like them? I haven't got one yet, but I recently bought one for my mom and she really likes them. I love them. them. They're yeah. beautiful. Oh, you can put so many things in them. They're so beautiful. Little worlds. I've, <gasps> I brought a whole big bag of things from home to put in. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, that'd be incredible. Well done. Right. Next kit. Oh, we got the next kit. Right, which one are we doing now? Calligraphy. It must be this one. Mm -hmm. So again, you get your two pens with your two refills, but they already come filled. Okay. Oh, it's the pink one. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Can it, is this one? It's that one. It's yeah. got daisies with it. How can it be called calligraphy when the pen one is that one? Uh, the description says, uh, <sighs> yeah, the, the purples and the pinks and the flowers. All right, all right, all right. Pens refills, but they come ready filled. Okay, <laughs> then you get your pink CB. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, I am. 
There you go. Lovely. There you go. With your daisy. And look at little bunny. And I, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I think I might have come up with the idea of putting charms on pen wraps because I haven't seen that anywhere else. And I asked for these kits to be put together. So it's really nice, isn't it, to put the little charms on there? That it little is, rabbit's yeah. so good. It's a little bit miffy like, actually, that rabbit, isn't he? <laughs> like a miffy rabbit. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, 19.99 for you today. And do you know what? I love the. Um, do you know what? I love. Look, the pattern you've got here. Look. Using these, uh, using these gorgeous colourways, isn't that lovely? So sweet, Monica. Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't I did it? Use the charms as inspiration. So. <laughs> no, I would as well. I think it's really lovely. It's gorgeous, and you can see them being used, you know, with the little charms as well on the pens, uh, ready done. Look, you can see them there. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, look, there's the daisy. Isn't that lovely? Little treat. Ah, need a cut. Okay, little treat. Come on, Ben. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> $14.99. Ah. Ooh. Monica, that's amazing, isn't it? Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Just for the pens, you know, seven quid for the pens. Yeah. And then you got the two charms and four loads of sea beads and the pattern. Look, there's your patterns. All for fourteen ninety nine. Hilda, Helen, Nicole, Chantal, Wendy, Maker, Dawn, Nikki, Patricia's got two. Mary and Grace, Helen, Shona, Maker, Joan, Patricia's multi bought. Well done to you. Fourteen ninety nine. There you go, everyone. Go, 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 go. Loving those colours, and we decided it was a very queeny colour, didn't we? Yeah, she wears that colour a lot, doesn't she? She does. Yeah. Lovely lavenders. We do love it. The next one is called penmanship. Of course, it is. No. Is that a word, penmanship? I would call this one, if we're going with like the writing, I would go for scholar. Right, what colours are we getting here? Well, this next one's got an extra tube of seed beads as well. That's that one. Mm. Okay, so you've got here a pen <coughs> pencil charm. Yeah. That's nice, nice for a teacher. Yes. Yeah! Look at this, a quill. How gorgeous is that? That's absolutely amazing. And a, a, a little pot of ink with a quill. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so well made. It even says ink on it. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Seed bead wise, what are we getting? Oh, aqua, aqua. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Beautiful reds. White and black. There you go. And you get your pens there as well. Gorgeous. And of course, you get your patterns on there as well. Very nice. And of course, you can make your, oh, you can make all sorts of these. You yep. can make your, your, your beef eaters. You can make yep. your soldiers. Because that one, it's, it's not white. It's actually cream. So oh, beg your pardon. Anything I've added to the patterns, as far as the CBs goes, a little bit of white because, um, yeah. We'll let you just off. For, just for things like the queen's hair and the gloves and, and that sort there of thing. There you go. 19.99 for this one. And you get an extra tube of seed beads. Yes. Gorgeous. Should we do the last kit very quickly as well? Okay, so that's 19 99. You get an extra tube of seed beads there. So that's five. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Ah. Uh. Oh no, you get another tube of seed beads, Ben. That is not that should not be the price. You get five tubes of seed beads in there. Yeah, I'm just saying what Ben's saying. No! <laughs> I want to give you the deals. <laughs> yes! That is unbelievable. $14.99 and you get five tubes of your 11 0 seed beads. That's ridiculous, Monica. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. If I can just say, the tubes of seed beads, yep. um, you're going to use less than one tube to make a pen wrap. So, oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah, if you made it all in one colour, it would be less than one tube. So you can make four or five out of each of the kits of beads. 
So you've got like 17 pen wraps worth of, tube, of, of seed beads here. Yeah. Or basically. Yeah. yeah. So each one of these kits, well, this kit that we've just done, sorry, five pen wraps from this kit. If you just literally did, just did one colour. Amazing. Okay. Ah, and of course, with all these kits, you get the patterns as well, which yeah. is super, super useful. Okay. Mini, mini, mini makes. Okay. Pencil charm and you get your, your quill again. There you go. Okay. And then, and then you get yellow, red, cream, black. There you go. All of these today. Come on with your charm. All right, governor. All the way down. <laughs> Hang on. What are you doing? Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Well, it's not twenty nine ninety to five, is it? The other kids had pens in, and they were, and they were, you know, seventeen ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. Come on! It's not sassy. It's just. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. No, Ben. <laughs> yes, put them there. Oh my gosh! No, Ben. Ben, no. Oh no, Ben, no, Ben, no. These kits with the pens were like seventeen ninety-nine. Fourteen ninety nine. What are you going to do about this one? Fourteen ninety nine. That's a bit more like it. Well done. How about not? Yes, I love that price. Monica almost fell off a chair then. <laughs> right, OK. So you've got your patterns. You've got your four tubes of sea beads. You've got your two little charms. Today, let's just do it. Go on. We're giving it away. Oh. Happy Jubilee. $9.99. Ah. $9.99. Absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. 0800 655 Just for the sea beads alone, that's amazing, isn't oh, yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's £2.50 for a tube. Incredible. Well done to everyone there. That's just superb, isn't it? Well done. Go, 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 go. 0800 655 Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. By the way, before anybody starts sending in any messages saying about the Masterclass demo, we can do the Masterclass demo at any point within the 12 o'clock hour. It does not need to start at midday on the dot. It will happen at any time in the 12 o'clock hour. All right? Awesome. So, well done, everybody. Loads of people coming through. Linda, Wendy, Trisha, Sari, Helen, Maker's got two. Joan, okay. Bad boy, bad boy, what are you going to do? You're going to get these kits, I know. There's Laura. <laughs> There's Laura. Right. Should we do a demo? Yeah. No. Ah. Uh, uh, demo. 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 Right. What are you going to show us, lovely? Well, these pen wraps are not difficult. Okay. So um, I don't want to just show you basic pay OT stitch because most people can already do that. So I will show you some. But um, what I want to show you is the, the place where most people have difficulty with pay OT stitches getting started. Yeah. Especially if you're doing a larger section, because if you have a look at, uh, so this will be the height of your pen, okay? So you're going to start off with this many beads, which is 40 beads, okay? Uh, and I will show you where a lot of people come unstuck when you're starting with a longer section of peyote stitch. So if you can imagine, let's, I'm just going to do random colors now for this. I'm not going to follow the pattern for now. So you put on your stopper bead, okay? And then I'm going to put on some random colors, let's say, I put on sort of 12 beads, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Just, eight. Just so you're aware, you're going to see lots and lots and lots of deals going on and off screen. We're not going to hang around, we're not even going to talk about them, but if you want them, you're going to have to go to the website, there's loads of deals. A lot of these items, by the way, are brand new, so just go for it. Go on, Monica. So I've just put on sort of 14 beads in different colours. Let's assume this is a pattern that you're following. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to carry on with your peyote stitch. So you're going to carry on with row two. You're going to pick up your first bead. You're going to skip over the first one, go into the second bead. Okay, so you're going to do your peyote stitching on the way back. So this would be row three that you're doing here. As I say, I'm just doing random colors here because I just want to show you how things can go wrong, basically. Because I think... Uh, 
Um, this is something that uh, I see a lot on Facebook that people have trouble with this, uh, the beginning part of PHE Stitch. That's why a lot of people, a lot of people give up on PHE Stitch because once you've gotten started, it's really easy. It's just putting a bead in each gap. But when you're starting, let me just get to the end of this row. It's only seven beads long because obviously you're only putting into every second one. Uh -huh. So basically you just pick up a bead, you skip over the next bead in your original row, and you go through the one after that. So that's your basic peyote stitch, right? And this is even count. Uh, even count is obviously the easier one, and then you can have uh, odd count peyote as well. All of the patterns I've done for the pen wraps are even count, just to make it a little bit easier as well. Okay, so now I've reached the end of my row. I'm ignoring the stopper bead at the end. So I've done the first three rows essentially. So the first two rows are what you pick up initially. And then your third row is what I've just done here. Now the problem comes in when you do your fourth row, okay? So you're gonna turn around again. So you're gonna pick up your next bead in your pattern. Okay, you're gonna go through the bead that's sticking up, okay? And then this is where you can run into issues because if you have a look, so you wanna put a bead in each of these gra gaps, right? But if you have a look, where well, you've got your two beads already next to each other, it's really easy, especially if you're working on a long piece, to get it twisted like so, okay? It looks exactly the same with two beads and then one bead and then two beads, but you've twisted it around. So now your pattern is gonna be wrong. If you carry on here, you're gonna go through the green bead instead of the black. I'll turn it back again so you can see. So you've got it turned back the other way. Now you're gonna go through the black bead. So this is where a lot uh -huh. of people go wrong when you start off your peyote stitch because you're, you're, you can, it's very easy to twist this around at this point and go into the wrong side of it and then your pattern just becomes a great big mess. So um, that's where it's easy to come unstuck. So one of the solutions to this is we have, we sometimes have the uh, peyote starter strips, the paper little cards with the holes in that help you to get started with your peyote stitch which will stop this happening. But obviously, with the paper cards, again, you might not happen to have them. We might not have them in stock. Okay. Or they might not be long enough for the piece that you're doing. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little hack how to um, sort of fix this problem if you don't have any of the starter cards. Also, the starter cards, they don't work with, um, they don't work with like two-drop POT or three-drop POT, uh, which is exactly the same as what I've done here. Uh, I'll show you here. So if you have two drop peyote stitch, then you're basically using two beads as one in your peyote. Uh, so your starter cards won't work with that either. So this method I'm going to show you works with any size bead and any uh, one drop, two drop. Sometimes you might even do a piece where you have a few rows that are single drop peyote, then you have a few that are two drop peyote, then you have single drop, depending on what your pattern is. And again, your starter cards won't work with that because you have to have the same stitch all the way across your work mm -hmm. for the starter cards. So with this, again, you can uh, work around that as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little piece of peyote stitching just like that. So you're just going to use, um, because obviously if you're gonna start, I'll just do a little bit of a red one here quickly. Let me put on stop a bead. So if you're going to do the same thing, so I'll just pick up, let's say six beads for the sake of Doing it a little bit quicker, so I've got five, six beads here. So that's your first two rows of your POT. Then you're going to do row three, so pick up another red. Okay, skip over one, go into the next one. Okay, just make sure that the two beads sit nicely next to each other. Pick up a third one, skip over a bead, go into the next one, skip over a bead into the one after that, and just don't go through your stopper bead, just ignore the stopper bead. So I've reached the end now. So you'll see when you do all the same color, the twisting doesn't matter because obviously if you twist it around, you still have the same color on the other side, okay? So just make a little piece of peyote stitching. So you're gonna carry on just like that. You turn around at the end and you go through the beads that are sticking out, pick up a bead, if you're first starting out peyote stitch, anyway, just to get the stitch uh, sort of right, it's easier to start with making a few bits that are just a single color so that you can see where your next bead needs to go each time. So you turn around again, and then you go into the bead that is sticking out. 
and then you pick up another one and you go into the next bead and you pick up another one and into the next bead and so on and so on. So that's a, just your basic two drop peyote stitch, okay? So you're gonna make a piece like this. Now, depend on what you want to use it for. Um, so in this case, if I want to use it for the pen wraps, right? So I've made this the same length as my pen wrap, but this can be any length. So you could make it much longer. In fact, you could, it's, it's better if you make a really long piece, okay? As long as you're sort of comfortable making and make it sort of um, wide enough that you can hold on to it easily, okay? Because whatever you're going to be stitching can be shorter than this piece. So obviously, if you have a long piece, this piece you're gonna keep and you're gonna reuse over and over again. So the longer piece you have, the more um, flexibility you have with what you want to make with it at the end. Do you know what I mean? So if I have this length piece here, then the longest piece I can use it to make is this length, okay? I can also use it to make a shorter piece, sort of this length, but I wouldn't be able to use it to make a piece that was that long. So if you make a longer piece, then you can just keep that and you can use it for whatever sort of length that you make. You also want to make this piece using the same stitch that you're going to use for your piece that you're making. So that's why here I've used single drop peyote. Doesn't matter if it's even count, this is even count or odd count, so do even count because obviously that's easier to, to do. So just do a really long piece, as long as it's the same stitch, so single drop, you can make, you can make up a whole set of these. So have a, sort of one length, which is single drop, have another length, which is two drop peyote, have another length separately, which is three drop peyote. And then you can do the same with size eight beads, size six beads, or whatever you like um, to use for your peyote stitching, okay? So how do we make a piece off of this? You're going to basically use this as your starter strip. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your pattern and you're going to, when you've made this piece here, you're gonna finish off both ends of thread. So you don't want any threads left on this. So stitch your threads, both ends of your thread back in. So you've got a, a, a finished piece just like that, okay? Then you're gonna take another color thread, um, ideally a thread that you're not using in your work so you don't get your threads confused. But uh, so let's say if I'm going to carry on with my pen wraps with a white thread, I would use a black thread here so that I don't get my threads confused. Um, and you're, you're not gonna keep this piece of thread. So um, it doesn't matter what color it is, but I would still recommend that you use a quality thread like Fireline or Wildfire, and you'll see why in a second. So in this case, I'm gonna use black. I'm gonna put a stopper bead on it, let's say a red one. Okay. Now leave quite a lot of a tail at the end. So it needs to be long enough that you can hold on to it really tightly, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your first row in your pattern. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit just so I can show you my pattern. So mm. I've made this pattern much bigger. So when you start with your peyote without a peyote strip, right, and you have a pattern like this, okay? How are you gonna use your pattern? So obviously when you first start your peyote, you're gonna need to pick up your first two rows of beads. This is if you're not using a starter strip, right? So each row, so if I put my ruler up against it here, okay, all the beads that are touching my ruler, okay, that makes row one. So that bead, that bead, that bead, that bead, that bead, that's row one, mm -hmm. okay? Then to get row two, you're gonna move your ruler up half a bead, okay? So I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but basically all the beads that you, where you can see the whole bead, right? Those are your next row. So those, it's basically going this way to every second one. So it's that one, then you've got a half a bead, then you've got the whole bead. So that's your second row, that's your second row, that's your second row, that's your second row, and so yeah. on and so on. Then again, for the next row, you're going to move up half a bead again. And then again, the beads where you see the whole bead. So that one, that one, that one are your next row. Yeah. Okay, so when you start off your peyote stitch, you need to pick up the first row, which is all of these beads that are sticking out and the next row, which are the next bees in. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, so those are your first two rows. Also, you need to watch which side you start from because it's not gonna end up the same if you start picking up your beads from this side or if you start picking up your beads from that side. When you're doing your peyote stitching, whichever row that you're working on, this rule is a bit short, but if I'm working on, let's go up a little bit, let's go on this row, right? So I'm working on these beads here. Right, so that's my row. Whichever end has got a whole bead on it, 
Oh, let me just move it over a bit. So can you see this row here has got a, a whole bead at the end, then a half a bead, okay? If it's got a whole bead, that means that row I'm stitching from the right to the left, okay? If I sh um, sort of shuffle my ruler over to the other side, okay, my ruler's a bit short, but if it was longer, I wouldn't have to shuffle it over. You'll see on that same row, on the other end, you've got half a bead, and then you've got a whole bead, okay? So you, you know you're not starting from this side, you're starting with the side that has a whole bead. Then for the next row, you're gonna move your ruler up half a bead. Now you've got a whole bead on this side, now you're starting from the left and working to the right, because you've got a whole bead there, okay? So you need to keep that in mind when you pick up your first two rows of beads if you only have a, if you only have a graph like this. So the way that you're gonna start your bead is you're gonna know, you, you know that your third row, you're gonna start off, because I've got, this is row one, this is row two, and this is row three. So I know that on the right-hand side, my third row is the one that I'm gonna start from the right-hand side. My first row and my third row are going from the right to the left, right? So that means that after I've picked up my first two rows, my thread needs to be coming out of this side because my third row is gonna start on this end, right? So that means when I pick up my first two rows, I'm gonna pick up a green, I'm gonna pick up a white, another white, a red, a red, a red, a red another white, another white, another green, 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 and so on and so on. Okay, I put all of those, so my stopper bead is on this end. I'm gonna pick up in a zigzag, essentially, those first two rows there, and then my thread is gonna be exiting on this side so that I can jump up to the third row and start with that bead on the right-hand side, okay? So that's if you wanna start without any sort of a starter strip. Okay. So hopefully that clears that up a little, yeah. little bit. Now where it becomes easier when you have one of these little strips, is what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take your black thread, okay? And you're gonna put a stopper bead on there. And then you're gonna start. Now, if you're, um, let's assume that this is longer than the piece that I'm actually making. So you're gonna go into this work, doesn't matter where in that case, you can start at the end if it's exactly the size that you're making, but let's say I'm making a shorter piece. So I'm just gonna go through any bead, right? So my thread is secured there. Okay, just get my tail thread out the way. And then I'm going to pick up the first row of my pattern. Okay, so now in this case, you're only picking up the very first row. So this is a way it makes it a little bit simpler. Okay, so in this case, I would pick up a white and then a red, a red and a white and then a green. Okay, so I haven't got my whites out, but let's just go with the cream then. So I'm gonna pick up a cream in place of the white, then I'm gonna go through the next bead that is sticking out. I'm gonna to have to hold it in my hand because I can't do it on the table, okay? Then I'm going to pick up a red. So that's my next bead. You can put your ruler up against it like that so you can see what to pick up. Okay, so that's red. Then I'm gonna pick up another red. Uh, hang on a second, I've run out of reds. Okay. So pick up another red. Okay, then you're gonna pick up another white and then a few of the greens. I'm not gonna go all the way across but because you'll get the idea. So I'll just pick up another white here and then a few of the greens. So you'd carry on like that until you've picked up all of the beads of your first row. Okay, let's do a few more of the, the greens. So here you would pick up one, two, three, four greens and then you would pick up the white. So one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna stop after the green, okay? So that's gonna be your first row picked up there. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this thread that you use, this, this different color thread, you're gonna pick up another bead, any color, preferably for your stopper beads, use a color that you, that's not part of your pattern so that you don't get confused. Again, for your little strip, it's easier if you use a color that's not part of your pattern, but if you just use, let's say, plain white or something like that, then you'll be able to see which beads are your little starter strip and which beads are your actual pattern. So, um, but basically, you can use any color for that. So any beads that you have left over that you don't want to use, just use it for that. For your stopper beads, definitely use a bead that is not part of your pattern. Uh, so actually, I'm going to use black here because I haven't used that in my pattern yet. 
So I would have put a black stopper bead on the, on the end there. When you finish your first row, you're going to pick up another bead, which is also going to be a stopper bead. So you're going to go through it twice. Okay. And you want to pull it down close to your work, because obviously a stopper bead, you can move around on your thread. Move it right up close so that, that first row of your beads there is secure on your little starter strip here. Okay. Then you can cut off that thread. You don't need it anymore. I'll put that aside. Okay, now you're going to take a working thread, which is what you're going to use to make your actual piece of beaded work. You're going to put on a stopper bead onto that as well. Okay, so just put a stopper bead, we'll do a black one this time. Stopper bead onto there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to carry on with row two. Now, your first row would have finished here, then oh, okay. with this white bead. Okay except I stopped at the green. So I stopped at this green bead here. So let's say that my work only goes up to the greens, up to the end of the greens. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to um, turn around. Uh, well, you need to get your, your, your thread in there first. So I started with the white. So, so my second row would start on that side. Um, so what you need to do is you, I've got my stopper bead. So you need to go through. So this green here is the last green I picked up there. Okay, you need to pick up your first bead from the next row. Okay, so in that case, that's a green. Okay, so that's this one here. Then I'm going to go through the green in my first row. So I'm going to go through there. Now, the reason I said to use a good quality thread for that piece of black thread is mm. because you need a thread that you're not going to pierce. Okay, ah, so with okay. your fire line or what fire, you're not likely to pierce it because if you pierce that thread, then everything's going to go wrong. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, so you've picked up my stopper bead here and the first bead, so that's that green bead in my second row. I'm going to push the ruler up so you can see the second row. So now remember, my second row is all the whole beads again. So I've picked up the first green, so I need to pick up another one, two, three more greens. So the next one I pick up is another green. Oh, oh my needle's gone static. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to go through the next green. Okay, just keep all your tail threads out the way. And then another green. How many greens did I say? What? I need one, two, three, four all together. So I've got two. So this is number three. And then number four. Okay, and then I need a white, which is my next whole bead there. So I need a white. Okay, then I've got a red and another red. So pick up red, go through there, another red, through the next red. Okay, and then another white. So a white. Okay, and I'm going to go through the white that's there. Remember, don't go through your stopper bead. Okay. Right, then you're going to carry on with your next row. I'll just do the next row as well quickly. So this is your third row. So now you can see when you're doing your third row, starting with the green at the end, uh -huh. you don't have that problem that I showed you with the beads twisting because they can't twist. They're attached to this little bit of beading uh, that you yeah, made here. So you can only go through the correct beads. So I've picked up the first bead, which was a green. Go through the next one sticking up, which is the white. Okay, then I pick up a white. through the red. Okay, then I need two reds. So pick up a red and another red. Okay, and then a white. So I'm just going to finish this row and then I'll give Carol a minute to show you something quickly so I can quickly do so one, two, three greens. Sure. I do another couple of rows just so that um, right, darling. I have something substantial. So, <laughs> so what I would urge you to do is to go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, uh, because we've put so much, I would say we, Ben has put so much stuff on the website. Um, and if you go there, you can add kind of ones, twos onto your order of whatever it is. We've taken price. <laughs> taken prices a little bit low on a lot of things, uh, but, it is, but it is absolutely brilliant. So go to www.jewelrymaker.com. There you go. Scroll down. 
uh, yeah, click on Watch Live, scroll down, look at all the items we've got um, uh, that we played. And Ben has literally just put all of these onto the website. So antique bronze jump rings, for instance, matte transparent orange AB seed beads, marambaya Swiss blue topaz for 20 quid. Uh, oh, my word. Sapphire, emerald. Emerald for $9.99. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's gorgeous. Oh my word, that's beautiful. Loads of tiger's eye, fuchsia, mixed colour. Look at all of this. Um, what's that? Jet. Oh my gosh, jet for $14.99 and $9.99. Spinel, black spinel. Mixed quartz, there are our kits if you want to add those onto your order as well. That's so good. So, yeah, please do feel free to add those onto your order at any time because they've gone really, really low on prices. Uh, so, well done, everybody. I must announce the winner as well. Ben, do you want to announce the winner, Lovey? Yeah, come on. The winner of the competition to win all of these. So, we, so we asked you a number of questions. Should we go through those questions very quickly? <laughs> okay, so uh, first question was, what year is the Queen Elizabeth born? I'm going to write down what I think the answer is. I think it's C. Is that right? Oh, what was the answer? A, 1926. Okay, well, I got that wrong, so I definitely wouldn't have won the competition. Next one. The Queen had no brothers, but she had a sister. What was her name? Her name was Margaret, wasn't it? Yeah. B, lovely. Okay, next one. Oh, gosh, who was the Queen's father? King George the... F King George the Fifth. King George the Sixth. Okay, sixth. Wow, I, didn't, I thought it was the fifth, but anyway, okay, fine. Oh, never mind. Uh, next one. Which breed of the uh, dog is the Queen most famous associated with the Corgi? So that's an A. Okay. What year was the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II? That's 1952. Oh. Well, how, well she can't have been on the, on the throne for 70 years then, can she? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, it's got to be 52 for 70 Well, just years. find out. When was unless, she coronated? Unless the actual when, coronation was the following year. When was it? So just Google it. Sorry, go on the internet. It's B. So it's 52, yes. Okay. Uh, and the next one. Oh, that's it. Uh, so you should have A, B, B, A, B. Who's the winner? Oh, God. Hazel in Stirlingshire. Yay! <laughs> You've won all of this. Pearls, sapphire, ruby, diamonds... Spinel, oh yeah, all in the crown jewels. You've won all of that, my lovely. Well done to lovely Hazel in Sterling, too. That's absolutely gorgeous. Great. Ah. Oh. There we go. Right. Well done. Gorgeous. Um, Micah, back to you, right. sweetheart. So I've done a few more rows, so you can see the pattern starting to emerge there now. Now you can carry on like this until you finish the whole pattern piece, or if you think you've got enough there that you can, you know, to hold on to and, and carry on with your peyote stitching, what, you can, what you're going to do then is put your working needle aside. Now you've got your stopper beads here, so you've got this red one here that I started with, okay, and I've got the two black stopper beads at the top, okay. So what you want to do is you want to take off the one on this side, okay, Take off that stop bead there, okay? Then you want to take your thread on the other side, which is your, which is your different color thread, okay? So not the thread that you're working with, the thread, the temporary thread that you added, and you're just going to pull it out and hope that you didn't stitch through it. I had a feeling that I might have stitched through it, actually. <laughs> of course I stitched through it, didn't I? Unless I'm putting the wrong thread. No, I'm putting the right one. Just very quickly, sorry, Monica. Uh, I got that wrong. It's not 1952, it's 1953. So, Hazel, you did get the correct answer. So, you, Hazel sent in A, B, B, A, A. 
And that's the correct answer. Abba. Yes, there we go. Abba. Abba. Uh, so, yeah. You, Abba. A-B-B-A-A. -A. Hazel, you sent in the correct answer. I was wrong. Don't listen to me. Listen to Hazel and Sterling. She, she knows what she's on about. The coronation was in 1953. Sorry, Monica. There we go. Okay, so I didn't stitch through it. So you're going to take that black thread after you've taken off. Well, you can either take off the stopper bead from that end or this end. It doesn't matter. As long as you take the one off the black thread and not the white thread. Okay, and then you're just going to pull that thread I'm going to pull it out. If your piece is really long and you can't pull this thread out, you can just pull the work apart and then you can undo it, undo the black thread sort of stitch by stitch like that if you want to, okay? Or if your work is too long and the thread doesn't come out. If it's shorter, then you just pull that black thread. You're going to pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it all the way out. And when oh, you pull it out... Oh, you're so clever. It comes off your little starter strip. So this piece you can keep to use again next time. And then you've got your working piece started off without any of the twisting issues there. Okay? Clever. Now, do I still have a bit more time? Yes. Excellent. So now I want to show you on the actual working pattern. Give me a second just to get this onto my board here. Is that a magnet? It is, yes. I thought it was. I thought those rulers looked like they were quite stuck down on there. Yes, That's we, need why. To, we need to get some of these magnetic oh, boards. We do need to get magnetic <laughs> boards, don't we? Right, so now, if you have a look at this one that I was working on here, does it still Oh, have wow, 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 thanks, Jam, says Hazel. Oh, well done, congratulations, sweetie. Oh. Yes, we know it was 1953, it's my fault. I just thought that she would be coronated the year that she became queen, but clearly not, she was coronated the year after. Yeah, that's what I thought might have happened, actually. Ah, <laughs> Monica. Right, <laughs> so another tip that I want to show you quickly. So when you're working on your pattern like this, obviously yeah. if you're following a certain row, let's say I'm not just gonna follow where I was there, I'm just gonna pick a random row. So let's pick this one here with the yellow buttons, okay? And you're working from the side with the whole beads, which would be this end here. So I've got a whole bead there. Mm. Um, if, you, if, you have, if you're holding your work, let's go to the next row because my work is on the other end. So. I'm starting with this row here, which has got the whole bead on that end there, okay? Because my piece is this way around and my thread is there. So normally the way that you would work is you would say, okay, so the next bead is a red one. So I pick up the red one, go through my next bead and so on and so on. But then every time that you look up from your pattern and you look at your work, then you're going to lose which bead you're on going across, okay? So like, this one, I can see the first one is a red one. But then when I get halfway across, did I just add this black bead or did I just add this black bead? And it's easy to get lost, especially if you get to sort of down here and you've got more than one, you know, you know, did I just add this green bead or did I just add that green bead? So it's easy to get lost. So every time you look back at the pattern, you have to try and work out where you were, unless you cross them out, but then you have to put your needle down and pick up a pen each time. So a much easier way to do it is to say, okay, put your work down after you've finished a row and they say, okay, now this is the row that I'm doing now from left to right, okay? I'm gonna pick up all the beads in that row so I can use my left hand to point to where I am. So the first bead is a red bead, which I've already attached, so I'm gonna ignore that one. But then the next one is a black, and I've got one, two, three, four black beads to pick up. So I'm gonna pick up my four black beads, and I'm gonna put them down on the mat in front of me. Let me just bring it down a little. So I've got my four black beads there. Then after that, I know I've got, um, so my ruler's not quite sitting right, it needs to sit on the whole beads. Uh, am I looking at the right row here? Uh, that one, that one, that one. No, it's gotta be there. There we go. So I've got one, two, three, four black beads. Uh, why do I only have half a bead there? There's something, Oh, give me a second. <laughs> I'll work it out. <laughs> She'll work it out. Monica always does. There's my whole beads. Oh, here we go. Yeah. There you are. Lovely. Okay, so I've got a red, then I've got a black, a black, a black, and a black. Then I've got one cream, I've got another cream. So I'll take my two cream beads here. Okay. Then I've got um, uh, my black, my cream, my cream. Then I've got a yellow, a yellow, a yellow, and a yellow. Oh, I am working on the row with the yellow buttons. <laughs> So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then I've got another one, two blacks. Now, I know I'm putting the beads down this way and the row is going from left to right. Okay, 
Always put your beads down going from the right to the left. This is if you're right-handed. Okay, and then you're going to carry on. So whatever many green beads are there, I'm just going to pick up a few. So, so you put down all your beads for the whole row, even if you're going left to right. If your next row you're going right to left, you're still going to put them down like so. Okay, because then when you pick up your work, you can turn it around so you can work from right to left. Instead of having to work like that, you can work from right to left. And then you just pick up the selection of beads that you have picked out here and uh -huh. just pick them up in the order that you've got them on the mat. You don't have to look at your pattern when you're in the middle of your row. You can just pick them up as you've put them down. Now, this isn't going to match probably because I didn't actually find the row that was coming next. But anyway, you're just going to pick up the beads as you've put them on the mat. Okay? So when you've attached all of those, got to the end of your row, then you're going to take your ruler, you're going to push it up again. This time you've got a whole bead on the right hand side. Uh -huh. So you're going to pick up all your beads again. So pick up a red, put it there, pick up one, two, three, four, five, six greens, put it after that. And then you can use your left hand to follow where you are. So pick up three blacks, then pick up a yellow, and so on and so on. And then you're going to take your work again, you're going to turn it around again, and you can just pick up the beads and add them onto your work, just like that. Okay? And then one more thing quickly, if I show you these. Yes! So how to attach the charms. I've attached them in two different ways. So this one, I actually beaded a little hole into the work there, okay, for the jump ring to go through. But I didn't really wow. like that one as much because the pen wrap is quite tight on your pen. So it might pull that open, some of the beads. So I had to reinforce it a lot. So then what I did for the other ones is I just added five beads onto the edge to make a little loop, just like that. And then I can take my jump ring through that little loop and onto my um, uh, little charm, okay? And then, once you've created the pattern, oh, one more thing is, depending on your tension and the size of your beads, um, the pen wrap might not reach all the way around your pen, okay? Uh, plus, I think I might have used beads that were slightly too big, so I think my patterns are a couple of rows short, okay? So you might need to you try it onto your pen once you've made the whole piece, and then if they don't reach on the other side, because obviously you need to wrap it around yeah. and then you need to zip up the end, then you can just bead a couple more rows. Now, when I say bead one more row, I mean one row this way and one row that way. Ah. Because obviously your pattern, if you see, you've got a bead sticking out here at the bottom. You've got yeah. one sticking in at the top. So that's how you need to finish. Yeah. So to get that again, you need to fit, do one row that way and one row back again uh -huh. so that it can zip together on the other side of your pen. Okay. That's awesome. And that's it, really. Thank you, lovely. They're so yeah. cute. I do love them. And I think people are really going to take those and kind of create their own patterns and own designs Exactly, as well. exactly. I mean, you can photocopy my pattern and just, uh, you know, in black and white, that's what I sometimes do. And then you can colour it in with uh, yeah. your own colours if you yeah. want to. That's gorgeous. Um, speaking of colour, the deal of the day. Amazing. It was absolutely fantastic. Five sliding class bracelets in... Blue, green, red, black, and gorgeous violet as well, um, which were absolutely brilliant. No limitations at all. Just literally let your imagination go wild. Um, yes, for bracelets, you know, popping one gemstone in there, but also for things like uh, necklaces as well. If you wanted to put, you know, big, big, long lengths in there. We've just concentrated mainly on bracelets here. They're just so lovely. And even when they spin around, they just look so gorgeous. They've got really beautiful qualities. Um, so loads and loads and loads of people uh, came through for these. When we played them, we keep on recapping them and they keep on going. Um, well done. Sharon and Jeffrey and Lorna and Jenny literally just coming through. It's great to see. Well done. Coming up this afternoon on Hobby Maker, you've got lovely Monica. And you've got Dave for his birthday show. When is your birthday, Dave? Ah, happy birthday. Oh, that's so lovely. Dave's birthday today. I won't ask how old you are. I'm a year younger than I thought I was. Oh, okay. Are you? Yeah. Did you think you were a certain age? I thought I was a year older than I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> that shows how old he's getting. That's all we need to know. Um, you've got... Oh, Monica. Tell us about these. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on these. Okay, so you have got here.
the most I was sitting on the I, I was literally sitting looking on my looking on the internet yesterday and the day before yesterday at um at terrariums looking at them and thinking do you know what? I really do want to build my own they are gorgeous aren't they and I mean obviously it comes with uh, some gemstones and the flowers but there's so yeah. many other things that you can put in there I've brought with me some some of my beading to put in there. I was thinking, I don't know if you remember, I was just watching the other day, the um, seed beaded uh, kingfisher that Alison did. If you could hang that on the inside. That would be incredible. It comes with a stand. Uh, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. And what's so lovely is you get these fake um, succulent plants, uh, which are absolutely, fan uh, yeah, artificial succulents. Uh, which are wonderful and you know you can put your real plants in there you can put your moss in there you can put your bark in there put your seed bead figurines in there put your little fairies in there put your fairy lights in there honestly they are abs these are so they are they are everywhere right now I just love these uh, and you've got your wooden ball on top so if you do want to put real plants in there then you absolutely can do a little bit of moisture can get in and out and just kind of spray it and kind of mist it they are good you're gonna have so much oh, fun I with these uh, they are amazing uh, so all of the deals are on the website. Basically, every single item that we scheduled for today's show, which are about kind of 40, 50 items in each hour, we've literally put them on the website. So just go for it. Take them, take them, take them. Get as many as you can. Take advantage of these deals. Fancy Jasper for 5 99 I love that. It's like the English countryside. The gorgeous Matt Mayuki transparent orange AB. Uh, all the jump rings have just sold out. They're the antique bronze ones. If you want to add any of these onto your order, please, please, please do. Linda's just bought the deal of the day. Well done to you, sweetie five sliding class bracelets in black red lilac mint and blue well done to everyone coming through to get these they're just great but have a great afternoon this afternoon I will. monica You're and then i'm back here on the ninth as well oh are you yeah. fantastic so monica's back with us on the ninth as well which is going to be great fun i really genuinely hope you've um you enjoy this afternoon with hobby maker and of course celebrating dave's birthday as well uh now tomorrow you've got alice and tarry with you Oh my word, that's going to be an amazing show. So you've got Alice and Harry with you with a brand new tool. You know, spinner rings, the tool will enable you to, uh, will, will, will teach you and, and will facilitate spinner ring designs. They are incredible. Alison is so excited about it. That tool's going to be brought to air uh, tomorrow during the show. I believe it's going to be coming up in the 12 o'clock, I think is your 12 o'clock kids. You've got loads and loads and loads coming your way. Uh, I'm back with you on Sunday. Uh, we've got Wayne producing. We've got loads of incredible jadeites. Sunday is ridiculous. But of course, tomorrow we're joined by the amazing Zena. She's Aww. going to be back with you tomorrow morning for the whole show. She's really excited about it. We can't wait to welcome her back. Uh, so it's going to be fantastic. I know that you'll all want to send in your messages and watch the show tomorrow. So Zena is going to be with you tomorrow morning, which is going to be brilliant with lovely Alison. Monica, thank you so much for today. Oh, it's been brilliant. And enjoy your afternoon on Hobby oh, Maker. And have a great afternoon with Dave for his birthday. We'll see you in a second.